Man, Yoshi, like, I, I think Yoshi's probably pretty good in teams, cause like, oh, and also probably really bad at the same time. Yeah. Uh, he has a pretty solid recovery despite not having an up E because of the double jump bomber, you know. But uh. Yeah, it's it's a really really good and also really really bad. Yeah, I think he's just like really hard to use in general, and that just itself is gonna hold him back. Definitely. And they struck the FD, and I don't know how I feel about this because Yoshi can't wait dash out shield, and he needs platforms to be able to move out a shield quickly. Yeah. So I've seen it's Xenophobia play on the stage. He's he's good on the stage. Yeah. That's what he's doing. Okay, but uh, the good thing is that Marth is solid on the stage, so it kind of makes up for that. Uh huh. But uh, let's talk about what's going on here. Oh. oh nice. There go. Nice pickup. Grab. Oh. Uh, he, he tried for the falling up air, but. I mean, just... Well, Yoshi did die out of it though, so it's not like the okay. worst thing ever. Yeah, Fendrick trying to interrupt that kill move, but ends up killing his teammate anyway. It happens, you know. Teams. Yeah. Teams, you just gotta like if you if you hit your teammate, like you just gotta shrug it. Like you gotta deal with it. You gotta take it. Try not to, but Sorry. when you do, just <laughs> just you know. There we go. Just move on. Oh, snacks got his way in that yeah, down okay. smash. Gotcha. Oh, and he doesn't go for the edge guard. Hmm. I I he, think Yoshi is by himself. Snacks is more team minded than he is like uh, edge guard minded. Yeah, but I just think teams. like that was a perfect like opportunity to just grab the ledge. Like I think it was just an easy, you know, option coverage. Like grab the ledge, be up he's on stage, back air, up air. Oh. That was good. Nice, nice smash the eye. Oh, it, Snacks is able to get that shield out before oh, being forward smash. Find himself off stage again. Yeah, we don't was able to recover. There we go. Good. Yeah. I don't know what moves Fox has that can beat the double jump armor. I know that Falco Shine can beat the double jump armor, and it actually kind of acts like a shine spike, like just because of how it how it works. Yeah, yeah, but, definitely. Uh, oh, you got hit by an invisible ceiling. So far, so good. Yeah, it's good. Oh, double shine. Good coverage. Yeah, and we don't. I, I don't think he should have backed up there. To be honest, I think that uh, he oh. should have kept the pressure on at the corner and then let S Snacks cover the inside. But Fender going for a kip. He goes all in and he dies, but Snacks does, doesn't get does the right angle. The so it could be worse. He did he did get something out of it. Oh. Not to, like, you know, if you, if you lose the stock, as long as you took one too, you know, it could be worse. Okay. Double Fender, Fender gets... He's smart to sell YOLO, it's, it's great. <laughs> He's just like, I just got down there, let's go. <laughs> I don't think he meant to do that. No, probably not. He sometimes leaned back like, in the chair, but... Sometimes when, you, when you're down there, when you're down there like, like that with Mars, you're trying to do a down tilt, and you like oh. slide off on accident. Oh, yeah. That was like really bad. I, I know he didn't mean to do that. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that was good. That was good um, dash dance. Wait to see what Snacks would do. I don't want to get near my teammate where I'm safe. Oh, that sucks. He missed attack. Snacks is off stage. Will he make it back? Yep. Yep, Fox. But he makes an unsafe recovery on stage, and he's going to have to take Weedle stock. Ooh. Getting chain grabbed a little bit here. Grab that ledge. Oh, that was good. Phenophobia. Not like he had any, any other option, though. That's that's the thing. He had okay. to do that. Green team pushing the corner right now. They got Red team has to keep the pressure on. Can't let them back. That's the only way they're going to win this. Yep. You got to keep them off, off the edge there. They're doing pretty good so far. Oh, that, they're keeping and that was such a good combo from uh, Phenophobia. Carrying snacks across the stage, that's gonna take a stock, and now it's up to Weedle. Weedle can do it. 145%. Okay, gets in there. And yeah, I thought, oh, there we go. Okay. Yo, let's go, Weedle. Nice. Okay, Clutch. that was very close. Yeah, clutching that's the way it out. you want those games to go. Nice. But a uh, valiant effort to uh, Maryland. Yep. They put up a good fight. But then again, like he did SD. Uh, not that that d never happens, but you yeah, know. Fendrick has to eat a few times, you know. Okay. Oh. 
And see, oh, cover, covered is a uh, his running around with the up air. Get get too close, you get cut. And I don't know. I mean, I know this is a good stage just in general, but like, I think this stage is also really good for green team too, because like. Oh yeah, he's dead. Oh, uh, that sucks. He wasn't able to jump back Again, on stage. Again, a similar way to the last game. But, uh, like, I think Marth can take advantage of the platforms. You know, obviously oh, yeah, being definitely. able to cover it with the sword. And then, you know, Yoshi has the shield drop, so... Yeah, this is pretty good for them. It doesn't give... He could have thrown... I'm pretty sure he could have thrown Fox at Yoshi at some point. Because there is 2v1 situation. He was playing it like it was singles. Oh. And I like uh, Peanut Phobia's like decision making. Like he was up in the air against Weedle on the yeah. right side, and instead of trying to like come down and challenge Weedle, he just like goes towards the middle, and that's a shield break. What is Weedle gonna do? <gasps> oh my God! It snacks. <laughs> uh, he yeah, he accidentally. He has the right the idea, but he, he, you know, it's like it's like your your hands are ready to do your first thought, and then you fall through, and your hands are still doing the up smash. You're just like, all right, I'm gonna keep doing yeah. it. Yeah, that was, that was it. Okay, and uh, Fendrick doesn't find himself punished too hard. <gasps> That's IB. That oh caused Weedle a stock. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, Snacks covering his teammate. That was good. Oh, that was a nice air dodge from Fendrick. Okay, Snacks just <laughs> pushing Peanut Phobia all the way across the stage. It's like, get out of here, man. And I like that from uh, Fendrick, realizing that, you know, it's probably not the best idea to have both the teammates at the edge. So he just dipped back so he could uh, fight, uh, fight against Weedle for a bit. Yeah, Whoa! dude, that was so good. And that sick edgehog that was so, that was so crisp. That was, <laughs> that was so crisp. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that was good. He's still alive, though. Yeah, Panophobia uh, covering that pretty well. Uh, Fendrick and Lamar. Yeah. Oh, save! There nice. we go. Yo, that was good. Nice save. Weedle's a, a really good supporting teammate. And, and that was a good thought too, because I would have just up aired and probably would have killed. <laughs> probably would just killed Fox, but the up B, you know, good awareness from Weedle there. But really good DI by uh, Fendrick Lamar. Uh, seeing that Fox and, is up uh, Yeah, that that's that's what sucks about Fox Peach. It's when Fox is getting jammed on one yeah. side of the stage and Peach is on the other. It's it's so hard to just yeah, come like, over and help. Yeah, what can you do? <laughs> so, and another uh, 2v1 situation with Weedle. Weedle, yeah. I personally believe Peach is pretty good against both these characters. Yeah. Oh, they tried for a little team combo. It's that back this here. Is. It's so good against Mars. And again. Oh. I, I do want to see a game three, though. Wh that was a shield drop from Weedle. Okay. Implemented the new tech. I like it. Grab that oh, ledge, please. Oh, there oh. we go. But uh, it doesn't matter because Weedle just air dodges oh. anyway. Okay, game three. I guess I kind of understand why I didn't grab a ledge, because uh, Peach doesn't have too many solid options from the ledge. But at the same time, you know, it's it's one one uh, second away from death. Yeah, yeah definitely. Could like, try to any options. It's like, you have to pick something yeah. at some point. So, yeah, game three. Contemplative snacks. What's up, Ben? <laughs> okay. I was, uh, I'm glad the camera wasn't on this, but uh, yeah. Fendrick waving to the fans. Yeah, all the Maryland fans, you know, put your uh, whatever. Throw up your crabs. Put up your something in the chat. <laughs> Maryland crabs are beast. <laughs> so good. I like Jim Gaffigan joke about crabs, so funny. Oh, and I'm surprised uh, Fendrick didn't try to grab the ledge there. I guess, I don't oh. know if he was scared of the up B, but either way, he's kind of doing work against Snacks. Oh. 
good coverage of Snack, but no. Oh my god. We have uh, Peanut 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 on stage to, to get to get the Snacks back for recovering in there. So it's pretty good. Either way. Oh my gosh. Doing this is so good. scary for Peanut Phobia right now. It's, it's such a small shield. Oh, that was not the safest approach by Pinophobia. Definitely gonna get punished. Good DI from Fendrick. Not die. Yeah, just a guess there. And uh Oh he's dead. Oh but <laughs> totally dead. Clutch a little yeah, uh, nice up smash. Clutch a little save. I don't know if that was on purpose, but that was pretty that was pretty cute. Still got Fendrick got killed anyway, but it seems like uh Fendrick's kinda doing uh work against snacks in the one v one. Oh my god. That was crazy. It's like, yeah, you get on stage as Peach. Like, what, what option are you going to use to, like, save us from you? Well, uh, down smash, obviously. But I would do it. Uh, and this, this is a little up B thing Marth can do. Yeah. Do you have to jump first, or can no, you just, just up B from up the ground? B. Just straight up up B. Yeah, it works. And meanwhile... An egg land. <laughs> egg land's oh, bad. Oh, man. A better egg. Oh, and that Nair is gonna yeah. cost him. Yep. Covering yeah. pretty well. Yeah, red team holding it down. A little bit of a lead. Yep, a little bit. Nothing they can't come back from. I'm pretty sure they were in a lead in second game, too. At one point, they still lost. Oh. Snacks is really good at, like, being aware of what his teammate is doing. Yeah. And, like, covering, like, what's going on. Yeah, he tells me, like, checks up, like, you know how, like, when you're driving and you, like, check, you, you do that thing where what you're supposed to do is, like, check your, uh, how fast you're going, then check all your mirrors, like, one yeah. at a time, and then look at the road? Like, he does that, like, in the game. Oh, yeah. Like, he looks at himself, and then he looks, like, at the stage, and then he looks at one character, one character, one character, and then he looks at the, you know, the whole stage oh, again. He, like, he just shifts his list. views. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. really good. They they got a pretty big deficit right now, but you can take this like real fast and make it like even, real really quick, especially with high percentage they are. Oh, so that's just like was that the down tilt that hit snacks? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was a uh, Mars down tilt. Yeah, I guess a uh, hitbox got extended. You know when you hit some something, the hitbox gets like, extended. Yeah. Because it looked like Mars didn't connect with it, but that's probably what happened. So we got um. Oh, there we go. Snacks is keeping uh, Peanut Phobia away from... Um, and, uh... This is gonna be super hard. Oh, that was a stitch. I'm surprised Snacks didn't try to grab it. He usually does. He just grabbed one, but... That was kind of a risky approach by Snacks. Going in the air so high there. But, happened to work out anyway. I think Peanut Phobia Nice lost. punish! From Red Team! That was a good game. It was close. I think game three was pretty bad on, on, on in Pini Phobia's uh, uh, arena, I should say. Yeah, he he kind of just got jammed. He was just found himself in situations he didn't want to be in. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what I ju I just like I just like looking at yourself, our faces. <laughs> We're just handsome. Look at us. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but good games, the that was good. you know, the Maryland team did well. It's just that last game they didn't happen to clutch it out. It was, That's all. It was a, a little bit farther in distance. So now we're gonna have uh, Brett and R two D Lu. No, I Brett, think aka Spood Beast, no, Luigi. No, Spood Beast is playing with uh, Wesley. No, oh, w wisely and uh, of course, Smokey's playing with R two D Lu. Yeah, you know what? I should I should have known uh, Dave better. <laughs> <laughs> Why are like, teaming Luigi over freaking Smokey, right? Yeah, double fox against, uh, I don't know, what does Wisely play? Hey. Uh, fox you got me, dude. I don't know, Fox, maybe. I just know his, I, I know his face, I don't know. I've never actually seen him play. Well, he's been playing longer than us, for sure. That's what I thought. Okay, Fox. So, so three foxes and one Luigi. <laughs> yeah, three, three foxes, one Luigi sounds like a terrible... Terrible game for Luigi. Most but definitely. Yeah. 
And okay, so they're warming up. All right. Yeah, definitely. That's what I thought was happening. I just. I yeah, really. You like gotta make sure sometimes. What do you think about teaming with Luigi? I really like teaming with Luigi. Well. Honestly, I haven't seen Luigi too much myself in teams. Like, I, I haven't watched, like, good Luigi players playing teams. So, I don't really know what his, like, s strengths are. I mean, I guess with his mobility, like, being able to move across the stage quickly with wave dashes and being able to cover multiple options yeah. because of that, like, that makes him good. But, again, he just, you know, the basic analysis is that he's a floaty character, so... Uh, it's gonna give uh green team that two v one advantage. You know yeah. when when food beast gets hit away, they're gonna double team wisely. Yeah, for sure. But um, you know if you're not careful, uh, I'm telling you mid tiers. If you're not careful around these mid tiers, they will destroy your fox. It's it's pretty gross. But uh, we're getting into it, and um, immediately I just see wisely push to the corner. By I think that was Dilu, or it is Smokely, Smokely second player. Smokey, I guess. not Smokely. Smokely is here. Or player. not Smokely, uh, Smokey. Smokey. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think don't Smokey. Really know. <laughs> Smokey's uh, player two. Dilu's player four. Yeah, these two players are really good. Um, RTD and Smokey. Okay. RTD being number one on the Delaware PR. Yeah, I think Spoopy's like eighth. No, he's like six. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, you're eighth, right? Well, no, not anymore. Oh, there's a new PR? Yeah. Okay. I was going off the old one. Yeah, I but, was uh, eight, but I didn't know got the other. Got jammed. Thing. It's all good. Um. Yeah, let's talk about the match. Okay. <laughs> Oh, nice pass with the back air. And uh, Smokey tried to go for catch that aerial on the uh, Luigi at the top, but didn't quite get it. Ooh, double edge guard situation. They both make it back. Side there B's a blazing. There you go. So it's so easy to like cover like uh, every, any option you want with Fox. It's just like, right, I'll go to the other side of the stage here. I've covered that option. Yeah, Fox is good, man. Understatement of the year. Yeah. Fox is good. <laughs> but I think people do underestimate the power of Fox. Yeah. It, it is really difficult to, like, be really good with Fox, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think, like, the only move I've seen Smokely do for the past, like, three minutes is up smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good up tilt from uh, Wisely, predicting that drop through aerial. Ooh. And uh, he also he sees roll in, yeah. It wasn't even a, it wasn't even a, a read's total reaction. It's like, oh, you're rolling in. It takes forever. Here you go. Up smash. Okay. Jab up smash. Not gonna kill. Battlefield has like the third high ceiling in the game. It's actually a little bit higher than most people think. Oh, I'm oh, surprised yeah. uh, Dilu didn't try to grab that ledge. From a uh, spood beast, but I guess he just didn't react fast enough. You know what? Blue team is doing a good job of holding their own. Yeah, definitely. Not going out without a fight. And it, they might even take game one. Up smash? Yeah, oh, oh, why'd wow, you throw him? That was a free up smash. Yeah, we got Dilu on the ropes. I guess uh, Spoopy's just thought, like, eh, he's at a lower percent. Oh, he can uh, still do it, though, for sure. Yeah. Oh, and that Yo, that sucks. That was so good. That that sucks because he was going for ledge, and if he got the ledge, he wouldn't have gotten back aired. Yeah. Because the reason he got back aired was because he bounced off the ground into yeah. Smokey's uh, back air, so. Yeah. That really sucks. Those angles, man. Sometimes they just screw you over. You gotta perfect the angles. <laughs> Going back to battlefield. I sort of get the impression that like 
Dilu, when he when he oh plays God. box, he's like, I have to I have to come up with the best angles and mathematical equations and this and that. And then when Smokey plays Fox, he's like, Yo, I'm Fox. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, I'm Fox. You're dead. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good summary. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Dilu is all about doing what you need to do, like business. <laughs> Smokey, he's like, Let me kick. Let me kick the crap out of you. <laughs> oh, he didn't get that back air though. All right, got that one. I think the combination Ooh. works pretty well together though. Nice shine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, if he rolled in, but he didn't. Could have just reacted to that. Oh, uh, Dealey looked like he tried to pick up that flying wisely, but with the oh, there you go. That was really good. Um, back air from Food Beast into a back air from uh, Wisely, and that was it. Like covered that option. That's really good. Oh, oh, yo. Clipped. Dilu messed up. I don't know what he was trying to do, but <laughs> he did something else. Yeah, you saw Smokey waiting down for that up throw. Yeah, yeah. That's that's something uh, a lot of people don't really do. For some reason, they like fear. I don't know. Down like, there, I there. think they think that like people can get out of the throw animation a lot faster. Than they actually can, yeah. so they don't want to punish like when some when their partner gets grabbed and thrown. Ooh, like a lot of people need to do that. Yeah, because you you have a a little bit of time to be able to punish that. Okay. Ooh, that was a good up tilt from uh, Wisely. Wisely knows when to up tilt, man. And. I don't like that decision from Brett. He, uh, Spoobies, he just slid across the stage while Wisely was off stage recovering. And to, both green team were at the left side. He just kind of like wave dashed to the other side of the stage. Uh, definitely put uh, Wisely in a bad position. Yeah. Kind of cost, cost, cost him for it, yep. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Smokey missed that shot. his teammate here. And Spoobies goes all in, makes it back to the ledge, surprisingly. I thought he was gonna get uh, shined. Yeah. Oh, not close enough. Yeah. No, it's all no, up to wise. That's the TV one. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, he could, he could do it though. We got Smokey at 120. Ooh, oh my God! Grab. Oh my! Oh, yeah, you're not Falco. You can't, you can't hit through the platform. Welp. And this is that option coverage. <laughs> I think Smokey should have already been dashing over there. He just waited way too long. And that's that perfect fox edge guard for all you people who didn't know. You could just uh, drop back and then uh, oh, there you go. rising back air. And if you do it right, then it covers all the options. Huh? No, he hit him off though. The second time. The well, second yeah, time. At, yeah, the second time. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't cover if he's at a lower percent. Well, no, because you can you can L cancel and then you can punish that on stage. <laughs> he's talking to the and J right now. Sleep's talking to and J about this. <laughs> so Fox can't rising oh, back air, and if they go high and he lands, he can't punish the landing. Okay, like a perfect angle. So it's 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 like not seventy five percent, but it's like ninety nine percent. And there's that one percent option. But you're saying it's one angle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a pretty good edge guarding option. That's all I gotta say. Well, Smokey could have covered it if he, you know. Okay, okay. We're we're done talking about this. So. Okay. So uh. 
Still have the. Uh, no, not. Still have. What's their team name? S smoke. Smoke D Lou. Smoke. Smoke Lou. Smoke D Lou. D smoke. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> D smoke. Smoke D Lou. I like that. Smoke D Lou. And, uh. R2 smoke. We got. Freaking. Fr now, this sounds like. B1. A really bad movie. <laughs> Three foxes and a peach. So many foxes. Did you watch that movie? Three Foxes and a Peach? It sounds like a bad movie. Yeah. <laughs> I might need to sub out for a minute. I gotta, I gotta, uh, okay. Not, not quite yet. I'll do this one. Well, we should probably let Evan know now. Evan. Evan. Uh, can you find someone to sub out? Okay. Yeah. No, it's, it's cool. It's cool. No worries. You're right. We'll figure it out. No, I'm not yeah, worried. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm not worried about you're it. You're right. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go, you <laughs> snacks. And we got the the snacks. The snacks. Cheers. Oh, let's go, UD. D1's lost the stock already. Oh, D Lu lost the stock too. That was so <laughs> fast. We get snacks. Oh my god. Going gosh. in. I don't know if you guys can hear him. Uh, pick it up on the mic or something, but uh, that snacks has a lot of University of Delaware pride. Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, I gotta be honest. Uh, not to be biased or anything, but like, Yuan is definitely one of my favorite Delaware players. So like, exciting to watch. Yeah, really fast-paced aggro, crazy, just crazy things. Oh, oh. <laughs> and yeah, a simple edge grab, man. just all that. Oh, oh, two for the price of one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't accommodate with <laughs> that <laughs> freaking screaming. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you guys didn't know, Yo, let's go. Uh, Yuan and BMC are University of Delaware students. Yeah. So it's uh. like UD against not UD. It's Smokey's like Philly from Philly, Philly, so. Yeah. Isn't yeah. R2 in Philly right now? I guess. Since Swarthmore in Philly. Really you you know more than I do. Nice down air. Yo, Yuan, just like. Shining. That's what you would Battle. call the uh, PB and J spech, the down air from the ledge, and then you drop down shine. Oh, that was that was nice. But that was good. Smokey's still able to cover it. I think uh, Billy yeah, could have like went in there to try to fight off Smokey, giving you want a better chance to recover. But yeah, definitely. Uh, I think the trouble is, uh, uh, even though these two are like. They, they're very smart and they're very good uh, people to play together. Um, Who? Uh, Smokey and r 2 they're very oh. good together as yeah. a team. Uh, the trouble is that BMC is such a good peach and he's already very good at teams and has a lot of practice with Fox. Yeah. And Yuan is just like, he'll cover all the and options. And it's such really an interesting, interesting dynamic too because like against Fox, you have to play fast. <laughs> you have to play, you have to like be quick on your feet and you have to like, you know, throw moves out like kick 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 like you have to go 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 and then like against peach you have to be super safe and like super spaced and slow it down so it's like interesting to play against both of those characters yeah. at the same time so, like, and like being up. able to switch it up and like play around that and uh is that Okay, so I guess Dilu was a. Uh, oh, he changed to Sheik. Yeah, he's, yeah. He, he started as a Sheik player, so it was a So I guess he was player two all along. Okay, I just assumed that the names were in the right order. But, uh, okay. <laughs> no, I, I thought the second player was, was Dilu the whole time. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I always I just thought it was Smokey. So. So, all the. If, if you watch that previous video of these two playing, just switch the names. <laughs> <laughs> With whatever I say, just just switch. <laughs> but uh, oh my God, it's a quick forty <laughs> on that cheek. Yeah, if you're, if you're gonna like, if your team is gonna get hit like that, um, you can't let a, let the other team get away with it. So really did a good job coming in. I'm, I'm almost calling him Weedle. players, but Johnny's not. Yeah, I, I was I was like trying to not call Weedle uh, BMC yeah. <laughs> when when they were the playing. Problem. 
I was just like, man, why did I have to go and do this? <laughs> Grab that ledge. Oh, and uh, d -Lu wasn't able to cover the options. And, and you know what? B Billy was just like, you know what? If you guys can't kill him, I will. <laughs> Here, let me help you out. <laughs> Take that, Austin. I'll teach you to be gra get grabbed by the other team. This is going to teach you some diligence, baby. <laughs> Alright, nice. But you want takes a bunch of percent from that. Yeah. Going for that up smash. I guess it was worth. There we go. <laughs> that was the worst DI. <laughs> <laughs> His four throw immediately vanished from the screen. <laughs> like, What if you like smash like DI, like a throw like that, and like go as far as you can like, I with the throw? I don't know how smash DI would work on that throw. Like a hit, go like hit at the same time and go with it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, a lot of team killing in this match. <laughs> yeah. Let's just kick the crap out of each other. Free for all. Oh, uh, and I I think it, it really does look like, kind of like a free for all. Oh, they're, they're a lot closer this match. It's good, yeah. to, it's good to have another, another character you can switch to like that. Oh, and that sucks. It's Smokey messed up the edge guard. Oh my gosh. Wow. Gave up two stocks so fast. Not on purpose, obviously. No, you guys can have it. Okay, nice. So Billy's good. He can still do it. Um, but rough. Oh, good air dodge, but he's going to get grabbed. Smokey covering the roll. Up smash. Yeah. He's living though. Good DI. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but Smokey just get, <laughs> took that fair like a man. And interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's, we got Smokey was waiting for the uh the back throw or down throw or whatever it is. No, that And you know throw. what? Honestly, that's lazy. He could just like run in front of he could just walk in front of, you know, Sheik and then turn around up smash. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's just lazy when like you want your partner to throw. Yeah. To be honest. But it's still sometimes, cool. Sometimes it's the better option now. Yeah, I guess if you need go. like game three. A little extra percent. Yeah, we're going to Dreamland. Uh this is going to prolong BMC stocks even more, and it's going to be really rough for a green team. So they're going to have to focus a little bit more on taking Yuan stocks in order to drain that, you know, stock count. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know what happened there, I guess. My crouch canceled or something? Yeah, maybe. Oh, it seemed like, like, sounded like he was dead. He's definitely dead now. Okay. Ooh. There we go. That's good up B. And definitely. even though Billy missed, just the fact that he was there, like, made me warm inside. <laughs> like, it just warmed my heart knowing that Billy was that good <laughs> <laughs> to be, like, up in the middle. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh! Let's go! Oh, oh but. Okay, he's making it back though. Peach. I mean, when Billy up bees, it's way more exciting than other up pe peaches up being. I'm, I think. Yeah. I just like it when he up bees, man. I just think, yeah, man, that's cool. Ah, uh, they're so good at covering all the options. This is ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. Oh no, Billy went way too far. Yeah. He went in to cover the roll, but uh. Oh, you see that? The, yo, you won. You won. <laughs> you won covered the um. He. He came down to like, I guess like get close to Billy back where he was, but he did it with an up air, so he was able to hit uh, Smokey. That's that's really smart. Like instead of just like coming down to try something, he's like, I'm gonna fall with an up air, and he didn't hit Billy either. Yeah, precision. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he definitely got tennis racketed out of there. Just. Love. <laughs> it's like, it's like in tennis when they say it's even, like, love. <laughs> Sandwiching R2. 
Uh, a Nair would have been better than a Flutter and there. And blue team is just running over green team right now. They, like, they're doing such a good job of just, like, managing, you know, both of the, the teammates and, like, switching yeah, between yeah, yeah. whether they want a 2v1 or 1v1. And so good. This is easy. Yeah, that, that's really easy. I think Billy's got a really predictable recovery. This is this is like pretty much over at this point. I mean, yeah. Billy can against, go out there for free against melee. You can do whatever, but I mean, it's gonna be really hard because it's still melee. <laughs> yeah. Because they can do it better uh, as a team, so that was good. Oh, yeah. is it three out of five? Yeah, three out of five. Okay. Yeah, this is winter semis. Already, I felt like we just started. Yeah. What's going on? getting real it is not no longer synthetic man it's getting real it's no longer synthetic <laughs> well <laughs> well i mean when you're used to jamming it you got to say it as wide as possible when you are used to jamming it <laughs> let, let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> let me tell you something Fire! <laughs> Fire! I just right. love when you do that. It's so funny. <laughs> you imagine if like Melee Fox had freaking Fire! Smash Four voice. <laughs> but he said that stuff. He already says hiya. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Oh, uh, like he would say fire. Yeah. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, but uh, what's happening? Oh so Smokey already lost a stock. And you're gonna, you're gonna see. Oh Super my gosh, that up smash was awesome. That's Yoshi's for you. That was so awesome. You just like straight up threw it out. It was almost like he was like, I know you'll be here. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. If, I guess that was just a miscommunication from Green Team. Why, uh, nice Dilu forward nice back air. Oh my gosh. Hey, Dilu, Dilu did uh. Covered both like the f the f uh, middles of the stage with the down air, and then he rolled and then did it another down air against you on. Hit him both times. Oh, there All we right. go. That's pretty good. Edge guard. Oh, Yuan goes high. Smart. <laughs> so I love like the respawn immediate aerial to death. <laughs> like I love that. I don't, it's just it's just so funny. They spent all that time taking a stock, and you got high. And it's just like, and then they just take it back. Immediately. Like, oh well, I'm trying. Oh, there we go. That was yeah. That was oh my god. You want going in right now? He only covered himself on both sides with that nair. That's good. That's the thing you got to do when you're two v one. You have to do moves that will uh, keep you safe on both sides. Like if you want to run at the other person with like a like a nair or like like a back air or something, you run at them with a back air. And you save yourself from getting hit behind, you know? You want so good at picking his spots. What the? <laughs> he is moving. He is but, uh, moving oh. and very crisp. Dave just doesn't have enough uh, momentum to go out there and finish it out. Let's go. Yeah, I, oh, and uh, I don't, I, that might have killed. Maybe the okay. up air, but uh, either way, All really right, like. Gone. Yeah, yeah. that's a good game. Yep. Three one. Yep. Lost one one game. That's fine. The first uh, non like dominant game or set, you know. Yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty close. But then again, like against uh, was it Frederick and. Uh, yeah, like they were close. They 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 won a game. Oh th yeah 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 that's right. My bad. So, uh, got snacks and Weedle coming up. Yo, wait, is is Launch here? Is he playing right now? Oh, uh, it's Yo, let's go. Launch here, and I recognize his face. I just don't know his tag. <laughs> it's ta tag master. Let's go, Smash players. Very uh, nondescript term. <laughs> Let's go, Smash players. Yeah, yeah. no bias. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, we didn't uh, see this team yet. Launch air. Yeah, not now on stream. And Mystery Man 2000. Mystery Man 2000. <laughs> Mystery Man 203. Wow, what a chill. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just call out like that, man. <laughs> Do you That's probably. It's probably his first tournament. Do you no. know who he is? No, I have no idea. He's he's like I, I'm pretty sure he's like the best in uh in uh Westchester is no no this guy over here. He did Oh that's Aiden? Oh I hadn't yet to meet him. Oh Aiden. yeah, that's where I know him from. Yeah, that oh, that's Aiden. who he is. Oh my gosh. Dude Aiden. But yeah, this guy, uh, he he's he's chum, that's his tag. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chum and slug, yeah. <laughs> I said, yo, what I said, what a chum. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Jim. No, what a chump. I was like, dang, he's probably his first tournament, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's Aiden. It should okay, be chump and so. Be some Jim and Susie next time. So, Aiden, uh, he, like, switches between living and, del like, he goes, I think he goes to college in, uh. Berkeley, California. Berkeley, yeah. So, he's here for, uh, you know, he, he, he lives in Middletown, Delaware. Really good, uh, I think he plays Spacey's. Yeah, he's he's good. I just didn't know this is Aiden. You know, because I haven't met Aiden. Like, yeah, I, I had yet to meet him. Yeah, like I knew I'd seen his face before, but I just the name wasn't coming to me. But uh, yeah, that I look, that's a pretty good team. Uh, Launcher and Launcher and Aiden. Gl oh yeah, Glitter is his tag. His official tag is Glitter. That's glitter, Aiden. Glitter chair. Yeah, Glitter chair. I like it. Glittery chair. Weedle snacks. Why is his tag Glitter? By the uh, you know I don't why? know. Does he like glitter? I, I don't see any on him. You know what? Let's I don't put know. Some glitter on I him. don't necessarily Let's like sleeves, on him. but my tag is sleeves. You don't? Oh, I don't necessarily love Mr. Bean either. Yeah, like it it's just, just like hap happened that way. Exactly. So it's, he just somehow happened to be glitter. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll find out the story. But uh, before we do, we're gonna watch this match. So, Fox Marth versus Fox Peach. Oh, yeah, launch here. So, yeah, Glitter, uh, Glitter is playing Fox. Yeah, I don't, I don't care if he calls himself Stango now. And, uh, that sucks. Launch to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sucks for, uh, that always sucks for a team to go down a stock immediately. Cause it, oh, they, they're playing now. Oh, I didn't yeah, yeah. Yeah, Glitter SD'd. So. Ooh. That was okay. Yeah, nice pressure there from launch air. Oh my gosh. He said, take take my forward smash. He's very uh, safe as Mars. Right. Oh, yeah. And I think Snacks just kind of like. He, he couldn't like figure out which one he wanted to. Uh, which option he wanted to choose. Like help help uh, Weedle or like get the edge guard on uh, launch air. And. I think they both tried to grab the, the stitch again. Even. And then Even they, they just got jammed. Yeah. Johnny likes to grab uh, some turnips. <laughs> yeah. Not that he did. A little miscommunication. It happens. It seems sometimes, you know. Yo, that high nair. Ooh. Oh, he missed. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dang. But... My That's going to be it for both of them. Up, up. Up you go. You got the taunts on deck. <laughs> oh Ooh. my gosh. I, I like that forward quick. throw in the shine. He's like, nope. I think sometimes that's what shine's like. It's like, nope. I think Snacks is staying a little too close. <laughs> Yo, launch air is so good. This guy, oh, I didn't realize Ooh. he had the most stocks. That's, a, that's actually safe. It, it looks really oh, dangerous. Oh, the runoff fair? Like, yeah, it's super it deep? looks super dangerous, but it's actually safe. Yeah, because I was like, I was like, yellow! <laughs> oh! Eight. And, it, like, interesting decision by Glitter. Um, like, I guess he was like, well, Launcher's dead anyway, so let me just try to take Weedle out, but it sucks that Snacks was able to you know, edge guard him, edge guard glitter. Oh. But I mean, red team's still up, so buy stock. Yep. 
Oh, oh my Yo. god. Snacks just got wrecked. <gasps> the save? The save! Let's go. Nice save. And now it's up to Snacks sitting at 120%. One hit could finish it all. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, nice tech. Oh, gets a upbeat. Oh my gosh. And being winning a 2v1 as the one player is all about picking your picking your spots. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Lanchero is dead there, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't matter. Okay. <laughs> but the way you up there. Yeah, it's picking your spots. Like, you, you hit one person away, and it's like... And right. you have to, like, be able to mix it up, like, Reactive. fake out, like, all right, I'm going to go for this guy. A uh, JK, I'm going for the other guy. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, being able to get that mix up is... Yeah, definitely good. It's important. <sighs> going to Dreamland. So sometimes when I see Snacks play, he has to, like, get information about the players. That, well, you're supposed to, but, like, this is how he plays. He... he progressively gets like a little better as he plays yeah it's like oh okay i know they're gonna try this they're gonna try this i know what to cover it with yeah the power of improvement man. but Adap he's a very mental player like you should be thinking in the game but he he like if like his mental power is like lacking at all he's, he's just not gonna play like i think well. he also just has sick reactions to you yeah. and double edge guard from blue team or against blue team Set them back a little. Oh, <laughs> and like, okay, so that. like, right, what happened there? Like, I was watching Snacks, and then I just see like Aiden fly by, uh, <laughs> Glitter just fly by him because he got down smashed by we Weedle. <laughs> I was just like, what the heck <laughs> just happened? Oh, okay, good there tech we go, there from we go. Launcher. Snacks trying to push Launcher oh, off the stage. Looking crispy. Bad position. Snacks would be in. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Very bad. yeah. Free. And he makes it back too. That's very good by launch here. Yeah, just because Glitter was there pressuring uh, Weedle, he couldn't get the edge guard on uh, launch here. Oh my Definitely. gosh. Is he dead? Okay. Push him into the corner. Nice. Because oh, that's that bad. That was yeah. good tech chase by uh, Snacks there. Didn't follow it up was very much though. Mm. Oh, and the pressure from Glitter in the corner. Oh, wow. Uh, just gets hit uh, on a, a bad back air and then he gets a uh, shield grab. Nice. That was oh. smart. I think Glitter was just trying to figure out what he wanted to punish with. And then it was too late. Oh, oh, I'm pretty he's sure living. He's alive either way. Oh my gosh, Snacks messes up the uh, the edge guard. Recovers though, he recovers. Not too far away. Oh, that nice. Was good. That was good. <laughs> nice pretty, pretty even, still high percent though. <laughs> Grab that ledge. Yeah, and then just wait. No. Okay, yeah. well he's dead anyway, but still, it could have definitely done that better. Yeah, I think one thing they could do is uh, down throw into a wow, jab reset. That nair. that nair was so smart. I thought Aiden uh, or Glitter was trying to sweet spot to a ledge, and when Snacks grabbed it, I was like, oh my god, he's going to die. But he, like, messed up. Yeah. Wow. Oh, the... Uh, the nair, though, on scores. the right side of the stage that, that uh, Glitter did, man, it was like, I was like, what? <laughs> You just like cover that uh, high option. I don't know. It was Red good. team won the first game, right? Or no? Yeah, uh, yeah, they won both games so far. Okay. Two, two. Game three. Uh, here we are at game three. Welcome, uh, welcome everybody. It's game three. I wonder what they're talking about. Probably like pizza. That's what I'm thinking about. Definitely here. not. No, launch hair and uh, glitter seem to be like discussing pepperoni. He said, make sure you put enough sauce on there. <laughs> That's what he said. Dude, pizza sounds so good right now. But I love pizza. We're not talking about food right now. We're talking about we were. this <laughs> I'm match. I'm just kidding. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. 
Team Weedle Snacks is sticking to their guns, going with the counter pick again. Yeah, I mean, th there's a few mistakes. Actually, there's quite a few mistakes, so they can kind of like, you know, tighten up a bit, and they'll they'll, they'll do a lot better than last match. But like, man, I'm just noticing like, like glitter. The way he plays Fox, it's just like he knows like what what's like Ooh. an option you wouldn't think of. He would cover it or something. I don't know. So he's very smart the way he yeah. plays. Yeah, and that was a smart up smash he picked up on uh, Snacks. You know, ready to cover the roll in, but. Oh and my Snacks God. finds himself off stage again. Can he grab the yeah, ledge? Good go. job from Weedle. Good job, Weedle. <laughs> helping, helping out Snacks a bit there. Yeah. Oh. Yep. And Launcher helping out his teammate too. Uh, I think Launcher should have uh, down throw. That's good. There. When he had Snacks on the wow, left that side. that Nair was awesome. Nice. He covered like two options there. That's the thing about Nair, you can cover multiple options. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go. YOLO. I think he was trying to down air there. He didn't mean to back air, because like, that back air that launch air did didn't help anyone. Right. Okay. Snack's moving. Ooh. Yeah, like that. That's what he was trying to do for, kind of. Okay. Yeah, nice shine grab from Glitter. And, uh... Hmm. Oh? They're trying to 2v1 uh, Glitter right now. Oh, that was... Th the Nair was really unsafe, the way he did that. He did it too early. Uh, yeah, that, that's like the please grab me there. <laughs> oh no, glitter couldn't make it. I would have just YOLO run up up smash, dude. Like get punished, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. That's yeah. a stock off Peach. Man. <laughs> but then again, I guess having Peach at a high percent isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can use it to your advantage, like hit Peach away but not kill her, and then two v one Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that that uh, early up B was very good. Because, like, if he would have just jumped and, like, waited, he would have got hit by a shine. Snack's not making it back. Will Launcher make it back? Yep. Just at that percent where, like, Ooh, any, anything good sniper. Cool. It was good. Yeah. Nice. Just, just La uh, <laughs> launcher clearing the way. So get out. Oh, he tried to. That's I think actually pretty hard to do against Fox. Yeah, the reverse up B. Yeah, because you can stage. get hit by fire uh, if you're too close. But if you're not close enough, you won't hit him at all. Mm. So you have to be in the perfect spot. It's easier if you jump first because you hit the top of him, where there's not as much of a hitbox, like where his head is. Launcher disregarding his teammates. Uh, percent just forward smashes like everyone in the vicinity it's like everyone just die yeah take that there you go nice. it feels very very good great defensive move yeah we don't good thing about peach she can you know wait in between stocks for free puff can do it i think same as can is just not the best idea i guess Okay, yeah, good back air. Snacks. Launcher's dead. But, uh, Glitter? Wow. Nope. They made a comeback. There we go. That's awesome. Yeah, that was nice. Yo, let's go. This is how it begins, man. You get you get one game. This is how it starts. Get the, uh, momentum. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. Going to Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, good pick from Red Team. I think their team benefits from the stage pretty well. Oh, almost uh, combo that into up smash. No, nice, nice coverage by Weedle. Making sure he doesn't just run in on snacks there. Yeah, Weedle's putting in work, but now he's getting sliced by launch air. Back air snacks off the stage, and that just took the turn for the worse. 
Nice. Nice up smash. Very good. Oh, he's no. We don't accidentally snap us. Uh, Sniped snacks. Uh, yeah. Tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> Such a random kick. It's like, get out of here. Oh. It's a good back here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm out here. I might as well do something about it. Woo. All right, chilling on the rock transformation. Oh, we got a bomb. And Glitter, not afraid of the pit, just goes down and challenges Snacks. <laughs> and Launcher gets hit by the bomb. Oh, he's dead. let's go. <laughs> let's that was go. quick. Ba bomb. That's just how it starts. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Oh my god, and freaking Glitter, he can't go anywhere. <laughs> Had ledge for free. Oh, let's nice. go. Let's go. And the top. Oh, yeah, I thought he almost Snacks feeling Snacks. himself right now. Snacks is coming back, man. That's what I'm telling you, that momentum. Uh, the backer sends him the wrong way. Yo, Snacks is, he's, he's, he had a little extra Snacks. He's got more energy now. <laughs> oh, good punish. But Yo, he's trying to talk. Oh, no. Oh. Was good yeah, Snacks tried to shorten to short. grab the ledge, but... Uh, um, it's good what he did. Yeah. It still worked out. Oh. Nice. Using a slow yo, get up. Yo. Oh my gosh. Alright, it's pretty even now. <laughs> we like even games though. We like even games. I I don't agree with what Snacks is doing. I think he should like stay near Weedle and try to uh nice down smash. Two V one the Fox. Said he went to the yep. right and tried to fight launch air. That was good. They definitely like did, played really good teamwork right there. Weedle keeping uh, launch air away from Snack while he's edge guarding uh, Glitter. Mm. Really attempting. Too. Oh, but still good teamwork. Doesn't get the strong up air, but Weedle's like, "Don't worry, I got you. I'll kill him." Still, still relatively even. It's <laughs> good. Oh. oh, sent a little bit too far though. This could be the, the end of his stock. Oh yeah, yeah. He's still alive. It's his comeback all for nothing. Oh my gosh. This is really close. It's the way you want it, though. Yeah, take a breather. Think about it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we got the assembly line going. <laughs> this looks like some mini. mini oh, game. oh, that was nice. <laughs> Glitter's like, oh, we got dot eyes. That. Okay. Oh, good. Nice little jump bait. Oh, let's go! And he re catches the turn up and just chucks it hey, off. Johnny's charging him up smash. Okay, here we go. We're close. Oh my god. Yo, if Glitter makes, sna does, sna makes this happen, it's gonna be awesome. <gasps> oh my gosh. Woo! Grab that ledge. Cover it. Yes, no, good, grab it again. Oh, nice short. Oh my that's gosh. Very, not it's very so good intense. Not very good. Hey, yeah, let's go. We're going to game five. five. Welcome to game five, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is I'm your wanted. host, Sleeves. And uh, S, S, uh, Mr. Bean. That's right. I took the S out of you and put it on me. Dang. Both at the end. <laughs> Dang. Because you do have, you start you and end You squinched my S. name <laughs> and it's just S, S. <laughs> took the ends. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that was super clutch. I think... Aiden could have definitely done it. He just wasn't getting the, uh, you know, the openings he needed on Weedle. Like he would knock snack. He had the right idea, knock snacks off stage, and then just go after Weedle. But yeah. He just wasn't getting the openings he needed to take advantage of that. And we're going back, Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. Sometimes, like some some choices that people make in Smash or like in teams seem like a bad idea, but they cover certain options. And it's like if you don't hit that option, you could it could fail. That's why it's like. Good to have your teammate help you out with that. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Launcher chilling by the edge. Yeah, that was that was pretty easy. This card. Yeah, sick. Oh, oh but, but no! Back. Yo, he Johnny. underestimated Fox. Don't underestimate Fox. He still had that. My rule is like, if Fox is like anywhere else, they just grab the ledge. Like, don't even try to do like anything else. Just oh grab gosh, it. Oh my gosh, that was like quick. Because I feel like Fox can always make it back. Snacks trying to demoralize his uh, opponents. <laughs> He's just feeling himself, honestly. Like, 
Yeah, he's, he's uh, just seeing happen. the way he's moving and playing uh, now. Like, yo, Goku. He's 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 turning up. Oh my oh. gosh! No! It's not going in, but let's go. Bad deal on that fourth smash. He's gonna but, take him but out. Dude, like, do you he's see still that? going in. He's he, man. He's talking. Oh, if he got the back air, like Spanish or something. <laughs> he's Caliente. Talking. They don't understand. They don't understand. Yo, Nair's no, guys. habla espanol. <laughs> Man, he's talking Japanese or something. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So that make that makes more sense to me with how like Chris. Oh my, oh god, my snacks. gosh! Snacks, uh, he is a moving. turning up. Take that! Take that glitter. Meanwhile, uh, Weedle is doing a pretty good job against Launcher. Yeah, they're they're keeping it. They're uh, keeping their lead a little bit here. See if they can keep it up. Woohoo! Snacks. Yo, this is how it Go starts, man. We, oh we my god! It. Oh, okay. This All right. movement is you so You need crisp. to calm down. You need to calm down. That was good. Alright, nice. Hit him towards Weedle. Um, nice calm. Oh, that nair was really good. Oh, that was good. He just... Smash. Yeah, okay. Good forward smash. Yep. Still, they're still ahead, though, by one stock, actually. Yeah, one stock. No, wait. No, two stocks. Okay. Uh, red team can make it back pretty easily. They can do it. Fox Peach is a really good team, though. Just have to say that. Yeah, it seems like Snacks has just been oh, going after go. Aiden a lot. That's up smash out of shield. Like well, that's, that's good, yeah. So like he's been faking out to go to launch air, and then like he'll switch it up and go to Aiden. Aiden's pretty dangerous. Or Glitter, yeah. Either way. Sorry, guys. Know, they know what we're talking about at this point. Woohoo! The up tilt the shine, That really? was so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even Snacks, know. You, you are a monster. And, uh... Oh, and now it's they like got the two v one turbo up uh, towards the end of the this set. Honestly, uh, when they had the grab over there, red team, they should have just waited till the mountain ro rose and then yeah. up smash. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, red team's not out of it. They're still putting up a fight, regardless of how good Snacks is playing. Now we got a, another turn up mini game. He just loves catching turnips that uh, Billy or uh, Weedle throw. And we're doing this. Okay. Snacks makes the first move. See if we, they can keep the Caliente up. Ooh, and that was so good. Blue team just did such a good job of pushing red team in the corner, but now. Oh, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and yeah, Snacks getting jammed. Advantage of it. Oh. oh, my Almost. God. Very, if very if he didn't snap to that ledge, he was super dead. <laughs> We want to take this. Oh, the drill. If he did a back air instead. Yes. Nice. Oh Attack chase. And gets a shine. Grab the ledge. Oh, no, the back air. And that's it. Grab the ledge. Oh, uh, my gosh. The comeback. Dude, the comeback. The 3 0 comeback. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That was so good. They hug it out. Wow. You, yeah, Lawn Chair and Glitter are not happy. Especially Lawn Chair. Not happy. Dang, that was. I'm more happy about ha having like five games in a set, like an actual like good close set. That was sick. That was more than the fact that they won. Especially you know? that last game, snacks the MVP. Yeah, he Dude, that was, was Chris turning it up. It was. Well, it was he Chris. took the dial and he just he went <laughs> all the way up. Gas burner. He broke the dial. He, he put some the gas dial is on, on the it. floor. The dial is definitely it's, on the floor. It's broken. Was that a uh, winner's finals? Or is that? Um, I don't think so. No, that was semis. Oh, loser semis or winners? That that was winner semis. Yeah, There's two winner semis, right? Yeah, because uh, no. yeah, and yeah, then yeah, you yeah. won, you won, and so now it's gonna be you won and BMC versus Snacks and Weedle. Nice. nice. So, nice. battle of. Uh, could you just like uh, hold that on your own for just a minute? Fox Beast. Uh, yeah. Really gotta go back. One, one minute. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, uh, yeah. So, now we got a, a loser's match. Uh, don't know exactly where in the bracket this is, but we got... It might be a loser's quarters or semi. Loser's quarters, I'm thinking. Uh... 
Will and Rubens. Uh, Fox Peach versus uh, another Fox Peach that uh, the Maryland team of Fendrick Lamar and Pinophobia has to play against. So, but I think this Fox team, Fox Peach team, uh, plays a little bit differently. Will is a lot more uh, of an aggressive Peach, just in general. Squill Benz, there we go. Squilla Benz. Squilla Benz. Yeah. Fendi Phobia, I like that. I like Fendi Phobia. Mashups. But, uh, we're jamming it. So, Brinstar Des? I think it's pretty good stage. Yoshi might have some trouble though. Can't shield drop. And uh, finds himself off stage. He'll die. Now we're going to. Are they striking an FD? Oh no, they're striking a battlefield this time. Okay, so picking a. De I think this should have been the first choice from the beginning when they played when uh, the Maryland team played against Snacks and Weedle. But that was just me. They picked FD instead. Uh, Alright, I'm back. Okay. And uh, green team starting off strong. And this is just what I thought. Like, uh, this Fox Beach team is a little bit of a lower caliber of the one that Snacks and Weedle is. So. Yeah. They're still good. It's just. I yeah, just, they're good. I think that uh, it's going to be a different match. Snacks and Weedle or like uh, you want BMC. Yeah. But they're good though. Like uh, Will is a good peach. Oh, and the snipe grab the ledge, nice. Covering everything, and kinda, that sucks. <laughs> kind of like how um like Fre Frederick is like a, lo a little bit lower caliber Mars. Probably like a, a couple steps ahead of me, but like under lawn chair. Oh, uh, I I don't know. He looks pretty solid. He's good, don't get me wrong, but Lawn Chair is definitely a better Mars, in my opinion, at least. He's, he's a really good Mars. Yeah, I, I I don't really know what my opinion is on that, so... <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. But <laughs> <laughs> but you got it, man. You're, you, you're Marth main, so you would know more than I would. <laughs> but, uh... Ooh. Oh, no. A little bit too short. Yep. It was a good idea. I think he would have still got clipped by the Nair. But and Fendrick trying to take advantage of Gimpy potential against Fox. Oh, oh that sucks. Okay. <laughs> that was nice uh, power shield there or parry. Or, no, it's not parry. It's power shield. Oh, good spot dodge. From uh, Pinot Phobia. Spot dodge, up smash, punch with down smash. That was good. And, uh. Ruins finding himself at one stock left. And now Yo, Fendi, too. Ruben, sorry. I keep saying Ruben. <laughs> You're hungry, man. Uh, I guess <laughs> I'm just thinking of a sandwich. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I think. Uh, or that sing singer from uh, season two of American Idol. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. Pinophobia going all out. Have we actually seen Pinophobia do some work against Peaches in the past? Like he played a uh, BMC at uh, a Westchester one time, and he yeah. was doing really solid against them. BMC should have won the set. It's, it's a famous like terrible punish like yeah. basically BMC got the shield break yeah. on Pinophobia it was last stock last game high percent and uh, he got a shield break on Pinophobia and then he just like super messed up like I don't know what happened he was super choked and just like didn't get the like simple nair or something that he needed and then Pinophobia killed him yeah. but either way Pinophobia is out of the game and now it's up to Fendrick Lamar to make this comeback forward smash? nope not fast enough. I think he might have been able to just either jab or do a four tilt. You think to catch that side B? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Z those moves are a little faster. Yeah, a little bit safer as well, especially in two v one. Yeah, because uh, Will was like right behind 
Fendrick when, you know, he forward smash got hit for it. Yeah. But either way, uh, against what I thought before, Will and Frubens, Squilliam and Frubens are uh, taking game one. Yep. This might be closer than I thought it would be. Can't count anyone out these days, right? No, definitely not. Um, yeah, I mean, like like I was saying earlier, uh, Fox Peach is just like a really great team. It's just all around good. Uh, I'm not like all about like character, like, oh, this team's bad as a character, but like it does play a part in it, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, it's it's just like limiting your options. Yeah. Like when you play a lower tier character, you're limiting the amount of stuff you can cover and like you have to play certain situations wow, differently. Wow, so fast. And <laughs> Fendrick Lamar just got He's wrecked. Got jammed. Like he got like raspberry jammed. I really like raspberry. Ooh. Like, <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Bring a raspberry. But, uh, <laughs> oh. Yo, he's doing it again. Oh, let's go team combos. And, uh, yo, that, he just, like, slapped it. Okay. Oh, it gets sniped by his teammate. What do you think uh, Yoshi's going to have to do to, uh, I don't know, just his team, I guess, in general, is going to have to do, to do better than he did last game. Yoshi has some good moves. Uh, his down smash is good. His nair is solid. I his, think his uh, down tilt is probably a really safe option. His down tilt is really safe, and it has set knockback though, so you could set up for like punishes at any percent really, like down tilt, and then Fender can follow up with whatever. Yeah. Depending on the percent, you know, that's a good thing about set knockback. Same thing with shine, you know, it's set knockback, so at any percent you can combo it into something. So. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah. Pinephobia has been kind of just like setting up combos and uh, putting on damage. And it seems like I've seen Fendrick Lamar just like getting the edge guards, especially on uh, on Frubens. <laughs> There's snacks again. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Frubens and Squilliam are we both got from UD. As the, yeah, they are. You got Pinophobia as the one who's uh, holding stocks for Fendrick Lamar. Yeah, uh, Fendrick's just been, I don't know, like, he'll just find himself off stage and get jammed. He's been, bi he's, like, because he's staying in the corner so much, like, he's more susceptible to being edge guarded as well, so it's... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, double-edged strategy. Sometimes it's, like, a good thing to do with Mars because you want to gimp, but, like... Oh, he was reaching. I, I think he should have backed off of the first fair. But either way, oh, and uh, Squillian was dead if he didn't hit him, right? Because he was facing the other way. He couldn't I grab the ledge. That's the stuff I would do as Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm like, think, I'm like watching him play as if it's me, and I'm like, yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah, yeah. that's what I would do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. That's what I, I think everyone does that when they see someone playing their character. They're like, yeah, yeah, or no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm like, I'm like thinking like as, he, as he's playing, like what would I do if I was playing? Yeah, like, I'm like exactly the same thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a brave little walk by uh, Pinophobia, just walking straight at the school and like no fear. All right, Frubens turn it up a little. Oh, it's a crisp shine from Frubens. Goes high. Fendi reacts and nice snipe. Man, that, that is a crisp uh, ledge grab. Oh, you gotta be good at that like, with Yoshi. Oh, yeah. The do instant double jump ledge grab. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. Frubens does take the stock. Yeah, that, and that. Pinophobia just tries to go out there to end it, but uh, he misses the up air. Woo! Nice tipper, and Maybe another correct. one. Fendrick Lamar brings us back for his team. Nice. Yeah, good yeah, solid smash stuff. covered that pretty well. Who's Can't best two out of three or best three out of five? This might be two out of three, uh, unless it's top eight. Yes. I don't know if they're... Yeah. Yeah, I figured it was top eight, but I wasn't sure if all of top eight was two out of three, or, th or three out of five, sorry. Two out of three, gotcha. But yeah, this is two out of three. So game three. Welcome to game three, everybody. This is game three on FD. Good counter pick. 
think. Uh, uh, but then again, green team. Oh, Frubit. But Fox. So we're good. Ooh, okay. It's Peach, though. Fendrick opening Lives. up with a nice conversion on the on Squoy. Oh, I wouldn't counter there, even though I counter a lot. <laughs> Okay. Okay, nice. Fendrick going in to try to Should've up smash there. Alleviate that some of the better. Pain. Ruben's had a free up smash against uh Fendrick and he did nothing. Oh my gosh. I think rolling in on someone who's dash dancing is like such a bad thing to do. It's like, yeah, that's what they're looking for, man. <laughs> yeah. Or you to do something, you know? Yeah, definitely. That grab. There's a jump. Grab from behind. <laughs> oh, and oh, that sucks. Fendrick, uh, Marth wasn't out of the air dodge animation fast enough to grab the ledge. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice, double up tilt. Forward smash. Okay. No, forward tilt's good, too. Yeah. Forward smash, actually, I think if he was close enough, would have been No, fine. He, he was definitely close enough. Oh, either way, it's fine then. Could have got a tip. He was dead either way, so yeah, fine. It worked out. Ooh. Just a less exciting option. Okay. Will's like, get back on stage. I want some more, man. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Oh, Rubens. He doesn't get to turn around on the up smash. Okay. Just clip with the back air. Rubens doesn't. Ooh. Power kill with the egg. There you go. Like Good he kind of just play. like walked away at the edge there. I don't know. Grab the ledge. Oh no. Base up the edge edge. Oh, he almost got that. <gasps> oh, that's uh. That was very unfortunate. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Freaking snacks, man. <laughs> He's even closer now, so if you guys couldn't hear before, you probably could now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not. It, this this match isn't as close as the other ones. It's looking pretty bad for uh, our, our MDBA homies. Oh. That's what happens when you come to Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was I mean, a good down well, smash. It looks like they're bringing it back, you know? They just keep playing so solid. Yeah, you definitely try the up tilt there instead of up smash, but it happens. Oh, Fendrick uh, runs in the down smash. Right in. Misspaced himself, and that's going to cost him. Last stop, can't phobia. Got to make it happen with it's the. It's all up Yoshi. to Yoshi. It's all up to Yoshi. <laughs> Against arguably two of his worst matchups. <laughs> oh, wait, no, Sheik. That's right. No, but Fox Peach, is Peach is one of his worst matchups. Though. Fox is fine, actually. Like I you know, it's like, it's <laughs> like you would pick Fox to play against Yoshi, but like still. Yeah, Fox time. is good against Yoshi. I would just say like top two matchups. But yeah, ooh, Armors through the turnip. Oh, nice. And Rubens, I don't know if that was a reaction or a read, but either there way, go, yep. he got Game. it, and that <laughs> is over. It. And French Lamar and uh, Kinophobia are out of the tournament. GG to those guys for 7th uh, place, I guess. 6th yeah. or 7th. But we'll see them in singles. Yep, definitely. And, uh, yep. Yep. Yeah, pretty solid play from Squilliam and Frubens. Are they winners finals right now? Yes. Already? Wait. Oh, okay. That's what I was saying. I was like, already? Okay. Like, why? Yeah, I was... <laughs> why would he do that so quick? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the bracket wasn't caught up. I thought it was. But it is not. Got uh, Frank Goldman in the back there. Yo, Frankie G. Franker G, I should say. Peek peeking out. Pikachu. I feel like I'm wearing this wrong. I don't know. I feel like I'm wearing this right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on anyway.
Yeah, they got to do catch up with losers first so before they do winner's finals. What's your favorite pizza topping? <laughs> meat lovers. Meat love? Dude, yeah, you just, would say that, though. Just put all of You're the like the meat. epitome of, like, dude. You just know? put all of the meat in the world <laughs> on a pizza. <laughs> like, sausage, bacon, ham chunks, chicken, uh, steak. That's disgusting. Just put all of it. Hamburger chunks. Like. This is the problem. Okay, I, I like all of those things. I really do. But all of them on a pizza, it, it, to me, is not I a need pi- substance. It's not a pizza anymore. It's not a pizza anymore. You know what happens? I like a if pizza. If I eat a salad... You know I'm not saying eat a salad. It, you know, I'm uh, not saying that. Okay. I'm you know saying what that you would enjoy a pizza. Like, with the cheese. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. And just, like, maybe one or two Along with all the meats. You want, like, the cheese and the sauce and the what bread are other, to shine. What are other meats on pizza? Um, uh, not fish. I don't like fish on goat. my pizza. Goat. <laughs> goat? Yeah. <laughs> Lam- I goat. actually really like lamb. Lamb is amazing. You know, I've never actually had veal at all. Which is... Um, baby cow essentially what veal is a baby cow yeah that is oh uh, yeah I okay so this looks either. like loser semis there we go right or is this uh, like something like that I think it's right. loser semis I mean if this is losers quarters okay so the last match was losers eights all right gotcha losers I thought the last match was quarters uh so this is quarters, which means that whoever wins this will advance to loser's semis. Wow. I don't know who's on the other side of the bracket. Uh, oh, lawn chair and glitter. Oh, yeah. And I don't know who else they would play. They're going to have to make the run back in, um, in losers. Yo. I think other teams that are in the – I don't know if they're still in the bracket, but the other ones I know of are uh, East Nuts and Wumpus. Uh, Broken Bones. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're still in? Nice. Yeah, like, I don't know if they're all still in, but, uh, Spoot Beast and, um, Wisely. This team is, like, many, as, as many people as before, to be honest. And we're getting into it. So. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, so now we got ports. Sick. Oh, cool. We got uh, we got our actual actual uh, layout for this. Oh, yeah. That's cool, man. I like this layout. Oh, yeah. I just noticed that. Nice. Ooh. Okay. All right. Yeah, Dilu and uh, Smokey need to make a comeback, yo, from uh, winners. Yeah, they... They had a pretty close set, but... Who'd they lose to? BMC and, uh... You want? Uh, I think so, yeah. Did... BMC and Maybe, Yuan. yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know, I, they I, might take the whole thing. I want to say that, but... But then again, Snacks and Weedle are really good, too. Yeah. Man, against, like, gl- Glitter and Lawn Chair, though, like, I was not expecting that. Yeah. I made that comeback, that was sick, but... That was so sick. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Interesting option about the the down air off of the up throw. This is a quick match, man. You got Yoshi's, so. Yeah. People are going to die left and right. Henson. Well, actually, probably just right. left and right. No, off the top. Down to the bottom. Oh. Box. You can kill with any anywhere. Up smash. Okay. That was good. <laughs> I was like, please. <laughs> yeah, they're taking these stocks quick. Yeah, and oh my god, that was a really nice shot spike. I, who was that? Was that a That was D-Lu? uh Dilu, yeah. Yo, oh. man. Oh, uh, he got a... If they would have done the back and forth thing, that would have been so yeah. cool. I, I think from that, like, spot that Dilu was in, he definitely could have grabbed. Uh, running shine was... Uh, maybe... No. He wasn't in running distance. Like, he would have dashed. He wouldn't... Unless he could dash shine. But, you know, just grab is safe. Up smash. Oh, now they're trying to do some some uh, multi-shine stuff. Up there. That yep. was cool. That was just cool, man. Yeah. I mean, that was cool, man. Team I mean, combos are cool, man. Man. That was cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Team combos are cool, <laughs> man. What's up? It's crisp. Crisp. <laughs> like like on Evan's birthday when he had the when he had the, the cake. Crisp. I'm still surprised I got the first slice, man. 
<laughs> I said that just to get a reaction. Jamming it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. jamming it. Okay, so we're going to game two. So you said jamming it, I said first. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, game two, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, messed up wave shine. Oh my gosh! Shine there. That was so fast. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that's oh like, my god! That's like person, oh. that's my person in the crowd voice. Oh, I thought. Oh my yeah, gosh. the person in the crowd voice. Op. <laughs> oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, he's okay, dead. Squilliam. Yo, pineapple. That Say, was who, a, he said, "Who lives in a pineapple under the sea?" You do. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Dilu does. I wonder what pick is. I think that's a T. No, wait. I think you might be right. It's going too fast. I can't tell. You're right. You're right. Oh. All right. Nice. Will was able to pick it up. And nice tech chase by Frubens. Yo, Frubens is lighting it up, man. Up air? Yeah. Living, though. Dreamland. We're alive. We're alive. We're in there. Oh. That was some interesting pressure on the platform. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like the uppy. Oh, Frubens, you're god. Don't do this. <laughs> what the heck? I, how how did that grab even happen? <laughs> Ooh, quick quick sees. I like that down tilt that Frubens did to shield poke. Nice. And uh, oh, that's a bad position to be in if you're smoky, but. He makes it back okay. Up there. Oh. Nicely timed get up attack by Fruben to avoid the up smash. Will's holding on to the stock, man. He doesn't want to die. Nice snare. That's when you like up B into each other. Yeah. To save. Use the headbutt. Yeah. The only <laughs> problem with that tactic is that like, oh, oh my God, Smokey, no. Uh, Frubens actually could have jab reset Smokey after the up smash because he didn't take. It was a comeback. But uh, yeah. Slowly but surely. Oh my gosh, the quick up smash. Oh, there we go. Yep. Take the stock. <gasps> oh. Okay. Makes it back Sorry. okay somehow. <laughs> somehow he made it back. I don't know. I don't know how he wasn't dead. Just like just believe, man. You gotta believe. Do you believe? The the throw like Smokey was hit into the throw, the lasers. It, like set him at a weird angle. Nice. Nice. Oh, that was good coverage. Yeah. That was good to Will. Oh, and that comeback, comeback. It's that Allstate coverage, man. <laughs> <laughs> Had to make an insurance show. <laughs> All right, and that's it. Grab the ledge. Free. And, uh, yeah, we got... Oh, we're pretty we got even team, game so far. Team UD looking confident. They're like, we got this, man. I mean, they, they yeah. got pretty far. They, they do the fist pound. They, they're like, yeah. You said like you said like lower caliber, but I I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, I was just thinking in the in the matchup like yeah versus. But you know what? They're proving me wrong. They're doing pretty good. I'm glad good. they are. You know, don't don't I think they, me... you're right though in that they are struggling a little bit more, but they're still doing great. Yeah, like the games are close. Don't get me wrong, but they're just clutching it out. You know. Yeah, for sure. Ooh. Good up to <laughs> bad DI on that fair. Yep, sees uh green team's already lost the stock. <laughs> I mean, that okay, in that situation, R4 like there. Will would be like, hey, shield, and then fair, and the hitbox is extended by the shield. That's still that was still good for red team though, that uh, getting that up smash. Uh, one green oh. and one red died. So it wasn't like that big of a deal. Oh my gosh. Oh, he should have grabbed. Ruben should have grabbed, but. Clearing a path oh, for that Will was, to come back. That was really smart. What the heck, Smokey? 
I think he was like thinking about jumping out there and up beam, but then he was like, wait, no, I'm gonna get jammed. Nice up tilt. Oh, three up airs. Nice combo by Dilu. Oh, here we go. What the heck? Okay. Oh, and Fruben doesn't make it to the ledge. Dilu's like, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> I'll grab the ledge every time. Oh, there Ooh. we go. That's good. Nice, Fruben. He said, yo, you don't, you don't talk much, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. You piece of toy. <laughs> oh, it will do. Oh, that was a bad double jump by Fruben. Going to get a punish. Is he dead? No, no. no. Oh, yeah. oh, there we oh, go. The they turn it, they're turning it up, man. Green team's turning it up. They're talking. Yeah, and this, this is two out of three. <gasps> yeah, he's dead. Oh, that sucks. How's that zero percent? Man, this is gonna be it's real, man. This is gonna be hard. Okay. I mean, I think I I believe. Oh no. Oh, they. I mean, I guess it's optimal, and they're trying to rack up damage. But he's there. We go. Oh, this is three out of five. God dang it. I don't <laughs> know what's two out of three and three out of five. <laughs> they said it like at two different times. <laughs> man, shot, man, shot. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to FD. Game three, baby. Oh, game, game four. four. Sorry, game yeah. four. Oh. Let's get another game five in, man. Okay, nice. Punishing that grab. Frubens. You're just kicking, giving it to Dilu. Switch his targets. Grab the ledge. Oh, okay. I don't it. necessarily agree because I think Will was there to cover the option, but and in a lot like. Yeah. He, he, even when he did the backer, he got off the ledge too. So <laughs> that was actually good because like Peach wasn't high enough percent to really be affected by that. So hit all three of them with the up smash. Got a. Uh, oh, and Smokey doesn't cover the high option. Frubens get back. Surprise, Frubens fox. Ooh, been doing pretty good. And I think at that percent. Uh, the up throw, you can jump out of the up, uh, up throw, charge up smash. Like it's a, it's a mix up. Wow. You can, but, uh, yeah. he didn't do the thunder. He did the, he did like, a almost a thunder, but he did a forward tilt instead of a jab. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of cool. I like forward tilt. It's like stanky leg. Take that. Dude, it's stanky leg. Yeah. He totally missed. Ooh. And just when I thought that, like, green team was doing, like, super well. I don't know. Red team makes me doubt myself again. <laughs> it's like, I I don't know, like, oh. what to think. Because, like, typically you would say, oh. yeah, Smokey and D-Loop, they've got this. But, like, I I don't know, man. They're putting up a fight, man. are holding their own, man. But it... If they don't take these stocks quick, then uh... Oh my god, and that was a clutch shine from Dilu. Oh! He has these, but it doesn't matter. And... Will's just gonna leave it up. Yeah, I was gonna say, you should definitely take the stock. Oh. And this uh this game took a turn for the worse. Yeah, they're they're clutching yeah. it out. Yeah, Dilu got like a super clutch shine spike on uh on Swill. Nice. Up there. Ooh. Oh. oh that's cool, yo. That Armada, combo would have been Armada cool stuff. if if Smokey wasn't there to interrupt it. And uh now it's looking looking kinda over. Curtains, dude. What? Oh okay. yeah, it's over. All right. That's a good set though, it was a good set. They didn't they didn't go out like total scrubs, that's what made it good. They got one.
Yeah, they put up a fight. And then like each game was pretty close. So yeah. yeah. Good job the uh, Oh excuse me. Um Squam and Frubens. But now we got another losers match. We got a uh, lawn chair and glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen how PB and Jay was trucking right now. I, I, I love I I wish you guys could have seen it, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so okay, so this matchup right here is losers semis, but we're actually gonna do winners finals yep. first. Because the optimal uh, tournament bracket is winners finals, uh, losers semis, losers finals, grand finals. Yep. So, yeah, we're gonna have snacks. Oh, dude, this is gonna be so snacks and Weedle. I know I haven't been like that excited, but like you gotta conserve your energy, man. But this is gonna be really exciting. We gotta blow it all in this match. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be high intensity, Yo. high octane action. If anyone wants to know what the best match of a tournament is, it's always winners finals. Really? Grand, I think grand finals is like normally there's like one person who makes it who's way better than the person who losers. It depends though because it does sometimes depend. you can make the the clutch come back. It does. I mean, I'm not saying it's always the case, but more times than not, winners finals is like two people who are like really close in skill who made it in winners. Yeah. You know, like it's always a solid watch. Yeah, I love winners. Winners, winners finals. finals is always a solid watch, but um. Sometimes, I don't know, one team can 3 the other. But, yeah. Uh, but these guys are definitely going to go back and forth. Yeah. We've got three VGTC t-shirts and a Beast 5. <laughs> yeah. Fox Peach Dittos. Uh, Snacks and BMC usually team, but this time BMC decided to team with Yuan. So Snacks is like, you know what? Let me get a, you got let me a, get a Peach. You got a Judas Iscariot here. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's, we betrayed them. Yeah, yeah. You betrayed him. <laughs> so. But surprisingly, both of these teams have really good synergy. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. well, Yuan and BMC used to team a lot, but then Yuan stopped playing, like, in the off season for melee games. Yeah. So he found a more consistent teammate in Snacks. But you know what? Old flames never die. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, Johnny, I'm always here for you. <laughs> I'm always here for you, Snacks. As a teammate. Even though you hate When me. will you take me back? <laughs> when will you take me back? <laughs> but uh, enough about my You're emotional tight. struggles. You're tight. <laughs> 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 you are no, I, honestly, I'm, I'm glad that uh, he's doing well. Why are you tight, Snacks? I'm just messing with I was you. holding him back super hard. But it's all right. You were like the, the uh, Hoover I Dam. I, I needs a bunch I, of water. I, I, I just held him down, man. <laughs> ah, man. Okay, but we're getting into it. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be so awesome. Starting on FD. Off right away. Yo, that down smash. Ooh. Weedle's like, take that. And Billy's like, no, you don't. That's a quick, almost 90% on Yuan. One more solid hit. He's off stage. Yep. Get that edge guard. Nice. Oh, wow. And uh, BMC, Yo, SDs. Max is like, saying, he's saying like, this he's is the way it's going to go the whole set. Yeah. Huh. He's confident, man. Oh, my gosh. That was a super scoop, even though it was on his teammate. After what he did in losers, uh, uh, sorry, not losers, winners uh, semis. Man. Like, that comeback was for real. Oh, grab the ledge. Yeah, rinse and repeat. There we go, finally made it back. <laughs> yeah, just Weedle's presence there, like, turned the edge guard around. Yeah, definitely. Like, made Yuan consider, like, his options and, like, made him play a little bit more careful so Snacks was able to make it back. Oh. Snacks is burned by the up and BMC just goes out there. He's like, get out of here, Weedle. <laughs> get off my stage. There we go, that's good in there. Realizing, um, uh, <laughs> BMC's presence and the way he was uh, It's like the moving. ultimate Dragon Ball Z right now. That's <laughs> yeah, pretty awesome. I just like how they're like mirrors of each other. The only one who doesn't have a tag over the character is next. 
Oh. Really, you should really make one. Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> right into the umbrella. What? The umbrella wall. That umbrella, though. It, uh... <laughs> kind of sucks it worked out that way for him, but... Yeah. Okay, nice. Wait, wait B BMC and, um... Weedle team before I just remember that. That what's, was funny. What's that? We haven't seen Weedle team before. Oh yeah, Double Peach. Uh, I think it like second a place. AEX before. Yeah, AEX ten. They got second place. They did really good. Ooh. Next to uh, BMC, so used to teaming with Snacks that he he was comboing you on with him. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, all right, <laughs> for old times' sake. <laughs> <laughs> Make it happen. Oh, and you want. Nice up DI. Good DI! Oh, good. What? My gosh, next DI. <laughs> I'll good just do DI. it again. I'll just do it again. <laughs> that was Chris. <laughs> BMZ is like, get out of here. He's we so don't. aggressive, man. Um, you just push him far <laughs> back enough. Push so him he far can't back even enough? recover. Yeah. He can't even recover. That's, that was what he wanted to do the whole time. Oh, oh nice jump. Uh, that actually was really smart. Like, cause when you got on stage, the two of them were sandwiching uh, BMC, and they jumped out of like what they would have done. Those yeah, I think jumps. Weedle just could have been a little bit. He was a little like too far away, cause he wasn't able to. Like, he could have punished BMC. He was just too far away, out space by you know his nair. So. Uh. Okay, it's pretty Ooh, even, want? but um, Weedle's got a higher percent, but it's okay. That'll still it's Peach. You can. You can make that work unless you get up smashed I guess. Snacks are in, in a bit of a spot right now getting sandwiched. Oh okay. Oh man I, I'm just thinking about sandwiches right now. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up? What's up homie? <laughs> okay. Oh here we go. You want to like go on without me. BMC is the king of uh, 2v1s. Yeah. There we go. But a simple grab, and yeah, you know, Snacks is not gonna mess that up. If I know anything about him, he's like, he's like, yes, we must win. Get the up smash. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Snacks and Weedle take a close game one, and I, I think that's just how it's gonna be like the whole set, like super close games, one team edging it out over the other. <sighs> All right, so we're going to Dreamland. Uh, snacks and Weedle. Oh yeah, that was that was really good. Um, whatever he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, at least you're honest. <laughs> <laughs> I just could I couldn't remember at the moment after right. I saw him do it. I was like, wait a minute. I'm gonna. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes too. It's okay. <laughs> oh, you want to try to connect with uh, Ariel? He just missed. And oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, blue team starting off a little bit stronger, pushing the red team off stage constantly. Oh, that nair was so good. Yeah, it was so smart. That surprised oh. me. Like, oh my gosh, snacks. He just kind of choked up on the platform. That was good. Oh, nice pickup from BMC, but doesn't get the nair to finish it off. Somehow he finds a back air, and Weedle goes for the save. Okay. Oh. Snack shield not able to withstand all the down smash. Good shield poke. Ooh, that was a good nair. And Weedle was able to pick up on that. That would have been crisp. Yeah, I think in this... That's like the perfect spot that we will need to be in. Yeah. Right? Like that one spot. Oh my like gosh. Right Snacks just got that. Oh my gosh. He's talking that was again. insane. <laughs> look at him. Look at Weedle Snacks. feeling himself. Look at and what started off like looking really strong. Well, I mean, they're pretty much even at this point. One hit on PGF. Yeah, pretty much. Even. Pretty much. I mean, Snacks is still at high percent, but it's not to the point where like. Okay, well now it's like one hit, he's dead. Yeah. Not dead. Dream good DI, very good DI. Okay. No, that wasn't very good at all. Some really bad aerials there by Snacks. Yeah. 
Oh, Weedle gets the edge guard. Oh, he tried to get the back air, but oh, got burned. Nice. Coming up smash, please. Okay. Up smash, uh, didn't kill. With that one. Jab up smash, easy peasy. Oh, how did he get up there? <laughs> nice. Ooh, nair up smash. Okay, good forward throw. Ooh. Yuan had no chance of coming back. Nice. <laughs> Yuan comes back and then just picks up where uh, Billy left off <laughs> right away. Yeah, you got you to pick up after your par partner, you know? Oh, yeah. Ultimate scout is Oh, here. and the read from Yuan. It's still pretty even. Um, Weedle just has to survive. Okay. Oh, that back air was so unsafe. And he got away with it. Okay, that nice. Was nice back air. Yeah, Yuan's doing the, the, the correct job right now. Just chilling center oh, stage. That was good. Wait for them to come. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's and, just uh, up smashing now. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even need to do that. Snacks the percent so well. Oh man, and Weedle's at such a high percent right now. He can make it work. It's Peach, man. I know, but <laughs> it just puts more pressure on Snacks. It really does, yeah. And blue team's going to take advantage of that. They're going to be like, okay, well, if he's not going to approach, if Peach isn't going to approach, then we'll just 2v1 oh, wow. the box. And that sucks. Weedle sacrificing his life, but he he's not dead. Oh, my gosh. The comeback. Oh, my that, God. What? That was so crazy. I can't believe it. <gasps> not Finds dead yet. Not oh, dead my yet. God. Good DI. But he's dead. Oh, the save. You've got to be kidding and me. And Weedle gives his life. He Will laid, it be worth it? He laid down his life. Oh my friend. god! Oh my god! Oh, and he gets clipped. Oh Shield my gosh! Snap. That was really good, though. That was really close. Yeah, I think Snack should have just. My gosh! Instead of going back on the ground, I think he should have retreated to the top platform. Yeah, but uh. But yeah, it was. I mean, uh, they were pretty much done anyway, so it was really good. To oh see my how god! They were. <laughs> that was almost a really crisp comeback. Weedle's like, go on, brother. Brother, live on. <laughs> <laughs> My death was in vain. <laughs> He's like, hold, hold the holding the umbrella, flying slowly down, like brother. A single tear, <laughs> brother. Okay, so we're going to battlefield. There we go. Good choice. Yes. Uh, Ooh, uh, and we don't put in work. What the heck? Seventy-five percent on Peach already. Yo, let's go. <laughs> we don't just fare to crap out of Zax. <laughs> Alright. Oh, nice. I like that. He like full jumped Nairn, and then after Yuan like did the shine, he, you know, I guess Snacks predicted that he was gonna jump. He caught the jump within there. Nice. Oh, and that was just a miscommunication. But. Because he like just barely. <laughs> yeah, let, Snacks let tried Weedle to go for back. the shine, and then uh, Weedle. Tried to edge guard with the back air. Nice, nice back air. Oh, nice, another, another good back air. Very aware and of what's going BMC on. BMC is like, let me, let me help. Ooh, good there. <laughs> and the ultimate sweet spot of sweet spots. Ooh, snacks. Oh uh, yeah, he knew. I think yeah, I would have liked to have seen an up air there instead. Yeah, I, I was thinking that too instead of the back air. Cause like he, all he needed to do was react to what um, uh, Billy was doing. Yeah, maybe he just like had a misinput or something. That's possible. Uh, bad trade. Now we're even. I mean, it's an even game. Yeah, red team slowing it down. Oh, I thought Weedle would have been able to throw out an aerial. Is he dead? Okay. Yeah, easy. 
<laughs> yeah. BMC just up there like kicking his feet. <laughs> yeah. Let's get back here. Ooh. Good pressure from BMC there. Ooh, the team combos are happening. Yep. Oh my gosh. A wall. Oh, the there, there it is again. The, the peaches, they, they don't get close enough. Oh, sweet. That was good. That's easy. Oh. Yeah. Go on stage. Oh, the, the simultaneous taunt? Let's go. That's awesome. True team synergy. They were thinking the same thing, man. Billy is, though. It Billy is, though. Okay, never mind. Forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're not teaming. <laughs> <laughs> Snacks will always be mine. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me sound like a serial killer. <laughs> He'll always be mine. But yeah. Uh, oh, that's, that's okay. messed up. Oh. Oh. Okay. No. Why'd you do it? Wow. <laughs> it's like the most painful up smash. Alright. So it's up to Weedle. Is that low yeah, percent? It's all up to Weedle. Leave it to Weevil. Uh, Weedle, I mean, not we <laughs> Weevil. <laughs> Weevile. <laughs> Weevile. <laughs> Weevile, there, yeah. 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 <laughs> Which are two Pokemon, by the way, Weedle and Weevile. Oh, yeah, Weedle is a Pokemon. Yeah. It's just huh. not spelled like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. Blue Game team. four. Take that pretty solidly. It was, it was a little back and forth at some point. Where are they going to go? Ben's got a banana. All right. Pokemon Stadium. And uh, we're doing a switch mid set. Let's go. Uh, I got Frank Goldman coming on the mic with me. And that was what even what even happened to Weedle's stock. I just saw him floating down to his doom. He just found himself off stage, I guess. Get edge guarded. Oh, no, Snacks. You had it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Just turn it around. Look. Ow. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had, a, had some technical uh, difficulties. This is game four? Yeah, this is yeah. game four. Yeah, wow. It, it's... Is that on the projector? But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Oh man. Cool. How's how's Billy been playing? Uh, he's been pl playing pretty solid. Both these teams are, you know, really really good. So it's 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 been close. Oh, that's oh. a sick shine spike from Yuan. Like snacks earlier, he was like turning it up against Launcher and uh. Launch air and uh, glitter. Yeah, he like turned it up and they made like a 3 0 comeback. Yeah, was, I saw that. It was sick. It was crazy. But uh, I think like he, he still carried some of that with him, but it's definitely, he's definitely not playing as intense. Oh my god, he just runs straight past <laughs> BSD, just goes straight for you on. He's like, where are you at? Yeah, Billy is all, he's the king of stock tanking. Oh yeah. He always, always is at way higher stocks than everybody else in the game. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Big down smash from a uh, Weedle. Yeah, and Austin's getting comboed. But yeah. <laughs> as long as he doesn't die, it's okay. Yeah. But See, like Billy, Billy's on top of it. He knows. He knows his boy's in danger. Yeah. Billy's one thing. Billy is really good at is like putting himself in a position to like save his teammate. Oh, like just being there and putting a, like ha giving his teammate the ledge. Yeah, he positions himself really well. Yeah, he's like one of those players that really knows teams. Uh, same with Johnny. Oh, shoot! Ooh. That stock disappeared. But and, it still uh, looks like it's in, in the bag for the blue team, unless uh, another one of those stocks happens with uh, Johnny uh, shine spiking uh, Austin again. Oh, that's oh. Rough. And um, this is Villa has. To if this comeback like, happens, I might quit the game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> How many up smashes can he do? 
Like, you want to just be like, <laughs> alright, this is free. Let's count the other But you know what? We don't still in it to win it. Yo, Austin, are you on keeps on up smashing? <laughs> that is all he's gonna do. Just watch him. He's just gonna up smash this. If Billy just grabs, like, once. Oh, Ooh. nice catch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and because he was charging, oh. the knockback was, uh. Oh, oh my lord. Ooh. Oh! Oh, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, we do He messes up. He, he's putting up a good fight, though. Yeah. He, he was. I, he was seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but then he just got jammed. Yeah, Austin was being a little disrespectful there with his 50 ups. But you know what? Like, you're up that much. Yeah, w why the hell not? Why not, right? Like, free. But it was getting them punished a little. So that was winner's finals. Uh, you won in BMC, advancing the grand finals. And then now we're going to have Lawn Chair and Glitter versus uh, R2D Lu and Smokey. I think Lawn Chair and Glitter were like the supposed favorites to win just because they're like so high level. Yeah, they're both really good in singles. But yeah. I just think like. Both BMC and Yuan and uh, Snacks and Weedle are better teams. Yeah, they're, they're very in good my team opinion. players. Yeah. I agree. But if you're just like looking from a but if you're looking at players, it's yeah. just like, oh yeah, these guys are super amazing in singles. Yeah. Like, like they're totally gonna win. Sometimes a little more than that. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Hope you guys are enjoying this tournament so far. Uh, we're in the top three top last met top, top last three matches of uh or sets last three sets of doubles. So this is uh, loser takes third. Is that right? Loser takes fourth. Fourth. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Loses semis. Whoever wins this gets to play snacks in uh Weedle. Yeah. Loses finals for third. Gnarly. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Alright. So we're just doing hand warmers. <laughs> I'll be... I love that Twitter. I'll be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you guys want to know, it's it's, it's a picture of <laughs> the, like Twilight Princess box, and then like it's opened up and it's just a Soldier Boy CD. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Shigeru Miyamoto uh, Twitter account. <laughs> Super funny. Super oh funny yeah. Twitter account. <laughs> oh. But yeah, after this, uh, we're gonna start. After the tournament's over, we're gonna start singles bracket. Get some pools, right? Or are you just starting from bracket, no pools? Uh, just straight bracket. Okay. How many people entered for singles? I have no idea. Oh, I haven't been watching. I've been like all over the place, dude. Oh, okay. Well, like, I was doing registration desk, and then I was like hel helping with all the other setup stuff. And then I went and ate a little bit, and I don't know why I talk about my day, but I've been all over the place. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Getting into it. Oh, Stango is going for blood already. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was running out there. I think he probably could have got shine spiked if uh, Smokey was not. Was it Smokey? Uh, <laughs> one of them, you know, there's, yeah, there's look, two foxes. They, they have the know? numbers at the bottom. So R2D Lu is the the normal color fox. Uh, Smokey is the light color fox. Yeah, but like any of those foxes, both of those foxes, yeah, could have grabbed him with a shine spike there. What's up? Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're all right, <laughs> fiends. <laughs> oh, and launcher again. That down air or stango, as he likes to be called now. <laughs> Stanga, stango, stango. 
Oh. No DI. I, I don't think there, that was good at DI on there. Right? Wait, what happened? He, uh, green fox back air on, uh, on glitter and he flew like straight out horizontal. Oh, nice double shine. Ooh. And uh, <laughs> that was uh, kind of uh, backfired. Launcher just able to grab the ledge. Oh, red looks like they're controlling. Holy crap. They're yeah. just sandwiched they're them, in. just destroying Oh, them. that was a good shine. Oh, no grab. I'm going to grab immediately back down through to uh, so that uh, glitter could up smash. Nice, nice platform coverage by red team. Grab the ledge. Stengo isn't there to capitalize on that. Man. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, get to do the two v one. Oh, ah, okay. He was close enough to get it. Yeah, that, that might have actually been a good option. Just idea. enough aerial drift. Good back air. Very nice. Two v one. Oh. Launcher immediately runs to that side. That's what teammates need to do. They need to just like run to the edge and like put themselves there. Yeah, drop everything. Get over there. You don't want to lose the stock. Oh, very Ooh. nice combo there. Holy crap. Oh, wait, oh, get the double. Get the double? <gasps> oh, oh, he, he was super low. And that's a shine. But oh, he grabbed that ledge. Oh, he oh. missed the back air. He's missing. He's catching a lot of things. Yeah. Oh, looks like uh, we had somebody uh, oh. knock the camera oh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I, I didn't want to put it there. But. Is that number two today? How many times today? What? How many times does that happen today? Oh, I don't know, but I don't know. I just thought the camera should be on the table. But anyway, <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> Back to the match. Yeah. <laughs> oh, launcher. Okay, good save. He like double jumped underneath battlefield on accident. And, uh, no, they're just gonna have some fun with this. Oh, oh, oh! oh holy sh sh <laughs> Sheik is not being played. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a combo! Holy crap! Oh, and launcher, he but I mean, Stango, he busts out the towel, he's got it on his yeah. knee, ready, <laughs> wiping his hand, though. wiping his hands. He's like, let's go. Red really controlled that mass slash game. Uh, yeah, they had some good, uh, like, the pincer formation where, yeah. like, two, you know, both of them are on one side of the opponent. Yeah, that was really commanding by them. It was crazy. Oh, back throw. Ooh. No gimp. Very nice. Air Again? Dodge. Oh, wow. Okay. Very nicely timed uh, counter there for the to counter the shine. Oh, oh no. good down smash by uh, D Luke. Later. Oh, he tried to go for the shine and. Oh, that was super yeah. good. Holy crap. Stango's playing super well right now. Yeah. Yeah. Two things that I think Marth needs to do in teams is like, well, actually three. One, take up space. Two, uh, be a really good support. Like, starting combos, getting grabs. And three, getting gimps. Yeah. Those are things that Marth is really good at. Yeah. And like, people don't capitalize as much on them in teams as they should. Yeah, but Stango is putting on a good example of like how a Mars player should play. Yeah. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, the yep, there's play. that down throw to up smash. Uh, Stango goes for the forward smash read, but misses. Oh, looks like this could be a game. Oh, or just a nice edge guard there. That was actually a smart get up attack from Dilu at the ledge because it kicked uh, Stango away and then up smash. Okay. Oh, Ooh, I, I, actually, actually, you know what? He could. I think he was trying to do uh, like an up air, so it would start a combo. Yeah, because at that percent, punished, yeah, that percent would have killed the uh, up smash. So, yeah, you know what? I take, I, I take it. Oh, double shine! Oh, uh, back air sends him the wrong way. Red team's feeling the hurt right now. Stango comes in to say, Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say okay and move on. <laughs> these so. teams are falling Ooh. all over each other right now. But it, it looks like the, the green team's coming out on top. Uh, okay. Dealer and Smokey are finding their footing. Smokey's off stage. Yep. The simple one person grab ledge, the other just cover whatever. Oh, shine. went for the gimp and got gimped himself. Holy crap. 
Yeah, that's rough. And their stocks are depleting fast. If they can get this kill on the Marth uh, or, or Fox, so they'll, it'll be Stango? even. Stango! Okay. The Stango, is, yeah, he's doing what you're saying. He's taking up space. He's like, he's just making sure that they're not going to come in and try to edge guard uh, like litter there. Yeah, just being in a threatening position is really powerful as Marth. And he's going to take the stock, yeah. Glitter definitely needs to. Marth, one thing that Marth really doesn't do well in teams is 2v1s. So, Glitter's like, putting himself in a really bad position right now. Yeah, and you see Launcher chilling by the edge, waiting to just throw one off stage. Oh my god. Oh. And, wow, Glitter got percent racked on him so fast. Oh! Oh, oh, very nice capitalization by uh, Stango there. Grab a ledge, free. Oh wow, okay. All right, they they ended up pulling it out again, up 2-0. <laughs> I'm still good. thinking about that down air, <laughs> game one. I was sick. <laughs> but yeah, this might be a 3-0. Uh, see what Dealer and Smokey can do. Go back to the same stage. I guess they, they want the room to run around. Ooh. Oh! Oh, oh it doesn't kill, but still, still was cool. Yeah, that might have been really risky, though. They might, yeah, see, it's costing him a lot of percent to do that, and he might, yeah. get, he might lose the Actually, stock. yeah. That, oh, yeah, yep. Well, stock for it. <laughs> well. <laughs> like, it's good to get gimps like that, but when, you, when you're when you trying to get it at such a low percent, it's not really, it might not do it as effective as you want it to be. And you might be risking Ooh. your stock, especially in doubles like that. Because there's other people. <laughs> it's not just one fox, there's yeah. two foxes. Oh, uh, yep. Up smash. Mar throws the up smash or so good. But good DI from Smokey. He's still living. Said, <laughs> get off my speech. Smoking on, holding on to the stock for his dear life, but that backer is going to do it. Up air? Don't know if it was Smash DI or if he missed, but. <laughs> Uh, no, like you, I don't think it was. Sometimes you just can't tell. Like sometimes you just miss that up air. I don't think it was the second hit. You know, so it might have been just that. Oh, wait! Did that nair hit Smokey? I have no idea. So that sucks. Yeah, glitter is hanging on to the stock. Holy crap! Yeah. Or everybody else is just losing stocks really fast. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dealer's kind of doing a solid job. That's almost two minutes in. He still has the first stock. That's pretty good. Yeah. Good up smash. Sometimes you just got to go for it, man. Okay, ah, yeah. I like that one. Stango, on the other hand, one stock left. Oh! oh that might not be good. Yeah, I got to refresh that invincibility. Nice! And that's... Yeah, nah, he's dead. I think he's lost. Okay. Oh! Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he made it back to you. I thought he grabbed the line. I was like, oh. <laughs> that was a nice shine. And I like the the interruption by yeah. Glitter there. Oh, oh my oh, god, how many up smashes? No. And oh, Glitter no. just got He wet. went for the gimp, and then he lost his stock at like 0%. Yeah, it sucks. But luckily, you know, Glitter was holding on to stock, so they're not so far behind now. Oh. Oh. I thought you should. I I would have just side bead uh, glitter if I were Stango. Give him another chance to up beat. Just grab it. Okay. The controller still up there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought about that random. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Yeah. Put him in a very bad spot there. Up air. Still alive. Oh, whoa! He could have held onto that ledge there. He would have been. They would have been fine. I. Hmm. Glitter's gonna have to really out. I think. These two. Stango, when he tries to four throw, he's like trying to set up for glitter. But I think he should instead just down throw and get the fox off stage, and then just go and try to two v one. But. Stango claps his hands. He said, "All right." He's like, "That wasn't as good." 
<laughs> let's let's not let's not lose this. Let's not do that again. <laughs> let's not get uh come back on again. <laughs> yeah, green team clutching it out. Going to game four. We have about a little over an hour until single starts. Okay, going to Yoshi story. This stage in teams is so, so jank. Everyone just dies. It's like, once <laughs> there were three foxes in the mark. They were all so good at melee that they all died in the end. So. Oh, Dilu tried to go for the shine, and he doesn't grab the edge from the up B. <laughs> okay, I like the up smash. Oh, he tried to go for Randall, but he just missed it. Uh oh, green team's looking more solid now. Yeah, they're looking real good right now. Oh, and and when then was it? <laughs> then he just saw me. Just go like straight to the stage. Yeah. Oh, down air really caught the. Uh, oh my gosh! He tried to follow up after the shine, but instead he just ended up killing Glitter. This teammate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, up tilt the shy guys. You see that glitter? It's like get him out of here. No, we don't want that. Grab the ledge. No. He should oh. Glitter should have dropped and like did a rising back air onto Randall. To cover that. He could have reacted. Ooh. Yeah. The really the real uh green team is really commanding right now because they're just hitting one off and then each time the other guy comes back they're just hitting them off simultaneously yep. so they just keep on catching them on a two v one. The strats. Yeah, and they're also abusing the uh, kill power they have on Yoshi's really well. Yeah, Glitter was going in for a second there. Yeah. Oh, very nice with Stango there. And uh, first up B. Oh, Stango needs to get over there and help out Glitter. He's get, he's getting get yeah. up on. <laughs> No! Okay. Grab. I know he's at a high percent. Though. After that backer, Stango should grab instead of trying to fair. Very nice down spin. Ooh. That was a good fair. Nice. Okay, now, th now they have stage control. Oh, now there goes. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Stango. Uh, D Lu is doing such a good job of just keeping Stango in the corner. Up here, not gonna kill just yet. And Glitter is just going in on Smokey. Now it's all up to him. Oh, oh nice good play. shine. Oh, oh, oh Randall. Oh. Randall, hello. Randall to save the day? Nah. Make the dream alive? Up. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, uh. yeah he, he definitely should not have been over there. <laughs> <laughs> After a back air, he could have got an up air, and then do up air again. But instead, they do something else. But either way, they clutch it out, and uh, it's a crucial scary. Moment. This is looking, a crucial moment. Looking scary, man. They gotta keep it together if they, if Stango and uh, Glitter want to move on. It'll definitely be a story to tell. <laughs> Double uh, comeback done. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a great comeback by Smokey and Dilu. Yeah. Yeah, just take a moment, think about what you need to do. Calm down. Don't let the sight of uh, you know, victory cloud your. Out your way. Yeah, just because you won the first two doesn't mean you're gonna you, yeah. you won the whole thing. Prince or deaths? Yeah, Prince or deaths? Uh, definitely legal. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how this will fare for uh, 
<laughs> no, I just <laughs> from our Okay, we're going back to Yoshi's. Um, I don't know what other stages they had left. They played on Battlefield, right? Or no? First it, match was on Battlefield. First match was on Battlefield, and then they played on Dreamland twice. So I think they should have went to FD, but they might have some, some other plan in mind. Maybe they just didn't execute what they wanted to do last game. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, very nice. That was good oh, fair, but nice by Dealey just picking up that edge hog. Uh, just grab that ledge. Yep. And it saved Smokey for a bit, but he still got forward smashed. Oh, that was a nice save by Smokey to uh, help out Dealey there, but he, he got punished for it. Yeah, and uh, Glitter just tried to down air an invincible fox. <laughs> you don't do that, man. You get all smashed. Up smash masters right now. Playing singles. Still playing singles. Oh, there's there's times where you oh. can see that they're really working as a team, uh, each of these teams. But then I, I feel like at the beginning it was a more of a team's match, but now I feel like it's devolved into singles a lot, a lot of the time. Oh, good shield by Dilu. You knew uh, Stango has been throwing out those forward smashes. And what I mean by that, for it, anybody that doesn't know, it means that like they're playing just like on their own little like fights. Yeah, they're not, one like, v one. They're hel not helping out their teammate. Oh, yeah, that's what we call doubles, <laughs> not teams. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was just gonna. I thought Dealer was just gonna go shine Stango. Oh, but ate it right now. Yo, Glitter's putting him to work. Oh, so he's getting caught out over there. It's back okay. there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh, good spot dodge. That was so clutch. That's probably really crucial there. Nice. Smokey picks up the F smash on Glitter. Stegen needs to watch out. Ooh. Ooh. That's that sucks. That's good. Okay. Oh, oh no, he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Uh, oh, oh. There you go. oh my god. Oh. Oh my Trace his head on the ground. Oh. All right. So now it's up to glitter. So will he clutch it out? Oh. Up oh, smash. Oh. Very nice back here. Yes. Oh, that's it. That's it. That was really close. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. That was a really good set. They played really well. That's three comeback. Three comeback. Yeah. Three game sweep. Un unfortunate way to go out. Mm. Oh man. <sighs> like. Oh, man. Like, I want to be hyped for the 3 0 comeback, but, like, just because it happened twice to the same team, it, I feel bad. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, no. No. My heart. Can't get ahead of yourself, dude. Yeah. yeah. Welp. We got uh, Losers Finals coming up. I think uh, D Lou and Smokey just went to go, like, get a drink or something. Well, what's up, guys? I'm not Mr. Are you all Bean. doing today? <laughs> huh? I'm not Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There there was some salt there. Yeah. The, uh, hat, the hat was thrown. I like it on my fries. Upon, upon the floor. It happens, man. Sometimes you just gotta <laughs> let it out. Yeah. You gotta let it go. Let it go. You're Mr. Bean now. Yeah, look at me. Mr. Bean. JK. Not Mr. Bean, but this is Frank Goldman. I, I really like these overlays. They look they look real crisp. And uh, you can... Yeah, they are. We had a... Uh, I, I don't know. Who, I forget who made them. Uh, Frank, Frank underscore AU, man. AU.
man. Frank underscore AU man. Now this is snacks. AU what? AU man. Like the chemical <laughs> signature for. Yeah. The snacks hey. flexing a bit. <laughs> flexing on them. But, uh, yeah. Hey, dude. Do capital letters matter in Twitter? I like, can you still type it in without capital letters? I, I don't. I don't think they matter. matter. Okay. I always wondered that. So. Ooh. But yeah, you can follow him at Frank A U Man, A U, A K A Frank Goldman, Man. and follow me, of course, sleeves underscore smash. You know. Assist for third place. But yeah, this is a. Uh, this is gonna be hype. I think loser gets. Did third. these guys play? Did they? I don't know. I wasn't really watching. I can't remember. These are two very no. good teams. Wait. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, it does, but I, I can't remember because it doesn't help that both the teams I'm trying to think of who beat them are Fox Beach. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't help. But like, I I remember characters, but like, yeah. and warmers. Yeah. Rap, I can't remember. No, I think, I think it was BMC and uh, Yuan. I think. I don't know. I, I you know what? I don't know anymore. Disregard everything. Yeah. So many shots. I I, I was saying the bean earlier. It was like a bad movie, three foxes and a and a peach. And <laughs> 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 being was like, oh no, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that movie? <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <No>. yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, Evan. Change your losers finals. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting into it. Losers finals of uh, doubles here at University of Delaware. And uh, one thing that I noticed already is that Weedle's got a ton of percent on him already. Yeah. That's going to be bad for red team. Yeah, there you go, back there. Oh. And now they can just 2v1 the crap out of yep. him. Smokey tries to go oh, for a shine, not far enough. Keep on 2v1 him. Oh, oh. And, yeah. That shield. Oh, oh and he missed the angle that's too. A flub. That's yeah, nice. You hate to see that type of thing. <laughs> Let's go, you dude. <laughs> <laughs> no bias, but <laughs> bias. Oh, uh, yeah. Smokey was hoping oh, he would up smash. Yikes. There we go. And that full charge is going to kill at 77%. Ugh. Ooh, get down smash by Weedle. Oh, triple yeah, up, up smash. smash. Can I see another one? Oh, no. Oh. Weedle's just, you know, hitting snacks. They are commanding this stage. And he jumps in. Oh, and good back air. Oh, no. Weedle has oh, these. Weedle. And this isn't looking real good for the red team right now. We need to step things up. Yes. Smokey and R2 Dealer just came off of a really difficult game against uh, Stango and Glitter. Yeah, they got the momentum. They got the momentum. They got the they got the practice in. I think. Uh... Ooh. Oh. Okay. I think uh, Red Team, especially Snacks, uh, they like adjust. They're really good at adapting, so I think next game we'll see a little bit better. Like the first game's a little shaky, you know, because it's the first one. They haven't quite adapted to everything yet. So. Oh, oh, if he just oh, back aired back here, it, yeah. yeah. He didn't react. <laughs> Almost got a little tick of his down there. Oh, okay. Sax was trying to make it happen. That was a really good game by uh, Archie Dealer and Smokey. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got brackets. 
Going into game two. Um, let's see, Snacks and Weedle talking it over. Let's see if they adjust any. They're going to have to make some adjustments, definitely. I think they're getting really overwhelmed there. The Fox is really overwhelming. Yeah, two of them? <laughs> you don't play if you don't play solid enough. It's it's really rough. You just gotta take advantage of how like fragile they are. Yeah, their ledge game or uh, snacks and Beatles ledge game was a little iffy last game. I think they should work. Uh, they should uh, concentrate on improving their ledge game as a team. And stage control is. All, all in RTD Lou and Smokey's control last game. <laughs> do it, do it, yes. Papa. <laughs> you know, I, I was thinking that that was probably like really annoying, and I really wanted more of it. So thanks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's <was> good. <laughs> oh, but, and a oh, quick gimp crap. on Weedle. That was that was rough. And this is a uh, bad start to game two. Red team. Weedle got a nice combo on, onto uh, what's his face. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> onto uh, Weedle. Oh. Put a lot of percent on him. Ooh. There's two stocks right there. Very nice. And we're up. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Weedle whack. Oh. Okay. So many things are happening. I can't even comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> like mid Riddle's like, holy crap, jam. I need to get out of here. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay, okay. okay. Alright, we're out. Oh, we got chain grabs. Nice. Oh, uh, nice pickup. Yeah, smoking in the perfect position. Weedle, let's see if he can That's get nice the skip, but holy he has crap. been getting shined like Shine crazy. sandwich, dude. And honestly, it's it's probably the best way to kill Peach, really. If they could do it efficiently like that, like... Oh, but Snacks is there to save the They're day. saving him. <laughs> what the heck? No. Oh, dude. Uh, friendly fire, friendly fire. Oh, nice. Nice up smash. Dude, pretty good reaction there. Down yeah, smash is so ridiculous, dude. Down smash is a really good move. <laughs> so that, it's oh, like, it's probably one of the best moves in all of teams. They, they probably could have gotten a lot more percent off that if uh, he took back, back to it. They had two v ones And... <laughs> that was so weird. Oh, that was almost a nice combo. But you know what, red team, they're bringing it back a little. Like they're they're even keeping it even. Nice up smash though, and good DI from Snacks again. He's been living. Oh, Snacks oh. is still alive. But yeah, missed space the up smash right there. And Smokey did. Uh, oh, yeah, Smokey going for that shiny. He gets shiny Mix himself. Mixed up from Weedle there. Oh, very nice nair. That was Got like the fastest there. nair I've ever seen in my whole life. They canceled because he was doing a nair, I think. Yeah. The fox. Oh, man. Snacks in a sticky situation. Oh! Good combo Holy. for green team. It was a really nice team combo there. And the back air set him off stage. Yep. Simple ledge guard. Oh, no, he gave up ledge. But this time, Weedle was there to take the ledge. Yep. Oh, this is gonna have to be free up smash. Perfect. This is gonna have to be perfect. Yeah, Snacks is just gonna have to. Oh, he's gonna no. have to go in. It all oh. starts with a bad dash attack. Ooh. Oh, what the? See, heck? if he didn't up smash that, he would have died for it. Oh. He would have got punished hard. Oh, oh miss base again. Yeah. But okay, D-Loop picks it up. It, it's smoking. He's like, dang, man. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, Smokey and Dilu making a losers run. They're doing really well. Yeah, they're uh. I mean, that, that was more, that was closer than the last game. 
We'll say yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, the first game. That last game was closer than the first game. Yeah. <laughs> Much closer. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, lo it looks like uh, Snacksit and uh, Weedle are picking it up more. Aside from the S. Yeah, slowly but surely. <laughs> um, Weedle just needs to be a little bit more careful around the edge because they, Green Heat has been gimping them. Mm -hmm. So. Overall, I, I mean, I think he's still playing pretty solid. Yeah, like, oh. See, Smacks oh. almost got a really crispy combo, but then he died for it. And, like, d -Lu, I think d -Lu's just playing on point two. Yeah, he is. He's, he's doing a really good job of, like, picking up good options. Oh, uh, okay. A simple up smash is all you need. Let's see what Snacks can do at the edge here. Okay, just keeping it smoky on that whole side of the stage. Give it Weedle the opportunity for his dealer. Woo! Okay. <gasps> Oh, that was crazy. Uh, Snacks tried to get the tech chase, just missed. I got the 2v1 now, but it didn't last long. Ooh, that was oh. good. Oh, I thought it was Snacks was going to capitalize just... with an up air or, or... Honestly, he could have just rolled. <laughs> but... Oh, and that was not the best decision by... Uh, d uh, See right there, I, I thought Weedle could have just attacked the fox that was on stage instead of trying to edge guard the other one. Because you could put on a guaranteed percent on the new uh, on the other one, or almost guaranteed percent yeah. on the guy on stage, then try to wait for the guy, the other guy to uh, come back. Yeah, it'll make for killing him easier in the future. A bear doesn't get the second hit. Nice back throw. Yeah, and again, he should have just hit d there instead of trying to edge guard Smokey. Did he just pick up a stitch or is that... No, that was just a... Line eyes. The line eyes, yeah. Line eyes confuses me. Yeah. Ooh, okay, Snacks putting on some good pressure at the edge. There really you go. Nice edge Hold that ledge. Will we get another gimp? No. Dealer in there to save the day. Oh, nice back air by the Yeah, and uh. Oh. Now Snacks uh -oh. pretty much evened it up. Good shine. I oh, think he could have just nared, honestly. Yeah, I, th I think he was going to nair, but he missed. Mistimed oh. it. That might cost them, actually. Yeah. Because that would have been a really crucial stop. Oh my gosh. The rising Snacks, back air? Snacks needs help. Uh, okay, he makes it to the platform. Thank God Yoshi's platforms go all over the stage. Oh, they did. Oh, it's over. And three. Yeah. And a three oh. Very nice by Archie D though and Smokey. Coming they, back through the They made the freaking it. run. Here we go. This is the grand finals. Yeah, but shout outs to Snacks and Weedle. Yeah, Snacks and third. Weedles did really well. They made it to winners finals. So despite uh you know losing right now, they still did a very good job. Yeah, Melee Double Grand Finals coming up now. We have the uh, Team, Team UD. UD. Team UD Team holding D it down. UD. Uh, Our top players, I mean, minus, minus Johnny. Our top players, Snacks, BMC, Yuan. Yeah, they're kind of like the trifecta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So, so this uh, Team UD here, you can see our very nice VGTC shirts uh, designed by our what is that graphic Sanford designer. Again? Video Game Tournament Club at the University of Delaware. Oh, yeah. Do we have other games, or is it just... Oh, uh, yeah, we play uh, League of Legends, uh, Hearthstone, Smash 4, of course. Uh, sometimes we play Pokemon. Okay. It's, and some Dota, but we're, we're, still, we're still developing that scene around here on campus. I think we have, like, one team, and it's hard for it to get, like, one team to keep on playing with each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. Because they can only play with themselves, so, like with online. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you just gotta have commitment. But that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're 
we're trying to get trying to get esports going here. It's it's difficult because it's a very uh, Greek oriented frat bro uh, campus. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, everyone just parties. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's, that's yes. pretty much just what happens. Like people don't have time to play video games; they just party. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, I we, can't blame them. <laughs> yeah, I, but I don't blame them. Yeah. I, I really don't. But we do have a large tech presence on campus that's like completely unrecognized by uh, by a lot of like the activities that are promoted. You know? Yeah. So we're here on campus trying to promote that so that's us yeah well it, i mean we got a lot of people today so yeah we have we have well over a hundred people in here i don't know if they've called my uh, smash Four match yet but whatever. oh you entered smash Four? yeah i got wrecked who are you playing smash Four, puff uh no i was playing me too oh okay yeah me too's crazy it's actually fun a lot of fun anyway all right, but getting into a grand finals here. Let's see how uh, I now I think that it was Yuan and BMC because I remember saying the three boxes one piece thing with yeah. this team. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So this is the rematch. <laughs> Still got. Okay. Really nice pickup there. Just turned around, hit him with up smash. Yeah, and I think Green Team overall is just playing like better against Peach. Like yeah. falling for less of the shenanigans and you know, doing what they need to do against her. Mm -hmm. Playing it well. Ooh. I thought he was gonna get punished for that dash attack, but D Lee somehow doesn't because the smash. Oh, good dash attack from BMC. Completely reversing the edge guard. But oh. Oh. Okay. I mean, I guess that works. <laughs> was he dead? Was he facing the wrong way? He. I don't think he was facing the wrong way, but there was a fox on the ledge, and he was trying to save him somehow. So he yeah. just kind of up smashed. Him. Well, it worked out. I mean. Yeah. He's living. He's it, was, it was some sort of save. It works. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. Simple coverage. <laughs> uh, got the wrong shot. Yeah, Smokey was covering the side B. <laughs> the full side B. Yeah, you want us trying to get uh, like a mid short, and I think you got the, the really low short. Yeah. Ooh, get down smash. Go very, to the short short. The short short? Yeah, the very short short. Should uh, take a page out of Billy's book. Hey, so anyway. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> as you can see. The short Ooh. shorts. Get shine on both of them. Yo, Billy is commanding the stage oh, all, right. all by himself. He doesn't need anybody. What just happened? That, that, all that stuff that just happened. What? Look at BMC. He's he's commanding this stage and gets up there. <laughs> yeah, get back, Aaron, and get edge hogged. Blue team is. Never mind. <laughs> Blue team and green team are even. <laughs> and, uh, but Yuan's uh, pretty close to being dead. If he could make it back, he should have just went for either straight or ledge, honestly. Oh, that's rough. Oh, well. I think he's trying I to mean, go for a shine or something. Not that. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, oh, honestly, I don't very know. Very nice shine. Do, but Yuan's turning up now. Jumps into an air, though. <laughs> Dilu just spamming grab in there. It's like, come on, come here. I think they both all almost went for the same option there. Could have been bad. Oh, okay, this is good. Yep. Oh, nice roll on, and now uh, looks like Smokey has to do the 2v1. It's been pretty good so far. Okay. If oh, he gets grabbed, though. That was a good shot. Oh, Otherwise, he would have go. got grabbed. It's Yuan versus Smokey here. Nice snare. Oh, oh, saw the get up attack. Oh, shine yes. could change this though. Just one shine could change it. So intense. Good see dash attacks. Good air dodge up by Yuan. Oh, that, that was a bad <gasps> dash oh, attack. That might have cost him. Oh, Smokey drops it. Nice snare. Oh, nice back, back air. air. Bad DI. Yeah. 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 
You want clutching out game one for Team UD. That was anyone's game, though. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was really that was sick. Smokey was just dropping too much Ooh. on that. Whoa, dude Demon. comes right out, yeah. right out of the gate. Opens up with the uh, ledge, the ledge cancel. cancel. It's actually a little bit uh, trickier to pull off than Falco's. Yeah, yeah. So Falco's, you could just like run off the platform and then immediately do it, but like oh. you have to be in a very specific like frame perfect spot for Fox to be able to ledge cancel. BMC and you on losing stocks real early this match. Yeah. Oh, you want oh, to good. Spike. Yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, I just want to see him playing well. That's all. Yeah. Oh, they traded there, but okay, you definitely came out on top. Oh, Ooh, you are that was a sick right dash now. attack from Smokey. Continue that combo. See, Billy's here. Want? Billy's here to defend Austin, but. So still uh, loses his stock. Yeah, Billy's putting on the hurt. Yeah, but I mean, still pretty. Even. It just one up smash will kill uh, BMT right now. Oh, oh, he wanted Smokey to follow up. Mm, yeah. <laughs> You want to get punished for doing a couple up smashes there. Yeah. Fiend. Oh, uh, nice. air dodge there. Yeah, definitely a mistake. But that stock wasn't. Very nice that back here. Yeah, it's picked up on it. Oh, Pokemon Stadium almost messed up that grab uh, BMC got, but luckily he threw before they got separated. BMC's out. 2v1. Yep. Alright, this is all up to BMC in now. Yeah, the 2v1 master. Oh, he misses the fair! That clutch! Uh, that would have been very uh, that would have been very good for him <laughs> to hit that. Oh man. Yeah. Would have done wonders but for him. This is freaking Dilu. Dilu's actually opening up opportunities for BMC to just 1v1. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, but they got a stock to play with, so up air, yeah. Nice up air. All right. 1-1. One, one. Okay. First set. That was a solid game, too, from green team. So. Yeah, it looks like you want to be MC. They, they dropped a lot of stuff there. They just kind of. Yeah, and those SDs at the beginning didn't help either. No, nah, probably not. To be honest. But uh, now we're going to Dreamland. All right. Ooh, good down smash. Oh, he does the dash attack too early. Otherwise, that would have been. Dead. Yo, Billy. Oh my God. Holy crap! BMC went out. Oh my oh, God! He's still punishing. But good tech from Dilu. Oh, good You're hit done. him. You're yes, done. let's go. And we got the UD crowd cheering for uh, Team UD. Meanwhile. <laughs> Dealer just forward smashes Smokey off stage. Yo, dead. BMC is punishing the crap out of these two. Yeah. They have no room to breathe. He just like... He just went Super Saiyan. Oh. Oh, oh. yeah. That, That's gonna probably be Probably not the best idea from uh, Smokey trying to get that up air. Knowing Fox is way too high. He just gets punished. Yuan's probably dead here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in that situation, I guess... They didn't capitalize on the 2v1 like they should have. Uh, one of the foxes... Oh, oh, oh my god, good. he nared. If he, like, flew out and nared. Oh, like, <sighs> oh kill him! Oh, the grab. You gotta shine in. <laughs> and BMC's just going in. He's like, let's go. I wanna kill foxes. <gasps> Yo. Oh, oh, very nice combo. Okay, nice. Whoa! Oh, BMC! Oh Yo, they were god. doing some Sorry, crazy Sorry, RIP headphone numbers. users, but oh my god, that was crisp. Oh, 51%! Oh. 
BMC and is putting the hurt on on this whole this whole match right now. It's just oh, and then Yuan picks up what uh, BMC was dropping. Oh, and a good down Holy there. God. He goes down to get the shine spike. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to BMC are going in on this match? They're they gimping the crap out of them. green team this match. Oh, nice down tilt. Oh my yes. gosh. Go out there. Oh, he Woo! wanted it. He wanted it. Very nice down smash by you on. Yeah. That'll, that'll, that'll be third game there. And they crap. look powerful right now. That was very powerful. They're they're home. They're on the home turf, dude. Home turf power, man. But we're going to Yoshi's now. Oh my gosh, and d just jumped in that down smash immediately. Yo, d is already at 74%. I think I think what Austin was just to Billy, like he was just like down smash. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay. That could have been a game real easy. Yeah. Like just uh, let go shine? Yeah, let go shine, just get you on real quick, but they ended up losing a stock instead. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, these are just doing a really good job of just forcing green team off the stage. Oh, what? nice forward air. I don't know why uh, d didn't do anything there. Yeah, he was just kind of uh, sitting on, on the ledge. I don't know, man. Yuan's going to come in and save him yep. or okay, get nice. killed. <laughs> Hit him with the umbrella. That was a creative, creative trade there. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gets a grab. He just forward throws him. I, I think he was looking for Austin. That, or you oh, want that, that sucks. Uh, you want missed his uh, up B input? <laughs> yeah, I think he was just like down smash, dude. <laughs> <laughs> And d just standing right in the middle. <laughs> He's just like, you're not going to come over here. <laughs> Looking confident. Oh, can oh. we get the back air? You um, is losing a lot of percentage on this stock. Okay. Get Smokey out. It's about even. Oh my gosh. Maybe a little bit up in the blue. The blue Peach's, side. Peach's hitboxes are so good. You force your way through. Oh, I don't. I don't okay. know about that, BMC. You probably should have cleared away for uh, you on the comeback instead of trying to go for that kill. Oh, you want misses the second up air, and now he's getting punished. Oh, oh my gosh! Nice tech from Archie Dealer. Very nice down smash. Can't tech that one. All right, that's it. Blue team's up. Ah! Oh, grab the legs! No! Oh, gets a dash dash. Gets deck? Caught in the get yeah, he's been getting those dash dash tech chases so well. He needs help out his boy. Dilu's not giving up yet. Oh, I thought if he just shined, if Dilu just shined there. Billy oh, is being five. really risky yeah, right Billy's now. Yeah, Billy's super aggro oh, right now. Oh, that's that gets up. And that's it. Congratulations, Team UD, taking it 3-1 in grand finals here. Doubles goes to Yuan and BMC. Yep, holding it down for the home turf. Second goes to Smokey and Dilu. But, you know, shout-outs to Smokey and Dilu, though, for making that loser's run. They uh, lost in either winners quarters or semis one of those and to this very same team and they made the run back they wanted the rematch but what's up <laughs> what's up what's up that chick-fil-a Chick though crisp. shout out to chick-fil-a that looks super crisp right now that high quality we're not sponsored <laughs> but sponsored but yeah uh what time is it it's almost uh, melee singles time. It's 3:30, so we got 30 minutes until singles 30 starts. 30 minutes. So uh, we'll probably put on some friendlies, uh, have some people chat. So but yeah, I'm gonna go and see if uh, my Smash yeah. Four started. Okay. I'm gonna go lose my second Smash I Four match because I don't know how to play Smash Four. I need to take a break. 
Yeah. Right now. But. Uh, huh? Is Johnny on mic? There's food? <laughs> <laughs> Pizza should be good. Alright, right, guys, I'm gonna dip. Same. We'll be back. Uh, Melee Singles is starting at 4 p.m., so stick around. You're just gonna play some friendlies. If you. Uh, I mean, if I move this. We'll be back. What is upstream? 
We have some high level friendlies going on. Ultima Scout, the legend, versus uh, PBJ himself, the owner, the founder of Smash Studios, one of the founders. Uh, singles bracket's going to start at 4 o'clock. Registration's about to close. Um, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to tell them right before I open. Um, uh, Juan, right behind me, say hi, Juan. Juan's going to. Juan's going to text Archangel and ask him to put his um, GoFundMe link onto uh, the Udell Spring Tournament page. Uh, the guy who got Taiwan into Melee, and his best friend, and his roommate, uh, has, I believe it's non-terminal cancer. Um, so non-terminal, you know, it could be worse. The unfortunate thing is when some people have to ask questions like, are we getting your medical procedures or your food this week? Hopefully it never comes to that. And uh, that's why we're reaching out to you guys for help, so... Uh, tell Taiwan to put his GoFundMe onto the Udell Spring Tournament page. Tell him I told everyone. Uh, do you need help seating, or are you good? I'll seat on the mic. I think it was 3-0. Guys, I'm gonna get the chat up in a second. Uh, I think it was 3 1. Yeah, that was some great doubles we saw. Pretty hype. Um, if any of you guys are uh, want more Smash tomorrow, EGLX is gonna have some high level melee. Uh, five of the gods are there. Great doubles. Definitely the tournament to watch tomorrow. I have the other mic too. I, mean, I have all the mics right now. Was oh, that the, the chat room's open? Take a look every now and then. So our, uh, let's talk about singles, what we have in store for you guys. Uh, I think our first seed's probably going to be Stango. Um, really, really good Marth player. At Pound, he was very close to taking down both Esfat and Chillin Dude in each of his sets, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, he's pretty young, I think he's like 18 or 19. And and he's uh, he's gonna get real good real fast. He's a player to watch for sure. Uh, he plays mostly Marth, he also has a Fox. So uh, that's him. Amazing punishes. You'll see like some Mewtwo King-esque stuff from him. So it should be really exciting to watch uh, Nick Stango. He used to be called Launcher, now he's Stango. To watch him play. Um, our second seed, hard to say really. I see BMC right in front of me, so I'm gonna go with BMC. Uh, BMC is the Peach player you just saw playing teams on stream. Um, he's like the fastest Peach I've ever played against, uh, or I've ever seen. I have played against Armada. So there you go. Um, who else do we have? Super fast Peach. Oh, R2 Dilu. Um, Probably the best textbook fox in the area. He will do the right thing every time. So if you're trying to learn melee and you try to learn fox, uh, pay attention to Archer Dilu. Because he's going to do like what's considered the right mechanical thing almost every time. It's really cool to watch. Um, the other fox player who he's teaming with is Smokey. Uh, Smokey's a player from Philadelphia. Kind of old school. He used to be from New York. Uh, he plays mostly fox. Really fast. He's kind of a mango-esque style, I'd say. Lots of movement, he's pretty aggressive. Fun to watch. Uh, what other good players do we have here? He, he is, yeah. He said he did. We also have... Oh, from uh, MDVA. Uh, your strongest representative is probably Peanut Phobia. A really interesting player. He's been playing almost all Yoshi recently. What's up? I'll get there. Um, he's been playing all Yoshi recently, and uh, he also plays Marth and Sheik. Uh, his Yoshi's been getting really good, so he's something to watch for your look. He's your low tier hero this tournament. Then you have, oh, the other MDBA representative, Bones, uh, of Falco fame. He famously almost beat Mewtwo King 
in a Xanadu one time, so that's pretty cool. He's considered one of the best Falcos at the Marth matchup specifically. What else do we have around here? Oh, there's Weedle, Peachy Saw before. Oh, I forgot to mention Yuan, right? Uh, there's Yuan. He kind of, he's not that good though, so I'm not going to talk about it much. Oh, I didn't even get a smile. Yeah, Yuan's a uh, dual spaces player. You saw him play Fox and teams. You're probably going to see him go mostly Falco in singles. Uh, depending on the players and such. Usually he plays Falco, I, th I believe, until the other person demonstrates um, that they're good at getting out of his punishes and dealing with lasers. And then he switches to Fox, who he plays much more aggressively. For some reason he still plays Falco against me. I think it's because he doesn't like Fox to do this. Oh, and then there's me. I play Fox. I I'm kind of okay. Oh, also, Ultima Scout. How can we forget Ultima Scout? Uh, he plays a myriad of characters. Probably the wonkiest style of any player here. Um, I think his best characters are Marth and Falcon. He usually goes Marth. You'll see lots of forward smashing. Uh, I think in the last UD tournament, he beat Ace of Flakes with like only forward smash and up tilt. It's crazy. And he does have a setup now, so he's been able to practice a lot more. That's pretty cool. Uh, he also has been known to play Fox in tournament. I've seen his Sheik. I've seen him play Link. There's a famous video. Uh, have you seen his Link? He's known for his DI. Um, I've seen him live a wobble. It was like went over 200% on Dreamland. It was amazing. Also, we have Fendrick Lamar, um, esteemed commentator and a pretty good player, a Marth player as well. I think, that's, I think that's closing it. Oh, I don't know if Wisely's entering, but Wisely's actually a hidden boss. He almost never enters tournaments. Uh, you want this one? Oh, no. Uh, Sleeves is joining me on the mic. Sup? So, oh my god, that's loud as crap. Yep, okay. yep. Mine's not that loud at all. Okay. There, there we go, go, there we go. So, um, there's Wisely as well, a hidden boss. I don't know if he entered, but he's known to team with SG very often. He's a very confident Fox player. I think I just went through all of the really notable singles players here. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you're from Lancaster, you have uh, representatives in Chum and Slug. I'm going to go ahead and say two of the lamest players around, but they're pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make the r announcement on the mic so everyone mm. can hear it. Mm. Yeah. Attention Melee players, you have less than five minutes to register for singles. Oh yeah. Melee players, singles registration will be closing at 3.45. 3.45. Hmm. Brooke, did you enter? Did you? Did you? Did you enter? Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, if you, you guys need some lunch, now's the time to get it because we're gonna have some intense singles action. Uh, yeah, dude, I was starving, dude. Huh? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna eat that too. Me too, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I was just like, my stomach was hurting, man. Like, mine too, dude. I, and I was doing commentary the whole time, and it's just like, yeah, yeah. You and I, you and I should commentate later a little bit. It'll be fun. Yeah, I will. But I. I mean, like, we, we both have singles too, right? But yeah. Just until I get knocked out. Yeah. Same here. I mean, yeah. unless I win. But if but the thing is, like, really late on, if you're late in bracket, you can still commentate, like, before your matches. Mm -hmm. If you want. If I play like I did uh, versus Stango and Glitter, I'll probably win the tournament. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I... Like, I was, like, so... I, I felt so bad. Because they got like double 3 0 I know. Run. I was like, dang. Like, the first time it was hype. And then the second time, it's like, it I want to be hype for them. But like, I, I but can't. Stango was so mad. He was so sad, man. I was like, ah, yeah. ah, my heart. So it just so happened, guys. I don't know. I mean, no one told you. They have like free food right outside the event, so it's coming real handy. Like some a hamburger and hot dog. For oh, yeah, or dude. A jam They're like jamming it out there. They have like a DJ and everything. Yep. A bunch of people are like dancing and stuff. It's it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, UD is a cool place to go to school. If you're looking for somewhere to go next year, uh, we have a wonderful melee games team. We're recruiting, so you know. Yeah. You know what? We found out Aiden's taking classes here. Oh yeah. And he didn't join the melee games team. Do you know how easy we would have won? Oh yeah. If we you, had Aiden you, as well. Yeah. You guys would destroy. Ooh. <sighs> Uh, oh well. Melee Games Finals, I'll uh, advertise it next week at Unity 7. I forget uh, what the stream Who's is. Who's in the finals? It is Virginia, West Virginia, one of the Virginia schools. It's next weekend. 
One of the Virginia schools. It is. I'll get on in a second. Yeah, it's Saturday. Um, it. They're known to have like really good players, like Smash Gods on their team. They yeah. have Doll. Yeah, Doll's good. Um, they also have Junebug. Mm -hmm. The Needle and Redu Sheik. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. This is the last call to register for melee singles. Last call. Last call. This is the last call. You're not getting up. You with the sandwich, stop eating it and go register for melee singles. <laughs> but they already registered. No, he, didn't. <laughs> he didn't register. Yeah, I know. Look at that guy over there with the sandwich. Yeah. Isn't that uh, Adam? Yeah, I don't know if he added or not. A, a carps? Yeah. Wait, yeah. are you doing alright with the seating over here? Yo, what's up, East Nuts? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I entered. Last time we had multiple people. Yep, yep. <sighs> Hey Sleeves, you hold it down, I'm gonna... Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, uh, I don't know how these friendlies have been going. I haven't been paying attention. PBJ just got bored, smashed the crap out of it. Who is playing right now? Is that Ultimate Scouts, Fox? Hmm. Ooh, that was crisp. Could be forward smash. Sometimes you just gotta forward smash, man. Up tilt? No. Oh well. So yeah. Like Snack said, we got 15 minutes before we start singles. So... And it, look, it looks like we're approaching um, just under 80 entrants. Oh uh, yeah? A little less than last time, but that's to be expected with EGLX. Uh, plus there's a Maryland tournament going on, so a lot of those people didn't come out. So we're doing pretty good right now. Yeah. Who was... The last time I was here for a UD tournament, uh, I think, like, a lot of Maryland people came out. SG uh, and Nintendo did. And that, yeah. that drove a lot more, yeah. Yeah, and, um... Uh, what's his name? Wife the, was here. And Puff. The puff. Ace of Flakes? Yes. Yep, Ace of Flakes was here. Uh, Boss was here. Yeah, there were a lot of players. There big, were a lot of Maryland big, big players. Big Wentz was here. They came up yep. in force. It was really nice. Yeah, it was pretty Shout solid. Shout out to you guys if you're watching at home. Uh, it was a pleasure having you last time. I'd love to have you back in the fall, maybe. We do have Silence here as well. He's a player I forgot to mention earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh, pretty solid Fox. Known to be wife's brother. I don't want him to be known by that because he's pretty good. Um, yeah. Yeah. And he, uh, he actually came down to hang out with uh, some of the UD kids yesterday. It was really nice. Oh, yeah? Yep, yeah, he stayed, I think, over at Austin's place. Nice. Austin and Jared. Is there any Falcons here? <laughs> is Stone Free in the bracket? Can we get Stone Free in the bracket? No, Stone Free. Is he here? Is Matt here? No, he's not here. Matt's not here? Dang. I want him to be here. Shout outs to Stone Free, aka watching. Mark, when, uh, under, uh, when he's really thirsty. Brett Davis, right there. Right Bada there. bang. What's up? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> now we just got a big blue, like, blob over here. Yeah, seeding the tournament. This is what happens with seeding. <laughs> Look, here comes more, Eddie. More, here comes blue. more. More blue. Here they come. Alright, so uh, while we're waiting here, I, I can't tell Billy. Billy, what's the update on the chat? Hey, what's the chat up? What does the chat have what's to say? The, what's the update on the chat? Shut up, Taffy. <laughs> I'll never cut it. I wish he did too. Um, so while you guys have a little break, make sure you are following Smash Studios on Twitch. Uh, you can press the little heart oh, icon. Oh yeah, hold up. Yeah, you, you want to go to that screen? Um, please follow, and if you can, subscribe. They bring you lots of great content, tournaments like this, and much bigger ones. They'll be streaming What the Fox later this year. Also, you can follow them on Twitter at Smash Studios 1 and find out all the good stuff, all your Melee needs, all your Smash 4 needs. Smash Studios has something to say about it. If you want to look at the YouTube VODs, please look at Smash Studios 2001 on YouTube. And, of course, on Facebook is also Smash Studios 2001. Get all the info you need. All the melee content you desire from Smash Studios. Yeah, and uh, we just got these Smash Studios controllers from Controller and Color, so they will be for sale in the future. So if you guys ever want one, just be on the lookout. We'll let you guys know. If you follow the Twitter, it'll probably be on there. 
Uh, so yeah. I'm gonna buy one. And lastly, uh, Momocon. We're gonna be streaming Momocon May 26th to 29th. Uh, I'm going. Uh, you know, me and PBJ are gonna be there streaming. Free, free snacks. Uh, so I don't have. I don't have <laughs> I school. Free snacks. I don't have school. Bring me so, along. So yeah, it's in Why Atlanta. Uh, uh, all right, I need all of you to do me a favor. Tweet at Smash Studio <laughs> one that you want to see snacks at Momocon. Oh my gosh! Get him a flight. Uh, I think it's just Wii U. I don't care. I'm down. Okay, let's go. So yeah, just Smash Four tournament. All if right, you guys are into that thing. Uh, if if you're not, then you know just watch anyway to support us because we love you. Uh, Five thousand dollar pop bonus, and we're gonna have EE and DC commentating. So yeah, right. check it out. Uh, it's it was pretty good last year. There's a problem with the seating right around 9 and 10. <sighs> but yeah, check us out. And no, I did not cut the man bun. Unfortunately. I'll never cut it ever. Someday again. soon. Oh, hi, Amy. But yeah. Oh, wait. I should switch it to this layout. Might be. This lease is lame. You're lame, dude. You hate me. That's uh, this guy from one of my uh, Skype calls in the past. Uh, hey guys, I why, why do you hate on the man buns? I kind of have to poop a little bit. But yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold it till <laughs> just, after. Just tell the stream. Yeah. yeah. I did. Now you guys know. No. Hey, go find snacks, man. I'm right here. Yeah. Uh, you told them your Twitter, right? Oh. Well, <laughs> I don't know if we still have the uh, it, snacks command. It's still there. Okay, so can't get rid of that. I'm important. A bada bing. I'm sorry. This is staff only. And bada freaking boom. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we got both of our Twitters, so you know, check us out there. Yep. Uh, I've been answering questions. People have been DMing me from um, when I offered on Smash Haven. So please, if you have any questions about melee, you want some advice, how to get started. Yeah. People hate me, so they don't DM. Yeah, me. Yeah, but I mean, if you they still uh, follow me though. I, so I would prefer if, close. I would prefer if you guys tweeted me. Uh, you can use Twit longer if you want to, just because then everyone can see the answer. So you know, whoever wants the information, it's available for. Yeah, we don't go down in the DM. I mean, I do. I just prefer. Not. Yeah, that was definitely a reverse forward air to uh, some other com follow up. <laughs> I don't know who this Marth is, but oh, it's it's Fendi. Who's playing right now? It's Fendi. Oh, it's Fendi Lamar. Yeah. Smart. Versus Ultima Fox. Definitely reverse forward air right there every time. Uh. I love that combo. I'm gonna have to get melee going. Uh, in a couple minutes, I have like a bunch of announcements I want to make. Yeah. Yeah. About. I want to say, eight minutes. So if you uh, guys, if you guys don't know, we have I've seven. the esteemed food beast sitting like two things over for the me. Esteemed. People over. He is esteemed. He has like a crazy photographic memory, and he remembers every match that's happened ever that he's seen in a bracket. So he's really useful for seeding. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, he's like a computer dude. He has like a database. Shout out to R two D Lu right behind you. What's up? Say sorry. Fender, yeah, Fender Kumar. Oh uh, yeah. So uh. Yeah, who do you think is uh gonna be winners finals? Um, probably Snacks and Yuan. Okay, I I, I, I can uh, I can see that. I would say BMC, but he hasn't been entering very much recently. BMC is a solid third. Yeah, BMC is probably gonna get third. He's gonna be in losers bracket right there. Yeah, he's gonna make the come up in losers finals. Yeah, yeah Snacks is playing in the tournament. And TOing. Most of and his matches will probably be on stream. So you can check them out. Uh, I don't know if I even want that. Usually, uh, when I really get going, when I'm TOing, I don't have energy to play. So it might not be pretty. Just make someone else TO. <laughs> That's what we were doing before. They were doing a pretty good job. But I really like doing that too. My, my main priority at this tournament is to make sure everyone has a good time. The thing about, like, <laughs> all the freaking TOs are, like, really good players. <laughs> it just sucks. Well, not all of them, but... <laughs> I don't mean Vaughn. I mean, like, there's, like, just some randoms that are... Yeah. Videos. Oh, there are? Yeah, like, there's people who are in the uh, video game tournament club who don't even play Smash that are here helping. Uh, then you have people like Infinity, who's, like, he's played before, but, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, David is going to play. 
Are you guys getting close-ish? Yeah, I'm playing too. All right, I'm going to go do like the protocol announcements and stuff. All right, so I'll hold it down. Uh. Oh, yeah. So we're going to be calling melee matches soon. So stay put. Just watch these few friendlies. Don't mind the uh, empty commentator chair. It's just because I don't have the chat. I would sit there, but, you know, so far away. Want to talk to the people. It's, uh... Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, like, recently I, I like, played Fox for, like, a whole week non-stop and just not any Falco. And, uh... It like really messed up my Falco, so I'm like recovering from that. Sorry, I was being quiet there. I was just listening to the announcement. Snacks was uh, giving a uh, little speech, talk about uh, cancer, and he made an announcement about one of our dear friends, uh, Taiwan, aka Archangel. Yeah, he has a GoFundMe on his Twitter for his friend who was diagnosed with cancer. So, if you guys want to support, uh, you know, just donate a few bucks if you want. But he was also telling people to throw away the trash shoe, so. <laughs> but well, yeah. It's really important. Yeah, I, I love making like little public speeches like that, so it was uh, super fun. Yeah, I had a little moment of silence there. It was, it was nice. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I've actually had uh, three friends die in the past week or so, um, which is crazy. Yeah. One from a car accident, one from some other type of accident they wouldn't tell me about, and the other one was just old. Uh, yeah. Well. And rough. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna get melee singles underway any moment now. Oh, I should say the protocol for reporting matches and stuff again in case people didn't see it, right? <laughs> oh, I'm just reading the chat. Like, scrolling up. What the heck? All right. So yeah, we should be starting within pretty much like right now. We'll be calling a match onto stream. Just giving like TO instructions, you know, post a bracket. Uh, I think they're finalizing the bracket right now. Alright, so I'm gonna get the bracket, uh, soon. So, then I'll, uh, I don't know if the bracket command is... No. What was it? 
Challenge, yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever. Here we go. Alright, getting the gra bracket for you guys. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, what's up? Yeah, just for right now. I was taking a little break. I'm trying to get the bracket for the fam. Okay, I'm just gonna post, put it on this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dot com slash. Oh my god. <laughs> Why'd they do it like that? Freaking gyms. <laughs> what the heck? No? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. G <laughs> this is so like... TC Spring <laughs> Melee Tournament. This is so much work. Uh, I don't know. You still? Oh fuck. Um. Crap. Yeah, the uh, I don't have the bracket yet, Nerok. So just wait a second. I gotta get it. Crap. Hey. I need the bracket. Oh, yeah. Let me uh, update this real quick. Uh, one of my friends. Uh, hold on one sec. Um, hold on. Now, I have to update the, um, whatchamacallit. Who's playing on stream right now? Who's playing on stream right now? Yes. Okay. What is it? Get in the bracket. This one? 26. This one? Okay. Okay. We're going to update this soon. Just give us one sec. So it looks like uh, I see Preston from a frequent at Westchester plays Falco. And uh, this other person, I'm not sure of his tag. But yeah, we're getting a bracket uh, soon enough. Is the challenge being weird? It's not like searching it correctly. I don't know why they did it so weird, but. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. 
with the Smokey popping off in the back row. You guys can't see him, but he's like, let's go, Preston. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so we got KVN. Oh, yeah. I, I know I've seen him somewhere. This guy's uh, from Maryland area. I think I've seen him play. I think I played him at Xanadu once, actually. I don't know. Either way, it's Falco Chic. Uh, ooh, that was a good up tilt forward smash. Get him off stage. Nice combo. I like that he went for the up tilt instead of shine. Down air. Yep. Yeah, I just caught uh, KVN DIing in on that uh, um, dash deck. Ooh. All right, nice. Grab the ledge. Oh, and Nimbus goes for Nimbus, as some people would call it. Uh, oh. I don't know if he was trying to wave dash out of shield, but if he was, then that sucks. All right, nice. All right. I like the jump, baiting out the shield grab. But we're just going to keep down smashing. Oh, uh, yeah. Grab the ledge. Nice. Yeah, Sheik's, man, Sheik's recovery. So exploitable. Ooh, gets that snipe. I didn't think... But KVN, I think he should have just ran off and tried to nair or something. But... I don't know. Like this is all this is all like ghost damage. And shouldn't exist. There we go. He gets a down smash. So oh we got Stango coming on there? What's up, man? Ooh. Ah, what's going on guys? What's up? Ah How's it doing? My man sleeves. Just chilling. Rocking the Shit. black smash here, so look pretty, look pretty stylish. You know, very sleek. I gotta, I gotta sleek. keep it, uh, I gotta keep it real. I don't so, know. <laughs> right now, KVN versus my boy Nimbus. Yeah, from my uh, region. Oh. Nimbus is doing pretty good. Probably pretty solid. And then he'll just like F smash. Yeah. yeah, like he'll get the kill and then he'll just die immediately. That's what this game has been so far. Like he, that. Yeah, he's having trouble dealing with um, KVN's invincibility from the heaven platform. Right. Ooh, Ooh, nice snipe. Yes. Slaps. That's what you gotta do. You gotta go out there. Gotta kill him. He tried the down air. What the? Okay. And uh, this is uh, this shows who's gonna clutch it out. Oh. oh. That was a bad down tilt. He had the like the idea of the down tilt was good, but like he just, just didn't it's just bad. Enough. Like in that situation, it's just bad. Ooh. He was like, yeah, I want to pop wow. him up. Oh, is he dead? Oh, that was a good up air. Chokes. If he oh. got a, if he got a forward tilt there, I think they're starting to float, dude. Oh, I think I'm under. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yep. All right. Very slow paced game one. Yeah, how many minutes? That was a three minute match on Yoshi's. That's that's yeah. actually pretty usually ridiculous. this match you know, is pretty uh pretty, pretty fast, fast either way because both characters like destroy each other. So uh yeah, I would, and especially on Yoshi's because Falco's kill power killing power on Yoshi's is just turned up like tenfold. Yeah, small blast zones, small ceiling as well. Falco definitely has like the capability Ooh. of killing Shield off the top. Great conversion right now. Oh, you're gonna keep going. <laughs> I actually oh. really like that wave land. That was super slick. Yeah. Uh, down air. I wanted him to jab a shield there to try to cover shield drop, but maybe he yeah. messed up the input. It's crazy we gotta cover shield drop now. <laughs> yeah, covering shield Everybody's drop. Everybody's shield dropping now. Everyone has a tool to, to cover it though. That's that's the thing people need to realize. Shield yeah. drop isn't like this unbeatable strategy. It definitely has a uh, not weaknesses Ooh. to it, but if everyone's just going to shield drop, you know, the first time they get hit on shield, you can set up for a lot of um, combo opportunity off of it. Down air? Ooh. He wanted to fall through the platform and, like, 
cover his landing with another down air, but yeah. got stuck up. I don't nice. know if that was a shield drop or a shield poke. Uh, I think it was shield poke. Yeah. He waited a second to kind of let the shield go down a little, and then, yeah, Sheik's feet were, like, exposed. I like how Nimbus is not trying to overextend with his uh, punish on down smash, because he's realizing if you uh, eat three hits of down smash on your shield, uh, you can't wave that shot shield punish it, like, with shine or something. Ooh. So he's, like, just doing a laser, like... Oh my god, that was Ooh. sick! Ooh. Oh. Wait. No, uh... No fist bump? Wait. No f and he had one. he had one sock left. <laughs> well, uh... Yeah. Good job, Nimbus. Eric. Uh... We gotta do the court uh, commentary. Yeah, dude. if you wanna get on. Yeah. I'll take a break, man. That's not my name, man. That's not my name. That's not my name. <laughs> He's such a hater, dude. The Smasher formerly known as Lawn Chair. All right, how about this? Can we settle for this? Since we're doing... since Hey, 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 hey. Since we're doing this combo, just put the court on our names, all right? The court. He doesn't no, know, no dude. Respect. No, no respect. No respect for the corporation. All right, who we got here? Uh, la, 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 la. We got Billy versus um, Shot. Yeah, I already told Shot he's gonna lose this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. Like, oh, man, what do you think I was gonna play? <laughs> I was like, it don't matter. He's <laughs> about to get rocked. <laughs> Billy is so good, dude. Dude, Billy's so good. He's also a rock in the flip flops. Definitely tournament meta, but I hate feet, so I will never wear flip flops to a tournament. I'm wearing I'm wearing the young flip flops today. <laughs> the young flops. I, I brought backup sneakers though, because I plan on getting Chinese, and the Chinese food is like a 10 minute walk away. Oh, dude, that's rough. So yeah, you know, I need a gallon of water. You have some what? Yeah. I'm gonna have some of that. Um, where do you think they're gonna go? So I know Shot's probably gonna go Falcon. Yeah, he's, I mean he already has Falcon on there. Change the color so you know it's for real. All right, All right. on Battlefield. Start Battlefield. I actually don't know super know the follow ups in this matchup. It's like a down throw nair. Oh, God. Right? Like a low yeah, percent. down throw nair at low percent, and then around like 30, 40, you want to down throw up air. You can also get down throw knee pretty easily. Yeah, down throw like knee around 80 will usually kill, like pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it is guaranteed. You just have to read the DI correctly. And be really fast. Yeah. But it, it's definitely reactive, so like it's something you can do. You just have to practice it. Um, well, be it. BMC is doing what he does best. If he gets a lead, he's just gonna trade all day. Yeah, really good at reading uh, players, people movements. on platforms. And yeah. yeah, jumping that kind of stuff, movement. Uh, yeah, he's super good at getting those nears. In this matchup, Peach wants to like kind of have terminips at all times. You know, he's he's like for for gone like uh, pulling turnips. He's kind of been just spacing out with bears and. Getting these down smash conversions all of like ASDI down. Yeah, Bear's pretty good in this matchup. Um, I mean, it's like one of Peach's better moves. I think Falcon's strongest aspect in this matchup that I haven't seen Shot take advantage yet is definitely his juggle game and his, sh and his sharking. He's not really um, keeping BMC in the air with up air. Okay. So, right in that situation, if he took some time to just stand there and uh, evaluate the situation, he probably could have. Red where uh, Billy was wow. going to go, Billy being DMC, and uh, just got him, but he didn't do it at all. That's, um, that's definitely something that happens very often when you uh, play with Shot. He, um, he has these quite a, quite, quite a bunch, actually. Yeah, that uh, that's pretty treacherous for Falcon. Um, Peach, she has like a, I don't know what exactly the ratio is, but she essentially has like a 50-50 off of flow cancel fair. She can jab, grab, or down smash. Okay. So like, you really have to anticipate what she does. So like, and especially for Falcon who has such like poor out of shield options, it's uh, it's really difficult when he gets hit on shield by fair. Up air? I wanted no. to see a knee there. I think. Yeah, it should have been a knee. He's kind of just, he just keeps moving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he needs he's to... He's not taking any time to uh, evaluate what's going on. Like, right here, like, see, he's just going out there. Peach is super slow. Like, you can really take the matchup really slow. You don't... Oh. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty bad. Yeah. I want to see Shot be a little more patient in his movement, because he's, like, moving to a position where he can't cover anything, but if he just were to stay still and wait, he can cover some options, you know what I mean? He's yeah. like overcommitting way too much nice to one layout. thing, 
And Peach's aerial drift, especially when she like up bees and with her float, like it's really hard to like overcommit and actually hit her. So you just kind of want to wait for her when she has the most limited amount of options. Dude, red velvet is Chris. I don't know why that's there, but it's, it's just a true statement. It is like, a true statement. I've actually never had red velvet. Oh my god. Ooh, you're, you're not living life. You know what I think is uh, pretty cool? You know, Billy going back to his roots. You know he's originally from Florida? I didn't know he's from Florida. He's got, he's got F Florida love as his tag. I don't know why, but it randomly just reminds me of Tupac, because I was definitely listening to Tupac last night. Uh, we were all, I was listening to Mad Tupac yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. Because, uh, go to Rohit's house. <laughs> he's the dunk of Philly. You think so? The dunk I, of Philly? I think he's the dunk <laughs> of Philly. It was, uh, it was real nice, dude. Going to his house is actually, like, super tight. Um. Yeah, this is just a good bear. Oh. Yeah. That's a really easy edge guard for Peach. All she has to do is just hover over the ledge when Falcon's below the ledge and just snare at some point. Yeah, Peach has so many things she could just do to edge guard Falcon. She like she can just it's like she can abuse Falcon really hard. Yeah, she can actually throw turnips and just like just keep throwing them at the edge because Falcon has a real rough time sweet spotting. So you can just like kind of wait it out for uh forever. For a, you could for like turn turnip. up him to like nine nine nine. Yeah. And then get a good turn up. <laughs> and then turn. narrow. And then kill him. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next stock you use that turn up. Yeah, dude. And then do it all over again. Ooh. Wow. He's so good at reverse fairs. I can't believe that reverse. No, I have seen him get reverse fairs. Dude, that was actually really that was really messed up. Billy is so good, dude. On cancel bear. So what do you think about the stage pick? I think it's like sorta of okay. It, yeah, it is okay. I don't think stage matters that much in this matchup unless it's like FD. Does Peach have a chain grab? Might yeah, be. Peach does have a chain grab on Falcon. It's pretty brutal too. Really? Yeah. Is it worse than the Fox and Falco one? I feel like it is. <laughs> it it if I depends on what your definition of worse is. So like once Falcon is at like 50%, let's say, right? Yeah. He, he's not getting out of the chain grab. Like it, it, it's so much is easier. Is that a stitch? That's a stitch. Tears. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're like on your way to getting four stocks and he pulls out a stitch. <laughs> <laughs> just but, makes uh, the comeback so much more harder. Yeah. I mean, she can't really do it from, like, 0 to whatever, oh. right? But she can do it from, like, 50 to, like, She can like, definitely, you know, like, up throw a down smash, though, right? Yeah. Oh, rough. I mean, you know, that's DI dependent, but it's it's a thing. Just notice how, like, Billy just sets up in a wall, but it's not, like, a really defensive wall. He, like, he, like takes away space from the people he's, like, zoning out against. Ooh, that LB was so good. Neat. All right. Finally, that was a that was finally some. That was a pretty good conversion. Yeah. Well, uh, gentleman knee is actually pretty hard sometimes. Looked pretty easy that time, but <laughs> uh, he's dead. still got to respect the game. Even if he misses, he still gets the edge guard. <laughs> it's it's real if hard. He, if he lands on stage, he just gets thrown off stage again, or nared off stage. Peaches, peaches, hell good. I think she's the second best character in the game. I'm crazy though. I am crazy. I do honestly believe that. No, I, know I don't you, know. If you, I I know you don't believe that because you said Yoshi's the second best character. In the no, game. I think Yoshi's third. No, you said Yoshi's second. No, Yoshi's third, dude. I remember having this conversation a while ago. And you that said that Yoshi's was a long. Second. Remember when I started maining Peach though, and then I truly <laughs> began to believe that Peach is the second best character in the game. And we got Brooke. Brooke Money. Brooke I mean, her Money? name is just, her tag is just Brooke. But the first time I met her, some, like the moon told me it was Brook Money. Sorry? Uh, I can't remember. It's, uh, it's STB, STB underscore Smokey. Yeah, STB underscore Smokey. Yeah. I haven't tweeted in a while. You haven't. Dude, I just still find it so funny. You told me about that one tweet that was about me. <laughs> you were like hella pissed at me because like I, I think I beat you at like a Temple Weekly and I like popped off and like... <laughs> Blah blah blah. Like I made more money, made more bank than you in a year. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you've definitely put in way more money than I have this year. Our incomes are looking hella not even similar anymore. You think so? You think I have more? I've made more overall so far. This, not, this, not, so, this yeah, this year. summer. Yeah, that could be true. Broke the snoop. That's a that's a pretty good stock. Brook is looking pretty good right now. Ooh. Oh. Down smash. Dude, oh. Yeah, Brooks looks like she's been practicing, dude. 
I haven't seen Brooklyn in a she while. She actually got a lot of uh, advice from Mafia at um, Fight Pit. Mafia taught her a lot of Peach stuff, so... The I young Moff, always always lending a... Dude, Mafia is like super homie. He's, he, he definitely turned into like top top 10 like Smash homies, in my, in my opinion, for me. He's pretty cool, dude. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I think Mafia is cool, but top 10? Top 10, dude. He's, he's, he's hell out there. I mean, I haven't met everybody, so... Maybe top 25. <laughs> You'll meet some people. You'll see pretty people are pretty great. Top 100, number 91 <laughs> to be specific. <laughs> it's an alien on me ranking. Damn, this this uh this kind of turned pretty quick. She just wasted a turn up. I mean, a stitch. Was it a stitch? Yeah. Ooh, I don't geez. think she knew it was. Oh. I didn't. So silence. I guess he's from this region. I've literally never seen him in my life. Uh, I think I played him. He's from he's from UD. Um, I think I played him last time I came here. It's pretty fun. So what do you think about this matchup? What do you uh, like about it? Peach's what, what only bad think? matchup, but I like everything about it. All right, well, wait, which perspective do you want? Uh, Fox. Yo, Fox bodies Peach. <laughs> Yo, it is so free. It is amazing, dude. You, you like you can do whatever you want. Run away laser like platform camp. The only time it becomes a serious issue is if the Peach starts like SDI in your drills, but then you just do another drill, you know? <laughs> the one thing that beats drill, you can just beat it with more drill. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me, it, you have no, like, oh man. So when you enjoy this matchup? Oh, I love this match. This is one of my favorite matchups. I definitely, um, I enjoy this matchup playing as Marth, because, you know, I just have a ridiculous amount more range than she ever will. I mean, with, with but a like, turnip. The thing, the, thing, the thing with Fox, though, is that like he doesn't have that much more range than her, so like he's more susceptible to getting like crotch cancel down smashed or like comboed. Yeah. Um, I don't think turn are that important in this matchup unless it's strictly edge guarding. Would you agree with that? I, in this matchup? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I feel like Fox is literally way too fast for you to even like think about pulling a turn up. Because like you'll sit there and be like, should I pull a turn up? And he's already on top of you. Yeah, like, no, you. in this matchup, that's definitely true. Um, I mean, there's definitely some niche things that you can do with turn ups, but overall, it's it's for edge guarding side B. And like if you uh if you back air them off, you can kind of like catch their firefox sometimes too. Yeah, you can like um do the armada thing where he back, back air he back airs them, pulls resets turnips, them, pulls turn up, fall down. Turn up throw, float in air, and well, then they're dead. He usually does like a back air, uh, put turn up pull, back air, then then throw the turn up. Yeah, that that makes more sense. Um, but I don't know how you feel about Dreamland here. Um, I actually think this stage is super secret awful for Peach in this matchup. Yeah, I would say Yoshi's is probably like the best the best bet to be honest. It's like FOD and Yoshi's. FOD and Yoshi's. This is like, FO, like, I don't want to say she wins on FOD, but she definitely does a lot better um, than any other stage in this matchup. Definitely. It's just... It, he has too much room to run around. Yeah. It's... She literally cannot keep up. Back, back when foxes were dumb, you know, you could get away with this, but it, it's... She threw another stitch. The Peach Gods are looking fondly on her, and... Uh, she... <laughs> she doesn't believe away. in them. She's like, there's no such thing as Peach Gods. <laughs> <laughs> no. She needs to be up being um, way earlier because the higher this is unnecessary right now. I think I think he's just feeling himself to be honest. You know, if you're feeling yourself, feel yourself, homie. Yeah, you do you, silence. <laughs> but I I don't agree with Brooks' recovery decision. She needs to definitely up B higher. Yeah. Because the higher you are, the more options you have, and if you go. I think that was another stitch. If if Fox whiffs, you can fall below him and be safe. But if he whiffs when you're like, you know, below the ledge, she, she's pulled three total stitches. No, oh man, she's pulled three Rip. total stitches and they have not touched them at all. Tears, tears, real, <laughs> tears. real tears, dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm biased. I don't want Silas to win. This is hurting me. This is definitely hurting me right now. <laughs> this is like so upsetting. <laughs> she was looking so good in the she, Yo, the first talk was looking so good. And then she... I don't know what happened. Oh. 
You gotta jump when you shine things, or when you reflect your things. In different terminology for the same move. Yeah. Shine is the broken thing, reflector is like the slightly, slightly bad thing. If she just... Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah. All right. That was pretty rough. He just leaves it there paused, like a total dick bag. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely looked right at you when you caught him. <laughs> he was just like, you're, you're over here, he's like, yo man, that's not nice. And he's like... <laughs> just looks I, at you. I also have to apologize, I disdain. totally did not mean to say that. Dude. It's what you felt in your heart. It's all right. <laughs> Sometimes, like, that's the reason why we have brains. We filter out what our heart wants. Dude, I'm literally all heart. That's all I have. <laughs> all I have in this world is my heart. I have no brain. I'm a little idiot. Is it me, or is this guy, like, um, he's like the poor, he's like the fake-looking uh, Zanguzen. Who? This other, this white guy. Like, sitting there right now? Yeah. Uh, not look like Zang. A little bit. He's like he's like a poverty version of Zang. Oh, uh, man. Actually, on the on the screen, I was looking at him like... I, like you look at him over there, but you In look the at him screen. on the screen, he looks... You, right? Kind of a little bit. A little bit. So we got Glitter versus uh, Zang Yuzen Jr. <laughs> I don't know who this guy's name is. If, we'll if this guy plays Falco, we're weird. You can go by Zang Yuzen I was Jr. definitely on point then, if he plays Falco. Oh, White Marth. Uh, Red Marth. Ugh. Red Marth's Come definitely on. the worst now. Nowadays. No, dude. No. White Marth is the worst. No. White Marth is so ugly. It's ugly, but Red Marth is just outdated, dude. I play Red Marth. I'm, like, like I'm gonna show you guys the new wave of Marth. Just like I did with Peach. All my my Oh, let's go! We take those. Glitter glitter <laughs> just bumped his head, dude. That happens sometimes. That's the that's the um the Anaheim. I call that the Anaheim because <laughs> PC Chris definitely did that and super broke my heart. <laughs> it was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. In Smash history? Yeah, dude. <laughs> it wasn't this matchup, but it was definitely this Marth. Dude, speaking of Battlefield and like just heartbreaking things or just cool things. It's a really good if you th If you think about like all the sets in like the history of Melee, I think like Battlefield literally has like the most like memorable things that ever happened on the stage. I think Yoshi's. Yoshi's you think? Yoshi's cuz uh it's King Shiz. Just like a Oh, Wobbles too. With the Oh, that was gross. I can think of way more like like for Battlefield, I think of uh Wombo Combo. Like in my, like Wombo Combo arguably, you know, biggest smash thing that ever happened, but It is. It has the most YouTube views out of all the smash videos. Would you say match 4? Yeah, but Wombo Combo has more. That is true. But like... The match doesn't have that many views, it's just the highlight of it. Yeah. So what do you think about this matchup? We go, we go, since we both made these characters, we can, we can go in a little... I'll let you go first. Oh, uh, I think Martha's super good. Fox bodies him. I suck <laughs> in this matchup, like I, I really need to step my game up. But I think Fox... What do you look for? I don't know. I don't look for anything, dude. Just try to fight more. <laughs> okay. That's probably my biggest right. issue. Well, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll tell you how this matchup goes. <laughs> I just try to, I just try to fight more, and it doesn't work. <laughs> I'll tell you how to. I, I jump around and get tippered. <laughs> all right, I tell, I'll tell you what, what, what's going on. So this matchup, I say, out of all the top tiers, is definitely the most even matchup out of all the top tiers. Um, if you imagine, you know, like in fighting games or in melee in general, uh, there's a lot of situations where it's 50-50s or like RP, RPS uh, wait, 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 situations. So like, with like ledge options, combo options, and neutral options, it's like rock, paper, scissors, and like every little interaction. And I think the matchup is super, super even to the point because the punish game is so optimized, the edge guarding game. I think it's really about like knowing the other player and realizing their habits because if you can... What? What's he doing? I don't Every stock is a battle. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if you um if you're good at predicting your opponent, you can be good at um Fox Marth or Marth Fox. Uh there's very like obvious counters to things like uh, an aerial Marth loses to run up shine, run up shine loses to dash dance grab and pivot aerials. There's just there's so many like interchangeable things that you can do. Oh my god, that was about yeah, to that was almost good. 
Nice I mean, it was good regardless, but like, it was almost It was so almost finished. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that was a weird second hit almost. But, if I were to talk about this matchup, this is literally the only stage where it's not even. This ma this stage is so, in not so in Fox's favor, but like, it's stupid. I agree. Up throw, up throw, up air will like, kill at 30. Because you get one up air on a side platform, <laughs> and then you up air on the top, and he's dead at like 70. This set is so dumb. I, I I feel like we should have talked about it a little more. There's so much dumb stuff happening. I hope I hope everybody got inside. Oh, I hope Glitter loses right here. He's SD'd like every stock. I hope Sire just like pulls out the most most it's dope. Jake. Dude, he's about to pull that out almost the, happened, dude. the most dope reversal of all time, dude. <laughs> he got the back end, dude. I <laughs> oh, want him to win throw, so bro. bad. Dude. Oh, why'd you tug there? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, lo I love our, our clear bias. I know I've talked about this before, but I think commentators should have bias. I agree. I think if they... Because we're always going to have bias. If you pretend you don't have bias... Then... That is not even my, my Twitter handle. <laughs> this guy's the worst streamer. No, it's Stango underscore NWO. I bet you don't even like wrestling like that. No, I don't. Oh, do you? Yeah. That's why I wanted to be Stone Cold and you be The Rock. I am The Rock. But you know what? I think um, I think I'm more The Rock now, you to be honest. Nah, no, dude. I'm I definitely good. have been way more confident recently. I think Stone Cold is my favorite wrestler anyway, so. Same, dude. Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels died. For Ooh, us. yo! Yo, we have the <laughs> same wrestlers? Oh, dude, let's go. <laughs> so we got Pinophobia on the stream. He's playing Yoshi. He's a... Uh, He's dirty Yoshi player. He, yeah, I hate Yoshi. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna label this right now. I think Yoshi is the only character that doesn't belong in this beautiful game. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he I hope he well, watches this know, commentary later and dude, hears all of this. Dude, I I don't think Yoshi is the problem. I think just Pinophobia is the problem because he's playing Yoshi. Like no one would no one would care about Yoshi if he didn't play him. Dude, I knew this from the very beginning, dude. Like I I was playing in like. 09 or something like 010 and someone was explaining to me all the stuff Yoshi could do and I was like he's just the second best character in the game from what you're telling me <laughs> he, just, he, he can power shield grabs I hope I hope Pinophobia hears all of our um, Yoshi hate I hope he knows that we really hate Yoshi so do I have to play okay all right. on I'm stream oh all right, I'll be back. All right, well, uh, uh, David, me and R2? David the Wiener Boy is coming on on the mic. Second place boys on the mic. Ooh, <laughs> second place boys. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got my old second place medal on me. Let's go. All right, what's up? So, are we getting medals? Huh? I don't know. I didn't see them, so I don't think so. Dude, I, that's what I came here for. <laughs> I literally came here for the medals. Yeah, the medals I would have gotten a nebulous cool. otherwise. There was another tournament I could have sniped that had like a $600 pop bonus, and the only player that went was, was Smuckers. Oh, and OTG. He told me OTG's there. And I was I was like, dude, I can super snipe this tournament. It's going to be awesome. But I was like, now what's going to really, really hold me over? $600 or this medal that I can wear everywhere? Oh my God. And I, I made the hard decision. I mean, you still have your other medals, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I have like two medals. I have like, a, yeah, I have a bunch of medals from this thing, this, this event. I think this one... Oh, this one's for singles. Oh, it is? Yeah. Uh, this is I'm, the one I lost to the moon at. I remember, I, you, body, uh, I remember that one you teamed with TRK at. Yeah. That was, a, that was a different one. Who's playing who? Oh, it's Dango. Yeah, it's Dango and... Stango and uh, Fox. Don't be fooled by uh, whatever whatever Evan puts up there. Don't don't be don't be tricked. His tag is Stango now. <laughs> Let's see. It was oh real. Oh my god. I think it's real. It looks real. Yeah, it's yeah, real. It looks real. So uh, I don't know who Mies is, but I mean he's not doing too bad except for that mess up there. There. Definitely looking better for Smart than me. <laughs> As soon as Stan gets his hands on you, you're kind of in a world of hurt. Yeah, this is the edge guard. Uh, I have a set to play. I don't know if I should leave the stream. Should I, should I leave the stream or like wait wait for a full set? What do you think, Evan? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try and bang out this whole set. Yeah, this is gonna be quick. This is gonna yeah, be pretty quick. It's Fox Marth. The last one was really quick too. Oh my god, that dash. That's oh, just good. Calls him out with Tell him I'm commentating. Okay, good dash dance grab. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's 
you've been doing that in there every single time, though. That's starting, Sango's starting to pick up on that. He got hit by it once or twice. So he's gonna do another one, yeah. I'm surprised he F3 there. Didn't that go for the tech trap. Yeah, maybe. Oh, he's. Oh, I, I, I thought he was dead too, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, this is it. That there he did there was pretty good. He got he got launcher or Sango off stage because uh, he didn't have any dash chance, but he didn't he didn't follow up on it and he just got basically good. Yeah. That was a quick twenty five percent. It was pretty weird though. Up tilt. Yeah, follow up. No. Oh my god, don't do it. Oh man. I'm real surprised he went for the down air. I thought he'd go for the European kind of no, combo. No way. This is Sango, dude. He's gonna style as hard as possible. He saw a downer, he's like, I see down air, here's down air. He must be feeling pretty calm if he's playing blue Marth. Huh? He's, do you know his like his his Marth colors? He plays different Marth colors depending uh, yeah, yeah, on how he's he like, feels. Yeah, I'm black is angry. Default is whatever. Calm. I don't even know. The PP color is calm. Black is angry. I, I thought that get up attack would work. Yeah, I thought it would. Surprised he didn't go for down tilt. I feel like down tilt was like just the right option in general. He was a little bit too. Oh my god. He was a little bit too far from the edge to hit the down tilt. I think. Especially when if he went straight up. I think he well he wave dash back. Oh yeah he did. He just went too far. React? No he missed. Oh, he, he got it but uh, he like shield. He was too far away. Oh, that double up air was sick. He's not the eyeing these at all. Yeah he's not. Yeah he does. Sango's gonna eat this up. If he he needs to start deying if he's like. Got smashed at every hit. Oh my god that was sick. That border barely. That's a that's a giffy cat. Yeah that's like that's that's like my kind of edge guard. That's not shit I go for every time. Except nowadays Sango knows how to do it. Makes it a lot worse. Oh, no, I did get disrupted. Falls up. Nice. Okay. Nice I'm surprised the magnet work came out there. Yeah, it was super far. He gets the jump, but he doesn't get the back air. And now he's probably dead. Ooh, called him out on it. Ow. Everything worked against him there. Yeah. I guess he could have shortened, but even then, Sango might have reacted to it. That was a good jump onto the platform tech chase read. Until? Oh no, the platform chase. Or the windmill. Until, uh, grab. Oh my god. Sango's a bully. <laughs> Literally just bullying this poor fox. Oh my god, he's gonna go for another. <laughs> Tears. Don't do it. Don't do it to him. Alright, it's gonna be it. Oh no, oh, don't no, try to recover, don't try to recover. Yeah, run away. Oh, he missed! Alright, All right, we take those, we take those. Alright, I got a set to play. Alright, good luck. He didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that, dude. He didn't deserve that at all. Oh, we got him. Kitty community Galen! Kitty community Galen! Just explain to me <laughs> and explain to the people why you call him Gated Community Galen again. Alright, so pretty much what happens is so all 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 of us we, we frequent each other's areas, mostly you. Galen's in my area. Uh, there's this player Nimbus. He likes to yeah, custom, yeah. mess around and say that Galen is like 100% not black at all. Like he doesn't fit the stereo stereotypical like <laughs> black <laughs> black man. So like he <laughs> he says that like Galen's like pretty pretty he pretty much just messes with him like that, right? right I got it. And you know, I <laughs> I feed into it and I say that Galen, you know, he he grew up with with uh, both of his parents. They're they're both very well off. They live wow. in a gated community. <laughs> that's, that's awful. Dude. It is awful, but you know. What can, what can you do? That's all super funny. But uh, I don't know. This is this is round two, right? This is pretty early. Yeah, this is th th this actually. I did not expect them to play. Yeah. I don't know what they were seated because uh, not this, very this, high. The seating was say. a little bit a little bit off. I think there was a lot of. What was the seating till top sixteen? It was like top like I mean they kept seating until like everyone they knew was seated. Yeah. But the thing is like there were some really, really weird decisions. Like, like what? Tim was like eleven, and then Weedle was like ten. Yeah, that is weird, actually. And then, like, Smokey was over Tim, and then they put uh, Johnny and Austin over them or something like that. I don't remember. That is actually really weird. And then Glitter, even though he's been inactive for a long time, he got a pretty high seed. He got six. I guess because he's from this region. Yeah. Re regional so, some, seeding bias. Some questionable decision, but it's, overall it's not bad. But these guys, these guys are both, these guys are pretty close to skill level, I'd say. So this is you know, sometimes, I think, I, I, I kind of thought about this more and more. Sometimes I think people rock, rock my dot tag. 
but sometimes I also think that they just accidentally rock it, like no. they don't turn it off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just don't turn it off. Yeah, that, that, that definitely that's... rocks a couple tags that definitely didn't mean to rock. Because <laughs> I don't wear tags, but uh... I, I don't know who's, who who could win this. I would say... I would, I'd I would, say Galen, because this matchup sucks for Yeah, it's, it super sucks for Luigi. Dude, Peach is actually like one of the few characters that can like solidly edge guard is. Luigi like every time. Yeah, no, I agree. And you know, Luigi's like really good grounded, and like Peach just completely destroys grounded approaches with float, float cancel aerials. catching some of the downer though. This is the this is edge guard. What does Peach? What does Luigi do to edge guard Peach? Uh, you do a bunch of fancy wave lands and get into a misfire and combos. True combo. Yeah, true combo. Oh, like, man. like that right there, I, I, I expect uh, Spood Beast to lose like a handful of stocks, like trying to ledge dash on stage, and yeah. one BM just float cancel fares and kills him. Luigi has an okay ledge dash, but definitely not the best. I think he tried to catch the turn up there, but still. I see, Ooh. I see his game plan here. He's playing very platform based, and I don't know if that is the best way to go. I mean, what's his other choices though? He can't really stay grounded. Yeah, yeah that's just, true. So strong wall. Just throw out a bunch of full cancel back. It looks like to me it's not the best choice, but that could literally be like Luigi's, like, you know. Also, damn, Luigi has his, super his good item throw. Oh, yeah, his item throws, all the Mario Bros, they have really good item throws. You know, Fox has this little cool thing where you dash throw and he slides like half Yeah, it's, it's actually really broken. <laughs> Fox is stupid, dude. I wish I had a good item throw. I have yeah. to drop it. <laughs> you know how hard it is can, to, can, to grab you can, drop? You can hop from ledge, throw it, and still re grab ledge. That's pretty good. No, it leaves me so open. I'd rather just double drop it like Waveland. So while we were talking, Scooby, he's, he's kind of brought back his percent lead. I think he's really looking for Outsmash here, yeah. Wow, he's... okay. So I think his plan is like to bait uh, 1BM to try to shark him off the platforms yeah. and get under him with like up smashes, down tilts. And uh, grab mix ups. Didn't kill, but you see, uh, nice. Ooh, nice. Luigi's actually really strong. Yeah. His, his aerials, aerials are, are sick. They're so fucking strong. Forward air, down air. Nair will definitely kill if he DIs improperly or if he can combo into it somehow. That was, that was a, oh, this nope. could. Oh. That could have been a gimp if he played that a he little better, I would say. <sighs> nice tech! I think what uh, 1BM needs to do here, I think he needs to... Yeah, more of that. Just dodge cancel the up B and full cancel there. Oh, do you see that air dodge? Yeah, that was actually super sick. It went right through the turnout. Alright, let's see. I mean, um, I can see 1BM uh, adapting a bit. When he was that was not a good air dodge. Smash, he, he, now he's floating around like platform height, a little bit lower than that, so he can't get up smash anymore. But the thing about that is, now he puts himself at a height that if he just wave lands around the platform, he can just get uh, random aerials. Yeah. Definitely not enough walling. He's being too aggressive. You don't really have to approach him. He needs to use more back air. Yeah. That's that's what I want to see. There you go. More retreating back air. That was like actually a good. Uh, I think it was a good OB. He just missed it. It was the right decision to go. Nice for. grab. Oh. <laughs> Evan, please. <laughs> He's falling asleep already, dude. There. You know this. You know this jabroni tried playing Mario Party with me, but he falls asleep every time. Really? We tried. <laughs> dude, it's like it's like eight o'clock and at night, and he uh -huh. goes to sleep, dude. He's like a senior citizen. <laughs> Look, that downer. I think one more downer will actually do it. Luigi's yeah. downer kills so early. It's like a. I think it's about as strong as possible. As uh, Falcon's knee? Yeah, but the angle is a little bit worse. So yeah, that's because you can you can go more in the corner yeah, with a uh, Luigi down there. Falcon down. like sends you strictly horizontally. Yep. I've never seen anyone die like off the top from the. Oh no, back here. Does he have a jump? Yeah, he does. Down B is actually really good for traveling across the stage. It goes so far. Oh my god! Yeah. Nice misfire. I wanted oh, to see a nair on his landing. Yeah, there. no. If he got the up air though, that would have been it. He might have even traded. It. Trade stocks. Now he needs to try to take the stock without taking too much yeah, he's damage. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for there. Oh, crouch cancel. cancel. I'm surprised he was able to get his crouch out fast enough there. Actually. Yeah, smash, that's solid. yeah I'm, I'm surprised too. I didn't think he would actually get it. He has to die down, but that would have killed. Yeah, he was still would have died. He was definitely oh crouching. God, stuff that, stuff that oh, real hard. Dude, Florida hurts like a truck. He's like, yeah! Slaps him right in the face. That was a bad one, unfortunately. Ooh. Good punish. Nice. He, um, I think he wanted both hits on the down B, but... Yeah. 
one BM I think is a little too high percentage for that. Ooh, nice, nice. Good platform tech chase. I want to see a dash attack there. He he needs to cover Luigi's landings. Luigi doesn't have great landing options. Yeah. So if he dash attack there, and Luigi's dash, I mean, uh, Peach's dash attack is actually a great answer I think, here. I think he's at kill percent right now if he gets an LP. Definitely. Yeah. Ooh, nice guard opportunity. Don't get hit with a misfire. Ooh. Got him out of here. That was so on accident. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's not on purpose. Oh, he might just go for the ledge dash up. He wants it, dude. He Whoa. wants it. I can tell he wants it. Forward throw? Yeah. The eyes up. Nice. I think I think a little more damage and he'll die off the Yeah, no, he'll die off the top and get the eyes straight up now. That one kill. No, I'm looking at 1BM's face right now and he looks hella nervous. Yeah, I'm sure they're both really nervous. One up smash will do it. Oh, oh it. bad F tilt. Luigi's F tilt has a significant amount of uh, cooldown on it. Yeah, that was a that was a pure guess. In neutral, I was just trying to get him off stage. It was the low forward. angle too. I don't. He probably just messed I, up. Yeah, I think that was a mess up because you don't want to do low angle L Luigi F tilt. Yeah, yeah, it actually has back. no hit stun at all. It's, it's so it's so. I don't know, you know. It has no hit stun, no knock. It doesn't Luigi do it, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it literally it does literally nothing. Does. I mean, you can like catch his face off guard. No, right? dude. <laughs> You can probably, like, if you get hit with Luigi's F tail, I, I, I'll bet like five bucks that you could air dodge back on stage. <laughs> I mean, you can, but like, you might not react to it. No, dude. Luigi blows. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Stadium. Um, I can agree with this. I feel like the up smashes that he got definitely would have killed if this was Stadium. So yeah. I like this choice. And also, it eliminates the. But he also has no top platform. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Because he was playing a very platform game, but now he just got rid of like one of the major components of it. Yeah. So maybe he's gonna make some kind of adjustment. Yeah. In accordance. I think he should have just gone back. I think it was he was he had to lead the beginning, and he had most of the lead throughout the game. Yeah, it's kind of like a judgment call at that point. Do you really feel that you know it was close, but do you feel that you know? Yeah, I mean... That you could probably do it on an easier stage, because you know it's your counter pick. Yeah. I mean, it's all up to the person. Like, yeah, going person going, preference. going back to the same stage is, like, super, like, feeling. I don't think I don't think there's, like, um... Especially Battlefield. Going back to Battlefield is, like, super on feeling. Uh, I like what we have doing here. Turnips, really stuff with Luigi's approaches. Can't wait to dash through them. Peach is actually super good against, like, most of the worser characters with nice. Turnips. It's actually ridiculous. Unless he gets a misfire, oh, I was going to say, unless he gets a misfire, he's going to be dead. I want to see a tech chase there. I don't want to yeah. see him jump on the platform. He needs I mean, to. I think he's basically oh, well nice. here. I think he knows that uh, one BM is not going to approach that situation. What do you think here? Do you think he should wait? I mean, if he waits, to he's going to get stitched eventually. I think, but he can't really fight because Luigi sucks. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's like nothing he can do in this there's position. There's really nothing he can do. Just wait. Maybe punish a bad turn pull if he does too close. Like that one. That was a bad roll. Should have gotten punished. Oh. I think uh, 1BM is not respecting uh, Luigi's double aerial. It's definitely yeah. safe on shield. What you can do is you can wave dash out of shield in between the hits, uh, depending on what kind of aerial it is. But for that one, like, there was no way. You should have just kept loading the shield and buffered the roll afterwards. Oh, he caught it! <laughs> and got nothing off of it. I don't know about you, but looks Luigi cool. looks so Italian when he, throws, when he throws an item. He's just like, really like brutal with it. Oh, uh, no uh, he could... Oh, that was Whoa. sick. He's dead, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Luigi really blows, good, dude. That was a good. That was a good cover. You got it. Um. Oh, you got a stitch. Oh, Maybe this is bad. It's really bad. Dude, it's always the worst when Peach just killed you and she pulls a stitch. Yeah. Because the goal of like when you you're playing swung. against Peach, you want to try to take her that stock without taking so much damage, but he just took fifty yeah, percent. Could have been such a huge swing. He could be up like fifty percent right now if he took that stock over there. Oh, nice. Wow. Down, back air, down smash. Yeah, he no, crotch he, canceled yeah, he it did. too. He, but he tried to down smash afterward, and that was too slow. Yeah. Really? Isn't down smash like five? No, but that down smash starts behind you. Yes, that is, that's true. That's actually a really important fact to it. Oh, oh. Shield. That you know what he think? I think he did there. I think he didn't actually do like a tr uh, traditional uh, wave dash. I think he literally like went all the way like forward, like to the right. Maybe. He didn't like angle at all. He went so far. Do you think he could like wave land off? There He's got turn? a stitch. Oh my god, another one. Yeah. Oh boy. Dude, uh, I think the peaches are. Weedle pulled like three stitches against me. Brook pulled three. Dude, I mean, ugh, I play the peaches so much. I swear they get more turnip pulls against me than any other person I play against. It's because you're a wiener, dude. You just run away and laser. So, like so they're like running. They're running away and pulling turnips. 
air kill here? Uh, I don't know. No, it won't. Not unless he's Probably like, like way up in the air. 24, 20 more percent. Yeah. yeah. Their space I like how they're playing right now. They're yeah. like being very Ooh, patient. Back. That could have been dash guard. Oh, he's is he dead? No, he's not. He might be though if he gets if he gets hit. Oh, oh, he got him. He guessed. That, yeah. All right. That so like guess, that yeah. situation, it's <laughs> oh the taunt. Yeah, that situation is really hard. You, as Luigi, as someone who can't cover all the options, really, you just have to guess. And yeah. Just got it there. That should be. No. If fire? he gets a misfire, he needs. He has a jump. He does have a jump. Oh, he does. Okay, I thought he didn't have it. Oh, he smashed the eye so far up. That he so didn't hit. the thing, of, the thing, the smash the eye was good, but I didn't like the direction he went. He definitely you either. smash the eye down always. Down, even as a floaty. Yeah. If you smash the eye up because you're a floaty, you actually get hit by it way more. Really? Yes. And you can link down air and air if they if they're like inside of you. So you should go down so you can sweet spot again. Okay. Oh man, this is tight. Ooh. Ooh. That's... Yeah, he's, he can't approach. He's doing a good job of walling out. Back here? No. Hmm. His transformation's pretty I good. I wonder what he's gonna do here. So this is a tough spot. He can still crouch cancel something and like still tack on a lot of damage. He needs to he needs to literally right, like play the stock perfectly. Up will kill here. Oh, that could have actually will not kill here, I don't think. Really? 60%? I think no, around 70, almost 80. No, it kills Fox around 70 to 80. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It kills super fucking early. I'm, I'm crazy, though. Oh, that could be it. Bad DI. Yeah, wow. Brett wipes, wipes his brow. He's definitely feeling the heat. So where do you think Gamlin's gonna go? FOD? Dreamland or FOD? Probably... Dude, Dreamland? Yeah, Dreamland. Oh, I don't know about Dreamland. Even Edgeward Luigi, though. Like, it's not like he's gonna make it back. You just float out there and hit him. Just let yourself, or you let yourself get hit by the side B and he's dead. But if it's a misfire? If it's a misfire, you might live because you're like... I don't know about that. Misfire is pretty strong, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely like hit a, like tried to swipe a Luigi on the left side off stage and died to the right. I was at like 100. Alright, Fountain. I like this choice. I think I, I think Fountain was the was the choice we were looking for here. I do think the platforms will give Luigi more mobility though. So Speed Beast will be looking to make a lot of use of that top platform. We're still in Dreamland. Like, it's a little bit too big, because you really can't... I want to see 1BF do a little more, you know, extend his combos a little more instead of just opting for uh, Nair down smash. He could have, like, probably did, like, two flow cancel Nairs into each other. Yeah. Good down smash on the platform, this could is... shield the eye by Spood Beast. He missed the punish, though. He wanted way dash out shield, just like that one. He keeps on getting the, the roll instead. Just messing up his inputs a bit. Good grab. What do you think about down throw? Down Peach throw? probably has down throw dash attack, right? Uh, I don't know about that. I think with good DI you can get away from it. I just know against Marth you can down throw dash attack. Against Marth probably, but I don't know about Luigi. Yeah, weird weight and also um, frame 3 Nair. 1BM is getting his shield- oh man, he died. 1BM is getting his shield up after he down smashes and he's wave dashing his shield to punish it, but he's not spot dodging or buffering anything. Oh! That might do it though. Misfire? Oh, nice turn up. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to make it for a I, I thought that was a jump for a second. I didn't know he said yeah when he air dodged. Yeah, he does. I mean, listen to him move around. Oh. That's at 12%. That would be strong. Good attack. Oh, his shield's super low. Good spacing. Good double bears. Wow, he is like walling him out here. Double that was grab. crispy wave. Ledge dash. Yeah, but he doesn't get anything off of it except for getting back to stage, which is good, I guess. But he needs a lot more if he wants to win this match. Galen starting to pull turn up some more. That's, yeah, that's making it difficult idea. for Spood Beast to get in. He's not edge guarding enough. Like, he could just float out there and throw out a back here. Oh, smash? Oh, it barely missed. Yeah, he's but dead. He's actually jumping out of shield there and he's. Down and stuck. Yeah, Spirit Beast is doing a good job of reading um, 1BM's jumps out of shield and then he's like covering it with forward air. <sighs> this is putting you to sleep too. I'm starting to yawn like crazy. Yeah, this is not ex Oh wow, dot eyes. Not a boring match per se, but it's definitely. It's not, it's, it's not, not in, exciting. Not a, yeah, it's not really exciting. Oh, he messed up. Oh, what, is, what was that? Down air? 
He sl probably slipped. Maybe. I don't know. That was a good opportunity though. Oh. He still gets percent off it. Doesn't punish. There's like there's like 20 people watching this match. Everyone, <laughs> everyone's just secret Luigi fans. <laughs> Look at Slum and Chug. They're like they're loving this so much. Look at them. Dude. I see him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Lum BM has brought it back. This was actually, he was a full stock down, I think. I want to see down throw to see at least if he gets something. Maybe he already knows, but... Yeah, like, I don't think it works, I just, actually. If I was a Peach player right now, I'd be like, I want a down throw. Yeah, but forward throw gets you better, better stage position. It also does more damage, I think. I definitely agree with forward throws. Nice. Ooh. Oh, just there. He needs to edge guard harder. He's just not he's not putting himself out there. Just use back air. I'm pretty sure back air will just completely stuff misfire. Yeah, that's no, really absolutely. what he's afraid it, of. It would. It stays back, out for so long. Yeah, and it so stays out for so long and it's like Like he just he just stay on stage and pull turnips. He's not gonna like up B into a turnip by accident or something like that. And besides, up B will eat the turnip. Because we saw him yeah. he saw him actually up B a turnip earlier. It does. If it goes like this, he's just gonna die from another dash tag. Oh, man. He's giving him too much stage. He is. He should be more proactive. He's not going out there at all. So like with Peach players, I I, I like to see Peach players who um, don't really pull turnips to sacrifice it. stage yeah. positioning. It's the same concept that like some Fox players have where they'll sacrifice like the whole stage just for like eight damage from lasers. And it just put yourself in the corner. Yeah, but that's like, Fox. He can just you like should that. you should attack and then start your start your projectile. You shouldn't yeah, I agree. give them the whole stage and then just start using projectile. The projectiles make people come to you. Why would you want them to come to you when your back's like two inches away from falling off the stage? Oh, oh, oh that could be oh that could have been bigger. Nice tech. nice tech. No, it might kill him. Yeah, it does kill him. Dang. Uh, that was unfortunate actually. He should have known that he was gonna be too far off right. stage. Good luck. Play match. I'm probably I have to probably play my match too, so What is up guys? Snacks back on the mic. We are going to have Preston Nimbus, I don't remember his last name, versus Vetla Weedle, I can't pronounce his last name. Uh, we're going to see Falco Peach. Super awesome matchup. And um, joining me is our own A-Carps. Uh... Actually, he's going to go play a match. But that's okay, I can fly solo for a little bit, no problem at all. Uh, so this matchup, it's hard for Falco, but it's not bad for Falco. You'll hear a lot of lower level players complain about Peach, uh, a lot of lower level Falco mains. But it's really not as bad as they think it is. You just have to play nice and patient, look for your openings, because Peach can't really force anything. Okay, so we're getting an upgrade. Instead of Adam, we're going to have uh, Stango back on the microphone. What's up? Yep, I got a match on here next, so might as well commentate this. My boy Nimbus versus Weedle. Um, I think these two have a small set history. Uh, Weedle's favor, I'm gonna say off the top of my head, they probably played around two sets. Probably. I'm surprised they start Ooh. FD, okay. Yeah, a lot of um, Falcons are starting to ban Fountain and Dreamland. And then just saying, I'm not gonna get grabbed. I mean, Falco definitely has the tools. I mean, laser shuts down Peach's. Peach is pretty slow, and her her avoidance of lasers is like very low because of how slow she is. Yep. And she doesn't really have like the most solid power shield like options. Like she can't like power shield grab because her grab is like so small. She can't like power shield and wave dash out of shield because her wave dash is so small. Her traction is just like not allowing her to really chase down Falco. So I don't know. I. I I, I mean, can see it. You'll see Peaches who try to... He's got a stitch! Yeah. You'll see Peaches who try to float like above the laser height, but then if Falco does full hop lasers, they can cover those. Dude, the Peaches have been getting stitches like crazy today. Yeah. Weedle got three on me. Billy, Billy got one. Yes, he got three in one match. He got three on me. Billy got one. Um, Brooke got three. I think it's Peach's Day today. What's is there? Is there something special? Is it's it April, like April thirtieth? Is it know. like annual, annual like Peach Day? Like the fruit? <laughs> Probably the Fe Peach Festival down in Georgia. Right? Ooh, that was actually super sick inversion by Weedle. I guess like that's gonna be the stock. 
Yeah, that's the issue. You can't hold in when you're getting down, down, down smashed by Peach because eventually we'll poke. Yep. Oh no. We uh, we take those. Apparently we do. Maybe we don't. We, we try don't. though. We don't. <laughs> we, we definitely try. <laughs> B plus. <laughs> Well, C minus actually. Yeah, he took damage too. Now, if I was if I was grading that edge guard, it'd be, definitely be like a C minus. Yeah, you can get out of college with that, but you're not gonna be a doctor. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you barely passed. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Down smash. Yep. And that. Oh, he doesn't get the nair out in time. That that was actually about to be really sick. What? Dude, I felt like the stream messed with that combo. Cause yeah, the we, we, our 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 view of the match definitely froze as soon as that phantom happened. So I don't know. It was really strange. I think uh, I think Evans, you know, has a little bias for Falco. He's definitely helping out his brother. PB and cheat codes. <laughs> oh, he didn't get the super super soft one. That yeah, leads to smash. I think he has to uh, start the dash attack earlier in order to get that. Yep. Um, Nimbus not getting the proper double jump and actually missing that back conversion, because that was free. Yeah. That was definitely free. I mean, he didn't take any damage, so at least there's that. He's about to take some damage, because this is a 0% Weedle on FD. Yeah. Really hard to deal with. I'm surprised he's not getting nared out of shield on these down airs. That wasn't the greatest. They're pretty actually. high. Yeah. Yep. Pretty high, not fading away from him. So what do you think is going to happen? What stage? I'm thinking, uh... Battlefield? I like Battlefield. Fox. Oh, Fox. Fox Stadium? Stadium? I actually like Falco Stadium, too. Yep. Yep. Probably Band Yoshi's, I guess. Alright. So we obviously see he's out there to use the gun this match. Yeah, he looks like one of those foxes that runs all the way to the other side of the stage to do it, though. Yeah, uh, that, bad news sometimes. I was definitely talking about this earlier in uh, Spood Beast and 1BM's match. It is not, like, projectiles are good, but, like, it's not... The point of them is to rack on damage and also force your opponent to come to you. And if you're using a projectile in the corner, they're, I'm pretty sure everyone is cool with approaching a fox who has, like, you know, a rectangle worth of space. Yeah. <laughs> because he, he's fast, but... You can definitely just throw out an attack in his effective, like, running distance and just, you know, somehow poke him out. A lot of people don't even know why the corner is all that bad, and there's a whole list of reasons. Maybe one of the biggest ones is that the risk-reward ratio gets, like, really lopsided there. I think the best way to use projectiles in this matchup for both characters is get a hit and then use the projectile. Make them, yep. make them take the long journey back to center stage. Oh, nice shine. Nimbus is playing a little sloppy, but he's making it work. He's m missing a lot of um, a lot of L cancels and not properly spacing his aerials, so he doesn't get uh, crotch cancel down smashed. No, I, I haven't seen him play Fox very much. Is this a, like a thing? Um, he has a Fox. He primarily plays Falco, Sorry, but he's thinking of uh, incorporating his Fox in matchups where he feels that Fox, you know, just has an easier time. And this, is, this is definitely a very evident case. Like, Falco Peach is very hard for Falco, yeah. I would say. Not impossible, but very hard. Fox has a little, his punish game on her is a little more flow chart. And his speed just overwhelms her. So you can really incorporate all those kind of things to pull out some good wins. I mean, he's got a lead right now. You know, the first game, he didn't he didn't have a lead at all, so... I forgot he lost his jump. Yep. <laughs> and there's the lasers all the way from the other side. Now he has to fight out of the corner. I want to see him straight up beat Weedle in neutral and then laser. Yep. That's what I want to see out of the out of the projectile camping. Out of the laser camping. Nice. Yeah, good idea with the grab. And now he should retreat? And laser? Yeah, I would have shot a couple lasers from center, and then you have like a little neutral situation in your favor on the right side of the stage. Exactly. Yep. Oh, fair. Nice so meaty. Up. Nice side B. That was actually really good. I think Weedle was not anticipating for him to like go for such a low, low side B. Oh, he uh, tried it. Yeah. The thing about Peach's down smash um, for Fox and Falco, if you get hit with three hits, it's not possible to punish wave, wave dash or shield anything. So if you if you don't de if you don't shield the eye out of uh, the the first three hits, don't even bother trying to punish it because you're just gonna eat another down smash. Which is bad. 
Very bad. <laughs> because now you're holding in and down. Yeah. You're trying to you're gonna eat the whole thing. You're already at like 60, 80 damage. Oh, I love that trick. Preston's face when he saw that, he was literally amazed. <laughs> it's, it's like the kid who got like exactly what he wanted for Christmas. <laughs> Olympus had the lead at the beginning, but uh, Weedle's not having any of it anymore. It's weird that Weedle is having more dominance on the transformation than Fox. It's actually very, very incorrect, I would say. Ooh, yeah. This is an opportunity, actually. If he plays this right, oh, I want to see a Nair here. Oh, I tried the wave shine. Unfortunate. All right, I gotta play versus Bean. Versus Bean. All right, so we're probably gonna have a Marth Ditto, yeah. yeah. A Marth Ditto um, on stage next. Mr. Bean, ranked Delaware player, the Green Bean Marth. Um, one of the beloved TOs of Smash Haven. Uh, I'm gonna be back in just one second. What up, guys? I don't know what we're talking about or who's playing, so... Could really use uh, a second commentator here. But uh, I can I can hold it down, actually. What's up, man? What's right. your name? Uh, Nimbus. What's yours? Nimbus? I'm Adam. Uh, nice to meet you. Dude. That's what I entered as, Adam. Oh, simple. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got Marf Dittos here. Oh. Exciting stuff. Well, we got Mr. Bean. Uh, he's, is that is that launch air? Yeah, that's launch air. Launch air yeah. on the combo. Yeah, so obviously launch air favored in this matchup. Yeah, Just I don't know what he's seated. He's probably like ninth or tenth. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. Around there. Yeah, probably. So um, definitely a high seed. One of the better players uh, from the Philly area. Uh, Mr. Bean is uh, Delaware's own. Uh, Marth main. Pretty solid. Yeah, and then there's uh, Tim, right? Ultimate scout. Yeah, Tim is probably the the better Marth. Uh, there's also uh, Milf, Wumpus, um, a bunch of Marths in Delaware. Um, Mr. Being being one of the older players, uh, or the old guard of the Delaware region. Um, it's gonna be a rough matchup for Mr. Bean though. It's funny though, because I, I talked to Longchair like not too long ago and he said uh, he lost, lost the ultimate scout in this and then he was super salty, so I don't know. For a while he was going Fox in the matchup, but I think he's got this honestly. Launcher? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can tell, uh his dash is really good. Yeah. Got that pickup off in there. Yeah, really solid play. Um, Keeping the inside like that. Yeah, this match is just like a lot of dash dancing. Um, okay. Yeah, it's not the most interesting matchup to watch. <laughs> really solid forward smash um, to cover the non sweet spot up B. Yeah, you have to sweet spot there. Yeah, otherwise you're really screwed. Um, yeah. That's just a poor up B by Mr. Bean. I think, I don't even know if he would have caught it. Um, he was pretty far out. Um, oh, no, no, no. He would have got it. It's just that so? slow get up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, grab on the counter. Do you think he knew he was going to counter there? Otherwise, that's some, that's some amazing mind games. He's a genius if he knew, dude. <laughs> that's, that's amazing reaction timing. Um, so, what I think is happening right now is that he's getting kind of overwhelmed. He's just not getting a chance. Yeah. I think Launch Air definitely could have covered that and ended the game. Yeah, because he crouched it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely his his spacing is really on point. His dash dancing yeah, is, is good. Yeah. Alright. Where do you think Bean goes here? Maybe he's like, you know what, I want to hit you with some tippers. Maybe he'll go to Yoshi's. Yeah. Know. It's it's probably a little more janky for that. Obviously he doesn't want to go somewhere like FD where spacing is gonna be a big deal. He wants the platforms. He wants to be able to hit those up tilts on the platforms really easily, like where he can um, just get in a crowded area or maybe he'll just go Pichu, okay. That was a little bit of a disrespect, FD. I don't know if I agree with this pick. Um, I think that Launch Air has shown that he has better spacing and better dash dancing where FD is going to... Yeah, he's not going to have any platforms. Yeah. He's just going to throw them up. Even in general, um, for most matchups, I would say, uh, FD is a polarizing stage. So whoever is the better player, even if they're a little bit better, the better it's going to show more on FD. Where, um, yeah, it's all neutral, so it's like punishment game. So yeah. I mean, whoever's punishment is better. Right. Once you get an opening, it's a lot easier to, to finish your combo. So. Okay, first stop. Okay, Mr. Bean, Bean, yeah. Maybe 
you know, something we Those. don't. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Marthodos are, are pretty janky. That was a safe action. Like a yeah. Show Ooh, wow. Just walked up. Mr. Bean having a good time. All smiles. Like, like, I would be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd be a little salty about that. <laughs> Just a little. That walk up forward smash. Oh, that was... That was a disrespectful grab, just walking up right through anything that he was putting out. And He's just, like, I don't care what yeah, you have to offer. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing you do matters. Okay. Really nice grab. He wanted that free punish. He was like, yeah. oh, I'm just going to front. Oh, he's you think he's got this? <laughs> just misses the downer there yeah, for, the, for the kill. So that was what most uh, marks do there is when the... Is when the Mars like caught in their uh, side B like that, they'll just like jump off ledge and back air. Right, right, right. But I guess he thought he could just get the ledge before it. Yeah, it it was a nice air dodge. Yeah. Well spaced. Miss space forward smash. Okay. Okay. So then back on stage. All right, now they're just kind of like throwing it out right now. That was a really nice edge. Yeah. He could have got a grab there. I like what Mr. Bean is doing at this point. He's surviving a lot more than he was in game one. Yeah. He's definitely getting on stage in a smarter way, and it's showing in the in the stock count a lot. I mean, I think the punishment is like super clear, like on a stage like this. Yeah. So it's probably easier for him. And the down area. Uh, wow. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. This is looking rough for Mr. Bean. Might be a quick uh, quick twenty. You know, they usually they usually say say thirty for a three zero, but for a two zero. No one really ever says 20, yeah. so I don't know. Yeah, I guess they just say 2 <laughs> Yeah, there's no like cool way of saying that someone got 2 -0. Maybe it's just like, it's just so irrelevant because it's like, when it's 3-0, like, usually the matches are um, more relevant and more interesting, like they're higher level. Yeah. But when it's when it's like the beginning of the bracket, everyone, you know, uh, it's only a 2 out of 3, so uh, yeah, no one really cares. <laughs> you get, he tried to jump out of that. I, I thought Mr. Bean. Through, so. Yeah. All right. Well spaced shield breaker. Sure. Yeah. And it looks like we have um, Ultima Scout and Jared. Oh, um, this is Jared? Uh, um, I can't remember what his tag is. His name's Jared. He's a uh, used to be a Sheik player. Now he's a Fox converted. Okay. Um, Ultima Scout, obviously, one of the higher seeds here. Um, not as high as I thought he would be, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely. And, uh, uh, yeah, but he's uh, he's been getting a lot better recently. Yeah, I think he's been taking the game a little bit more seriously. He recently told me that he um, he hadn't had a setup for a long time, like years, at his own house. Yeah. So he would only play at tournaments, and he never practiced on his own. And uh, just recently, he got a, a setup for the first time, or for the first time in a long time. Jared is uh, a good friend of uh, Yuan. The okay, yeah, yeah. He Fox Fox Falco player. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, he's a uh, he's accustomed to getting fucked up all the time. Well, I can't I don't say know if that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's like SMH, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Snacks. Did you call me at all? Like for over there? No? Okay, cool. Okay. All right, so do, who does Jared play? Used to be a Sheik, now he's a Fox. Um, I, I'm not sure who will play uh, for this matchup. Um, he's he's probably I mean he's he's familiar with the Ultima Scout they've played before and how does it normally go? Uh, not well. Oh, okay, not well. Okay, okay. Um, I think um, Fox is probably his best choice here. Okay. Ultima Scout is kind of more of a universalist in terms of uh, the matchups. Like he's he's very smart about the way he plays. Yeah. He doesn't um, overwhelm you really. He I just, think he plays very uh, strange though. It is interesting. <laughs> I think yeah. his, I think his neutral is pretty solid. Um, yeah. And his like defense he, is, is on like point always. His options, I guess, just work for him. I don't know. But yeah. he does very like strange things. It's a very cerebral Marth, <laughs> rather than like a, a spacing focused. Um, and like if you try to run in, he'll front smash you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Other Marths might like try to pivot grab you there, but he'll take it. <laughs> yeah, he's a old guard player. Um, really solid DI, legendary DI. Yeah, his DI in the smash is ridiculous. Scene. Playing against him, you might feel like you're actually beating him in neutral. Um, I occasionally play him with Falco, and um, you'll get a nice combo on him, and you'll maybe back air him off stage, and um, he he goes nowhere. It's it's insane. So um, I think that's gonna be Jared's biggest challenge here. Jared's uh, you know, playing with Yuan all the time. He's got a lot of technical skill. Um, 
So uh, he's definitely there's really just, quick. There's just one thing you can do against Marth. I don't know uh, how technical foxes are nowadays, but I was practicing it. But what you do is um, you shine Marth, and then you wave dash out, and then you dash again, and you shine again. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's like a it, he can't like I'm pretty sure like he can't get out of it. Pretty sure. But I don't know if he can do that. And it's like kind of weird. It's like how um, cause you could do it against ice climbers. That's what Mango does. Right, right. All right. So first game. All right. Dreamland. Like good choice. Go to good choice. Yeah, Dreamland. All right. Definitely doesn't want to get smothered here. Ooh, our air dodge is right into that grass. Uh oh. See, most see now most Marths would have gone for the second up throw, right? Yeah, but, but he, he goes for the grind. goes for the the back throw to try and get him off stage. Yeah. It didn't work well, out that time, but he's gonna, gonna build him. like a profile of his DI and like his tech cho options. Well, he figured choices. he might miss the tech. It's yeah. like it's like one of right, those right. things you do that like they can just tech forward but if right. they miss it they get hit yeah it's sort of like the the noob test right like can yeah. i will you let me get this jank on you yeah, yeah. and if so like the rest of this game is not going to be pretty for you because i'm just going to do all sorts of stuff that i know that you're going to miss yeah. I, think, um, <laughs> I think he needs to just punish with grab you see like ultimate scout just front smash you know what i mean yeah he's definitely a little different than other people um, yeah so jared's gonna be looking to all right grab ledge come off stage Okay, nice to go shield. high there and air dodge onto the platform. That's that's something that's that's hard to cover, especially when, since he was down there. I don't know how I feel about the, the, uh, the forward throw. Yeah. I think he was just trying to like get him off stage so he could back air him. But I yeah. don't think it works at this percent. I think he's better off going for the up throw. Yeah, I think the, the up throw would have worked out. Maybe he's thinking it's Dreamland. Um, he's he going to have a tough time killing him. I don't think he's going to die from it. No, definitely not. I think that was supposed to be a shine bear. Oh god, too much tech skill, dude. Ooh, pineapple. Yeah, pineapple there. <laughs> Bart Simpson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, that was a risky oh wall jump though. Um I was a little scared think, for him for a second. I feel like he had to do that, but I'm not sure. Yeah, and Tim, right. Tim continuing to go for that back throw to forward smash. <coughs> and Jared's just not falling for it, and I think he needs to to just go for more up see, throws. See that? More of a standard. You see that? Yeah. He's gonna just let him get the ledge here, play it safe. Yeah, he'll just, no DI he'll just on that. walk up and front smash you. Yeah. Um, um, I've never heard anyone else say front smash. No, oh, like. it's forward smash. You're right. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I should not stop saying that. <laughs> you could say like uh, like husband and wife will say toward B, um, which is sort of like an older thing. I don't even. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say front smash though. Yeah. If you had a reasoning for it, I would have let you. Yeah, I'll stop going. saying it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So Tim. Not going for a follow up on that, yeah, he's that not, neutral. He didn't even bother edge guarding really. Bad. Yeah. Um, he's gonna try to Ooh, cut. Oh, probably could have gotten a forward smash off that on the top platform. But regardless, he's got him off stage. He's gonna go for that. Okay. Um, I think um what uh he needs to do um what's his name Fru. Yeah, Frubens. Frubens. Okay. Yeah, I think he just needs to like dash dance more. You know yeah, I mean? he's like he's like dashing in, trying to punish him, and getting hit with front smash. Yeah, like his spacing on his his bears on shield are a little too close. Yeah, so he's getting grabbed, and and Ultima Scout is not going to give you that. He's also he like, loves shield grabbing. I don't know if he's nervous, but he's like messing up little tiny things. Yeah, a little bit of his tech skills off. That might be because he just recently transitioned from Sheik to Fox. Oh, okay. Um, okay. and that's that's sort of a weird transition. Definitely. <laughs> um, it's a different mentality. Sheik, you know, the consistent slow. Um, I mean, you can play that way with Fox. I know yeah. what you mean, yeah. Um, he that actually would be a good strategy. Force, like, I think in this matchup, they're really good at forcing each other to whiff, and I think this Fox needs to really work on that right now. Yeah. yeah. He he definitely had that up smash if he wanted I don't it. think I've seen him do a single up throw up here. Yeah. I don't know if maybe... Um, ah, see, he's, he's not really getting that many grabs either. All right, so first game going to Ultimate Scout. Where do you think he's going to go? Um, I feel like he's not going to want to go to a big stage again. Yeah, I was thinking maybe um, he would go um, Yoshi's or Fountain. Yeah, Fountain but, maybe. Um, oh, back. Okay. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Sometimes you just got to change yeah, just the game, right? Yeah. I mean, you don't have to go to a terrible stage like Fountain of Dreams or anything, but <laughs> I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. go back. I actually think this matchup is like close to even on the stage. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, it's. I might have gotten Pokemon, but he's not up throwing, up throw up airing anyway. So yeah, he's, yeah, he's, with the low ceiling there, it wouldn't have helped him out. How do you feel about Pokemon in this matchup? 
Uh, I think it's like close to even, but um, I think Fox wins a little bit. But Mars are really good on Pokemon Stadium, especially nowadays. Before yeah, it's it used weird. to be super free, but yeah. I don't know. It gives... I guess the lack of a top platform makes it super easy for Mars. Yeah, yeah. He can do um, the tech chase on the platforms really easily. The transformations help Fox a lot. And another thing is like stages where I think um, Marth gets a lot of uh, horizontal momentum to work with is really good for him. Right. So like stages like Yoshi, I feel like aren't as good. The counter. Yeah. yeah. To the oh, what? To the forward smash. Oh man. He's just gonna. Ooh, I actually thought he killed himself. Yeah. There's a lot of lag on that down air. See, that's that was nice. That that up air there. So Ultima Scout's really good at just like letting their, letting his opponent like kind of like make mistakes, yeah, kill yourself, yeah. yeah, mess up themselves. Oh man, that grab! All right. Yep. Grab ledge. Yep. All right, Ultima Scout. Looking rough. Yes. Yeah, uh... <sighs> see, see what I mean? He just yeah, he's I good mean, at he's controlling you. Right there should be up air. Yeah. I'm telling you, Ultimate Scout's all neutral, so you have to, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he hasn't he hasn't done any, like, crazy, like, up air combos, but he's pun he's punishing him every time. Really questionable uh, grab sequence there. There's a questionable forward smash, too. Dude, yeah. But it seems <laughs> to be working out. Yeah, Furbin's not really getting any substance. It seems like he's winning the neutral a little bit, but when he does, he his choices there yeah. kind of uh, they don't really lead to anything. Like that dash attack, for example, that was you know like it just puts Marth up in the air and then you can't do anything. That was nice. Second hit. I mean, a 176 though, you know. He should he should be doing this the whole time. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Ooh! Wow. Oh, that, you want an up there? That That's Randy up smash. Uh oh. I like the idea of going for that um, okay. the run back grab there. Uh, by him? Yeah, by Furubins. Yeah. Uh, he just missed space a little bit. It would have been really nice. And I don't even think Slade. he needed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what he's listening to right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he unfortunate. Oh. Yeah. All right. Furubins a little salty well. about that. Getting caught up in the the court. Everyone is salty about that. Yeah. All that right. was uh, you know disappointing for him, but. Um, Ultimate Scout's going to take those. He's got a weird smile on his face. So. All right, so we got Snacks and... One of you have a match. I don't know who. Nimbus? Who is it? I think you have a match. Adam? I think Adam, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. All right. Please. You want to take this? Yeah. Wait, so we got Snacks and Glitter? Snacks and Glitter? Okay, Fox did something, like, not strange. <laughs> A second ago, I was like, oh, cool, a matchup I know. Oh, wait, it's Ultimate Scout. Something weird's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, so who do you think's gonna take this? Do you have any Um, idea? Glitter was surprised by how technical Snacks has gotten since the last time they played. It's been over, like, six months since they played. Yeah. So, like, I don't know, this could go pretty even or pretty one-sided. I would say Glitter, um, he said he only started playing again, like, two weeks ago, but he's still pretty on point. He messes some things up here and there, but he's good at picking up, so All let's right. see what happens. We start on Battlefield. I'm assuming Glitter's white, right? Glitter is the white fox, and Snacks, exclamation point, is the red fox. I can't tell if they're hand one. Okay, they're playing. They are playing. <laughs> <laughs> took one sec. All right. Um. So just like any other ditto, you have the same tools to fight your opponent. Fox ditto is definitely the most volatile ditto in the game. He's Two characters can kill each other at zero or like 150. With it's anything. With anything. Chain grabs. Moves. Shine spikes, back <laughs> airs, up smash. Alright. Um. Oh. He's gonna make it back from here. I definitely think uh, a trademark of like who who will be able to win is like who keep, keeps their ledge game as cleaner, like ledge dashes and you know, getting the edge guards, covering all the options. Ooh! Shine up smash, let's go. Alright, just get the back there, please. Right. Nice. <laughs> so what you saw Snacks do there, he dipped down below the ledge and started his back air and then rised up. So he was covering the lower angles and he also covered straight ahead. Oh yeah. And he could react to, you know, any he, any angle that goes higher above. Than that. Yep, above. Okay. Um I think uh Glitter's neutral. 
is uh, probably a little bit better. And yeah, I would Max's say so. Max's punishment seems to be a little bit, a little bit better. Um, They're just trying to feel each other out right now. Yeah. Up air? Okay. Okay. Glitter is looking pretty smooth right now. Yeah, he is. Moving out of his, moving out of his weight dashes very, very fast. Oh, Snacks is getting some long there. turnarounds. Oh, I like that little, um, he did the short hop bear and hit the shield and ran away so he couldn't get, like, shined out of shield punish. It's Kratom off the stage, but Snacks somehow finds center stage, trying to control it. Okay. Glitter's He's trying, trying to, to bait him into the corner with up tilts. Oh, I went too far. That's kind of the reaction where, like, you feel like it's a read, but, like, you're actually reacting to it. And then, yeah. like, when you find yourself at the final point where you just need to input everything just right, you just kind of let it all fall apart. Uh, Glitter not uh, shortening his side B there. He usually does it most most of the time. Maybe he's just trying to mix it up. Yeah. I don't know if they played earlier. Uh, okay. They're like having they're having a battle of like who who who's gonna get like hit from below. So like they're jumping over each other, like trying to do falling nares and bears. But like both of them are just avoiding each other's movements so well. Nice run and shine. I think the odds smash shine. Smash again. Yeah. Ooh. That was great uh, DI down to slide off of the platform off of that up smash. Ooh, down tilt. Yeah, I feel like Fox Lillas, even if you're really technical, you still have to play them somewhat tame. You know what I mean? It's yeah, it's very pacing, easy yeah. to overextend it against each other because yeah. they're both so fast. It's like, oh, I have Nair. Oh. Someone's got coffee and it smells super good. <laughs> <laughs> I see I see Smokey standing behind me. I had no clue he was there. What is iced coffee? <laughs> Sponsored by DD. <laughs> Duncan runs on America. America runs on Duncan. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Oh. All right. He got like stuck in a shine. Yeah, he did. All right, let's see him get this Watch edge guard. Uh, this is looking rough. All right, that will do it. Better right, convincingly see. takes it three stock. Um. So here's the pivotal point in the match. Either Snacks Goes has enough. No, he has enough data on Glitter where he can you know play from the start very even, or Glitter you know picks up on Snacks habits more and more and just completely bodies him. I think that's the only thing I that also can think happen like here. Snacks was like messing up a little bit, and then Glitter's just picking up the pieces, you know? After the set? Well, actually, yeah. I have to play after the set. Oh, you do? So where do you think he's going to go? I think Snacks... Is Snacks an FD Fox? For yeah, I hear he is an FD Fox, but I feel like Glitter totally is, too. Glitter's the way chain grab playing. is not that good, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I played him well, in the ditto up -throw up smash when we were... <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't really chain grab. Oh, really? Yoshi's. Okay. Alright, let's see what happens here. Up throw out smash. Don't leave yet. Do it after this match. Or set. Okay. Um, glitter in the lead. Wow. Okay. He's dead. Zero to no? Yeah, he dropped oh, messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll go up after this. Okay. Um, it's really interesting. Snacks really doesn't mess up this much, and he's... He, he, I don't know what it is. He's, he's just messing up a lot of his movement. Okay. We take those tri -state. Yeah, I mean, that's what he needs. Yeah. He, he needs to take advantage of that and start, start getting some meaty punishes. Nice. Good pressure. I want to see him grab there. I think he literally is just trying to run him over. <laughs> Glitter's just not letting it happen. Yeah, Glitter's defense is holding up pretty solidly against Snacks' aggression. Especially due to the fact that Snacks keeps missing follow-ups off of, like, tech chases. Ooh, the read! Glitter is really good at, like, doing those ambiguous shines. Just right above the ledge where you can't tell if he's gonna... If he's going for ledge or if he's landing on stage. So you kind of just have to cover both versus him. Yeah, really good shielding. Glitter really knows how to use the shield well. He's yeah, like shielding af after every action yeah. that he thinks he can be punished out of. So I want to see Snacks do more dash dance grabbing to counteract that. Oh. Yeah, everyone's 
Fox gonna go to ledge there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's hard. It's hard for Fox cover, to cover. Yeah. He has to. He has to literally be on Come ledge in. to be able to cover that, like safely at least. Or you could do the runoff shine, but it's like super hard to do. I think they're both messing up a little bit. I think glitter. Glitter looks like he's messing up, but I feel like he's following like Snacks' like weird pattern of movement. Snacks is not moving fluently. That's really the first technical mistake I've seen Glitter do this this set so far. What with the dash attack? No, with the double shine, and he got like stuck in the air. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> nice nair. Okay. Oh, the shy guy stepping in. And Snax is doing these really bad runoff platforms when Glitter has clearly like set the ground that he will cover these with full hop back airs. And yeah, Snax has ran into him like multiple times. Uh, back air shine. Please don't try to shield grab that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you just literally he, he's right literally now. he's literally just making him approach. Yeah. <laughs> the second read in a row. See, that side be so tricky. Ooh. So you really just have to that was like, like cover with an aerial. Done so far. Oh man, Snacks is like he's let, he's yeah. falling apart. All right, here here's the chance. He could definitely kill at zero. He just needs to not. Oh god, <laughs> that was unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm okay. going to play my match. Oh, okay, cool. Alright. No, 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 he has to play, uh... Rusty! Rusty! What's up? Rusty! Uh. Gonna be joined by Snacks. What's up, Smokey? How you feeling? I lost to Frendrick, so... Ooh. I did not see that coming. I call that an upset. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, that's what it is. Are you, um, are you in losers or is that? I am in losers. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have a long run to Grands. Me too. Probably not as long though, I guess. Only one of us can make it, and it's not going to be you. So. Wow. Who's going to be both of us? <laughs> you um, have a long run to losers finals, maybe. At that best. Be. <laughs> uh, so up next. Keeping us out of it, we have a uh, slug and lawn chair. We're gonna see uh, prolific Mars of Philly versus. I think slug. is is slug the best player in seven one seven or is it his brother it's, Chum? Most of them people say Chum is. I'm not really sure. All right, I, I mean, I just need to ask. So this is the best player in uh, Philly and second best in seven one seven. Yeah. Uh, best fox there though. Yeah, I he has a lot of Marth practice, doesn't he? Because yes, his brother plays Marth Puff. Yeah. And he's pretty good at the matchup. I played him with my Marth before. Stango's really good at the matchup. He has a lot of insight in the matchup. Yeah, we've saw. I don't know if you guys uh, saw that pound, but he has pretty close sets with both Chillin' Dude and S Fat. Yeah, uh, that's something. He definitely did. <laughs> Slug plays this matchup uh, rather passively. He tries to bait, forward smashes, bad grabs, shoots some lasers. Uh, so this will be a really good demonstration from Stango uh, for all you Marth players who are trying to learn the ways. See what you can do against that type of fox. Yeah, this hand warmer has been going on for a while. Yeah, I get this. Uh, definitely, definitely a long hand warmer. All right, it's finally over. <laughs> it's almost the length of a match. The last set, I, I didn't enjoy watching it. Definitely a like four minute long game with you two. Yeah. Game one, Dash Dance Masters. You guys both play so lean, dude. I don't usually. No, you're actually pretty aggro in the ditto. But I'm exhausted. So I know that I can't hold it down, you know? You should go for the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. That's what I've been doing. It's more like, oh no. Let's go, we take those. <laughs> Launcher has been having that kind of day, uh, as we saw in doubles earlier. I gotta, I gotta, I don't know who I'm rooting for. Slug is now Temple. Oh. He's Temple made now. Gotcha. But Stango's the uh, old school Philly homie for you. Yeah, definitely my teammate, my Philly teammate. I would have teamed with him today if, uh, if he didn't tell me he was going to Nebs earlier. Wow, that was a really good try. Why would you go to Nebs when you could be here? Don't answer I that. I don't know, dude. That's rhetorical. Only Diz went to Nebs. I think. 
Ooh, neutral air approaches are usually dangerous, but if uh, you know where the fox is going to be, they're just fine. Likewise, we'll take it again on Stingo's side. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's still, up though fair. He's still a whole stock behind. Dude, up though fair is good. It actually is, yeah. I think it's really good with Falco. Nice oh, uh, weak back or up smash, I like that. He's giving Stango to hands right now. Yeah. It kind of drops the edge guard, but, you know, things could be worse. Wow, so we have a two stock lead for Slug. Who saw this coming? You know, Slug came up to me and specifically asked if he could have this match stream, so maybe he knows something we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just wanted to be able to watch it later to see what he was doing wrong, but uh, he's doing a lot right. Yeah, he sure is. That cross up Nair was amazing. Yeah, he's really giving Launcher the work right now. Oh, and should uh -oh. be up. Oh no, he doesn't get okay, he does clean it up, it looks like. Yep. That was a great edge guard from Stango. Yeah, a really uh, a trademark, a hallmark of good players is when you drop something just a little bit, you can pick it up and still convert. And that's what we saw there. Either that or you uh you let it go and you don't overcommit and uh yes. screw yourself. The last thing you want is to try to do the same thing again and then just get KO'd because of it. Yeah. So two hallmarks of a good player. Yeah. Knowing when you can uh still go on from a mistake and knowing when you should let that mistake go. Back to battle. I think I think <laughs> opens it up with the S match. I actually think this is straight salt from uh, Launcher. I, yeah, I think it is too. Although you know, I've seen him do this before. He really likes the stage against Fox. Yeah, no, no mercy right now. Nice little up air. Do you think he could have got a first hit forward air to a smash attack there? Probably. Hard call. After playing with DJ Nintendo fairly often, that's what I'm always thinking. First stock for launch air gets the clean F smash edge guard. Right, and uh, you know, he's not bleeding too heavily on the percent he took from that stock, so. Great dash dance coming in from uh, Slug. Yeah, making himself hard to hit. Really uh, aggressively taking space from Marth, which is what you've got to do. Being on a platform against Marth isn't where you want to be. For reasons like this. Yep. Ooh, wow. I'm a tit? He hit him with the handle right behind his head, it looked like. Ooh, and up Up-B. Up he's too good. I mean, it's a commitment, but it's too good. I think it's uh, on no tech, it's like super underrated. Mm -hmm. And like to read, read a tech roll. Or react. If you can react, it seems better. Slug's been avoiding uh, Stango on platforms pretty well. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to do. Yeah, it's like really hard to do. I think a big part of it is he's been able to DI all of his up throws to one side or the other. Because usually if you go right above Marth, Marth doesn't have to go anywhere in order to cover the whole platform. And that might be a symptom of playing uh, Jigglypuff so often, because you got to DI against those up throws. So he's only down by a full stock. I mean, that's pretty bad, but... You know. We've seen Stango do a lot worse to Foxes before. Ooh, cuts. Oh. And that should be it, I think. Jab. Down air. Yep. <laughs> PB&J got hyped for that one. Uh, one, GB3 one. Stock. Didn't take a single percent until uh, that stock. Yeah. They, just, they both came down and he just bodied them. I was thinking he probably banned Dreamland, no? I wonder what he banned. I think this is the only, only choice, Yoshi's. Right? He, he said that Yoshi he thinks Yoshi's is like the only stage where the matchup is even. You know what? I'm inclined to slightly agree. I think Dreamland's pretty hard, but just because Marth lacks KO power and without the ability to push your opponent off the stage, he really doesn't have a good way to get an edge guard. This stage is so large that it's hard to do. Oh, man, if he just held that edge there. Wow, that pivot forward arrow was pretty cool. Great way to uh, stand your ground. Been uh, quite some time since anyone hit each other before that nair. Wow. Man versus beast matchup, dash dance heavy for sure. And he's at 100%. This is part of the pain of Dreamland for Marth, but he ends up cleaning up the stock with the trunk sword. Oh no. 
Oh, that spot. was a shine for sure. So good spot dodge didn't didn't do a good follow up afterwards. Mm -hmm. Wow, that nair, that, that jab was so fantastic. Yeah, sixty percent from one combo. That was crazy. And okay, pushes him off. I don't know if that was the intent, but worked out fine. Yeah. I think rolling towards Marth uh, when you're in the center of the stage is pretty good in general because then his uh, forward smash won't be able to tip her and you'll probably be able to live. So give yourself a chance. Oh, yep, reverse shield breaker. And here comes the whole stock lead from Launcher. Oh. Oh. Saves him. So it's the second time we saw Slug do that. Um, Illusion. I think that. I think it's the third time, actually. Is it? Yeah. I think that he's like anticipating getting the shine and then doing the wave dash so quickly that his control stick is not in the right spot. Got to calm it down a little bit. Good fox trots from Stango. Jab, up smash. Oh, we got to refresh. That's uh, those are the the fox bread and butters. Oh, another Fourth. one. And uh, this time. He actually dies. Yeah, it seems like he's forgetting to shine before he does the wave That's dash. That should be it. Oh, make it back. shows him some mercy. Doesn't just go out there and down air him like uh, last time. Grab ledge. Alright, well there's another star. He's really calling Stango out um, with those shines. Mm -hmm. Like Stango is uh, pulling a little too close to the edge. It's giving it to him. Uh. Yeah, that's a punish. I think he's got to take the stock if he wants a chance. Got to take it right now. Got to be some lasers. Oh, okay. Ooh. No, no. All right. Don't listen to me. Oh no. I suck versus my <laughs> <laughs> He he knows what he's doing. I'm watching this. <laughs> I should have my notebook out. Note to self: Play Marth versus Smokey later. <laughs> got it. You know, even though he lost, I learned a lot from that. I learned, I learned a super lot from that. Uh, so. Yeah, Slug definitely played a strong uh, Marth Fox for sure. Yeah. Uh, good stuff to Stango for cleaning it up, taking him out. Hey, St better playing him. Hey, Stango. And uh, I, I don't want to stop commentating, but I'm sort of supposed to be toing too. <laughs> what you gonna do? So who do we have here? Peanut Phobia versus Ultima Scout. Hey Stango, you wanna get back on? Did this happen at Westchester, you know? At least once. Tim? Huh? What's up, baby? The I corp is back. I was real upset, dude. If you lost, I'd have to play you in losers. Oh, team kill. But, uh, so what happened? What happened, uh... I, I clearly Smokey Blunts versus um Dude I need to uh, Who was it again? Frederick Frederick Lamarth. Friend And and let me say that I Did was Did you say Marth? Yeah. Friend Marth. Yeah. Shut up, Stango. Anyway. <laughs> uh Yeah, I definitely I definitely have a Marth issue that I need to work on. Mm, if only there was someone who could help. I know, right? I'll just keep playing Paul at uh at the, <laughs> <laughs> the Temple Game Room, and hopefully it'll it'll resolve itself. All right, so we got Ultimate Scout versus Peanut Phobia. You Martha need to start Yoshi. coming to my house, dude. I, I have no guarantee if I go to your house that I'm eating. I can make you food. My mom makes baller ass burgers. I don't know, dude. I feel like Nancy probably makes better burgers. Probably, but you know, they're like uh. C plus C plus version. C plus C plus version. Is that what you're settling for, dude? You know when you're playing a video game and you do so sick that like you get an SSS score? Yeah. That's what Nancy's burgers are. Damn. Her ribs are so good. All right, so I hate this matchup with Smarth, so I just play it with Fox. But Ultimate Scout, you know, he's pretty good at F smashing, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard Tim say, "Yeah, man, I just F smash Yoshi and like I kind of win." That's like that's like his game plan. I, I I really hope that doesn't work out. And right now it's like <laughs> it's Keanu dude, working he's a out. God, dude, <laughs> he's a legend. <laughs> Have you seen his the eye? Have you seen his link? Have you seen anything this man does? He's per <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I swear to God. Maybe you could learn a thing or two, Stango. 
You know, I actually, I actually, in all seriousness, I think that like the way Tim plays, like, definitely works against certain styles. Yeah, like, no, Tim. It's it's actually worth putting it like in your kind of like in your repertoire as, as a Marth player. I'm I'm actually not kidding. No, I, I know you're not, dude. I yo, I think Tim is super secret. Good good player. Not <laughs> not even just Jank. I mean, he definitely like uses Marsh Shanks to his advantage. Like, get people off stage. F Smash is pretty hard to avoid if you're really good at it. He's really good at it. Like, everyone might make the memes that Ultimate Scout just F Smashes, but he's really good at F Smashing. He actually is. <laughs> That's all he it's does, dude. <laughs> it sounds so funny, but like, it's it's actually really true. But as we uh, as we talked him up, yo, Peanut Peanut folks. Yeah, he he's getting his composure back. He hasn't gotten a, he hasn't gotten F smashed in a little while. Yeah, he's kind of missing it. That's why Tim's here to deliver. Ooh, <laughs> tips, tips. <laughs> you know what's actually funny? Like, Pinophobia beat me in a money match in this matchup, and he was like, he was like half drunk. <laughs> and he, right now he's like going even with Tim. It's so funny because Tim literally says like, "Oh man, you just you just hit Yoshi with Tim for F Smash." It's like it's, it's like I don't understand how you guys are losing to him. It's just like oh my god, he just makes it work. <laughs> Damn! Look how stone cold Tim is. He doesn't he doesn't find this funny at all. This is business, <laughs> dude. This is his life. He lo he doesn't. <laughs> The thing he's the best at, he doesn't even love to do it. Like, he F-Smash, he's like, I'm sorry, I have to do this. This is my job, dude. This is my job. If it wasn't me, nobody else would do it. <laughs> my new girlfriend is here. I have to F- I have to be proficient <laughs> with F-Smashing. <laughs> oh. Oh, dude, he just- It's different, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> can't he's gonna F-Smash, he's gonna F-Smash. Oh. <laughs> just like down air and an F smash him, dude. <laughs> He's gonna F smash, watch. He's gonna get up F smash. I swear to God, here comes. Nah, no, it's gonna be there, dude. Ooh, here comes the F smash. It's like after a throw. Okay. Well, he's at mad percent. Yeah. He that an F smash, smash will actually. Wait, Nair takes him out of armor this early? That's actually surprising. <laughs> Oh, the super shield poke. F smash. <laughs> that should be it. <laughs> Done. He beat him pretty much just. I <sighs> we, we, we should probably look do at an him F like, smash counter. Look at him like put his fist down on his chin. He's just like. <laughs> thinking man. <laughs> Pity mortals do not know the art of F smash. <laughs> Doesn't Tim, like, if he was, like, a little more anime, like, the Street Fighter, like, 4, like, art style, like, he definitely could, like, be an Akuma. He could be, like, Akuma Jr. <laughs> yeah, the super deep voice, he's just, like... I'm just, why do you take him back to Battlefield? I don't know, actually. Didn't you get tempered, like, 18 million times? Why don't you take him to Dreamland where he can't hit you with that? That is true. <laughs> or, like, found. It's probably harder to kill Marth as well. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Oh, get red. No. Yeah, I'll tilt will not break armor at this percent. In all seriousness, the actual issue with Marth in this matchup is that he, he doesn't break armor safely or early enough like other characters. And he also doesn't have, like, guaranteed setups. All he has, as Tim is showing, But, guys. like, you know, I, I think this matchup's actually in Marth's favor. Like, if you play it, like, kind of the way Tim is, like, he's abusing the range. Like... Pinophobia rarely gets in, and when he does, he does a lot of damage. But if if Ultimate Scout does a good job of like zoning him out with the down tilts and the F smash, like it, it actually will work. Yeah, that was. You never want to go off stage versus Yoshi. It's Marth. It, it's, it's. I think never that's worked. it. I don't think he has. Oh, okay, he does. No, he does. He slid off like on the top platform. He's gonna go high or low. Wow, why did jab? You should just F smashed. Oh, F tilt will definitely do it. That wasn't that many F smashes so far. No, La last game was it was definitely getting like two. F smash city. F smash city. Ooh, yo, that was actually super slick. Why does he keep Why jabbing? Stop jabbing, dude. I, I think does he down tilt would, would down tilt be better? Probably, no, right? no, no, because it won't break armor. If you hit Yoshi, you you either better space like a legend or you break his armor when he's double jumping. Oh my god. 
the funny thing is he keeps trying to do that and it's not good at all like if he if he actually hits that down air he's probably in a worse situation than like him just double jumping back to the stage because yoshi will not fall like the slightest from that <laughs> it will break armor but he needs to be higher percentage for that to really do anything Ooh, so nice that was a really good um he's gonna air dodge oh no he can just make it i think marth is better staying on stage in this matchup when it comes to edge guarding Oh, he almost whiffed and got kicked in the back. That side B was That's actually much. pretty good. He's Keep dead. Him on the he has no jump. This is so dumb. This is this is just so stupid. <laughs> so Yoshi's third now, or oh, fourth? Why didn't he F smash? Because he didn't want to get parried. It, it went and break. No, I think, he was in. I think, he was using his double jump. Yeah. It, it won't break. F smash won't break it. Oh, we could have just hit him. Oh. Yeah, but then you get counter hit and died. That's the issue. I guess. <laughs> you guess. That's what would happen. I guess, dude. <laughs> he needs to stop doing that, that charge neutral base. Clear if he falls it into work. it, it will actually break armor as low as like 40% if he charges it like halfway. Oh, man. Don't listen to anything I say about Marth. He as we've all seen, I just suck versus Marth. <laughs> I, just, I don't know anything about this character. He, he doesn't even know what the character does. He's like, what? <laughs> Down nice, throw? That nice nice forward That looks him. like a back throw. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Ooh. Oh my god. Nice, nice down smash. <laughs> From Tim. <laughs> what move was that? F smash. Down smash? <laughs> down smash? He like sends me down. Tim is... He, he's a little holding, shield that could. Dude, he's been doing that the entire like Pino Fubi would be like jabbing his shield. Dude, that was actually super sick. You saw what he did there? He like he like Oh. That was that was the F smash. That's all. Oh, legend. Alright, he's got this. Yeah, first lead of the set. Oh no, he messed up. Yoshi I, I, now that I think about it, Yoshi has a really tough time approaching Marth if like you just space super well. But it's so much easier with Fox, so why, why do that? Oh yeah, dude. You just down air him. Yeah, just down air. <laughs> Sometimes you up air. You, you can do that too. I see you up air. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm, a, I'm actually like... I'm a jerk when it comes to <laughs> against Yoshi. I, I am too. I'm, I like I like to torture it. I hate I hate Yoshi. You ever seen my uh, money match with... Well, you weren't there. Well, actually you were. I was with Kofi. Yeah, when yeah, I charged no, I watched up that, smash. <laughs> oh, yeah, I watched it, dude. <laughs> when I, I was loving every second of it. It was so good. Oh, wait. If he keeps trading with his armor, nope. he actually has a big chance of winning this match. Uh, he needs to get down. Oh god, he's getting juggled. F smash. Why did he F smash there? Oh, he's dead. That's it. That's a dead scout. No, 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 don't. I was about to say, don't do that. Because if you mess up and lose, I'm going to be so mad. Just wave dash. Just wave dash and grab the ledge. He does that He does that windscreen every time. I think he presses the button. Um, I think it's X. It's probably X. For Akuma oh. Yoshi? Uh, all the good ones are Y or X. Um, I like the little, the, the match, match four, ma match four meets a king, the, the little spin sword, and then he puts it to his side. Dude, the Marth with the X, where he, he looks at his fingers, <sighs> so good. That's, that's the one I like. When he like goes like this, and he goes something like that, and he's like that. We don't even have a camera on us. Look yeah. at this streamer. We're trying to, we're trying to act out Mar Marth's win animations. It's, it's they can't true. even see us. Fountain. I feel like this is uh, a bad choice. What do you think? Just from just from what his game plan has been, like the reason I take I feel like here, he should go like stadium. Yeah. Right. Probably. Because he actually you can't shark this well on this stage. This stage is really about like catching people who are like breeding people that. What? He's dead. He, oh no, he's not. The F smashed again. Dude, he's holding on that shield. He literally waits until it's like the small. I've never seen Tim Tech like that before. And he's <laughs> angling the shield too. He's learning. He's learning, dude. He's evolving. He'll have the best DI and the best uh, Amza techs. That's actually that could be very possible. Hmm. You don't want to nair there. Yoshi's shield is like super good against nair because you know you can't shield Pokemon. See what I'm talking about? Like, if another character, if that was Fox, and he back aired there, he Yoshi would have been out of his armor. But Marth used this wow. st stupid inner part of fair, and it didn't do anything. He was at 140. Let's talk about how good that tipper was, though. They're always good. Every tipper. Wow. 
Wow. Where are these? Wow. Tim is a. Tim is a. Wow. Tim is a god, dude. I, what was that, dude? I. I think something's changed. <laughs> the game has changed, I think dude. It's, I think it's the girlfriend, dude. <laughs> it's definitely the girlfriend. You think it's the girlfriend? It I, might be, dude. I think it's the girlfriend. I didn't start getting I'm good until I had a girlfriend, dude. <laughs> Dude, I'll actually become amazing if I get a girlfriend. Anyone who wants to be my girlfriend on stream right now, hit me up on my Twitter. Dude, Nancy's the best girlfriend. The game plan is to is to what is it? Four stock me with game and watching bracket. <laughs> Steal her from me what? for like a week. She said she would she would be my girlfriend for a week. She would give me cook me free food. <laughs> you start eating well. <laughs> Up here? Oh. oh, Tim is actually doing some <laughs> some nutty combos right now. Tim Tim's pulling out the combos, the techs. Well, the, all, all, is firing back. All though. for the sake of the girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a great near. Mm, that was actually that was a super good near. Oh, that killed at 90. Yo, she's so dumb. Mm, down tilt's definitely not safe on shield. Oh, I guess he thought he was gonna fall way faster. Reading the roll in. This is where Tim starts getting F Smash happy. Where the F Smash start become uh, becoming um no 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 thought into them. <laughs> yeah! Give him a taste of his own medicine! <laughs> start F smashing. Dude, Yoshi's F Smash actually beats Mars, because he leans he back. He leans back, yeah, I saw it. That was that was so dumb. <laughs> the only reason Tim's didn't hit is because he, he he leaned back. He leaned with it. Tim could actually lose here. I, I don't. Yeah, Tim could lose here. He's eighty. Dude, zero percent. Ninety-two percent. Zero percent. Yoshi is super hard for Mark to deal with. It's actually like probably one of the hardest characters to deal with in the entire game. <laughs> Crouch canceling and armor. Yoshi's so strong too. Like, no, that will not kill. <laughs> I, I thought he was going for the tipper there, but. Oh, he did it so late. Oh, he's throwing him out. He's. I told you, dude. He jumps a little early. On the no, no why do you even do that? Why do you do that air dodge? He had a free ledge. He gave up the free ledge, dude. Well, you know. You can't only re you can't only rely on the girlfriend. It, ha it has to it has to there, include her. There has a to little be bit. some inside too. A, a little a little bit of uh, skill, <laughs> as you would say. So we got Fendrick Lamar versus RT Dilu. I gave R2 the deets <laughs> after Frederick Bleed beat me. Um, I'm pretty certain that RTD will win. Because yeah, me too. David Super wants to beat me really badly. We have to play? We have to play? Oh. Oh, uh, my commentary partner is running away. Wait, that's... that's Is that yours? Oh, that is his. No, that is. Wait. Yeah. Alrighty, so Fendi versus RTD Lu. Like I said, RTD Lu, me and him have a really long set history. I'm like 9 0 versus him in sets. And he really wants to beat me badly, so I'm sure he's been practicing Marth leading up to Udell like a freak. So I hope Fendi's ready for whatever RTD Lu is about to throw at him. But we'll see. Fendrick Lamar is definitely a pretty good Marth player. Hailing from the NDVA region. You know what's actually a little confusing? Fendi is wearing a Phillies jacket. He's wearing a Phillies hoodie, but he's not from Philly. Are you from Philly? No. He's not from Philly? Who? Fendrick. No, <laughs> what do you got a Phillies hoodie on? So he is from Philly. No, that's that's where you hail from. <sighs> People are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Dag. All right, so winners quarters. RTD Lou versus Fendrick Lamar. Oh yeah. Uh. Okay. Have like you I, seen? Have you been uh, watching D Lou play today? Um, no. Is he on point? Uh, he looked pretty on point in teams. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, I think um. Pretty much what I said to the stream earlier, like, you know, me and RTD have a really long set history. Like, I'm 9-0 versus him. 
and he really wants to beat me badly. So I'm like, I'm expecting this to be pretty difficult. You're for still a winner, right? Yeah. I'm expecting this to be super difficult for Fendrick because I'm sure David is about to pull out some stops. Yeah, well, Fendrick told me that his uh, roommate is Spacey's player, so I think it's uh, the matchup he has the most. I, I don't think it's SG, but I, but I know it's like a good Spacey player. Yeah, he, I don't know. He never told me the name, but um, yeah, he said it's the matchup he has the most experience in. Okay. So, you know, he's got that going for him. <laughs> So like I know Frederick's a pretty good Marth. You know I I've so I've seen him play on at a Zandu quite often, Ooh. and he's definitely had that one highlight like recent in the last few months where he had like that super sick combo like from the top, oh. and he, like and it with a cutting combo. So th he knows what he's doing in this matchup. So this is going to be a good one right now. They're pretty even as of right now, but RT Dula has an edge guard opportunity. I like that he landed on the side platform. Oh. He used this jump a little too early. I think he should have saved yeah, it. I was playing Frederick in uh, friendlies earlier, and one thing that he seemed to really like to do against me was try to go for like, you know, the the standard Marth gimps like the uh, down throw. Ooh. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice try. To, try. try to poke. But yeah, you know the down oh. throw forward smash thing. Okay, <gasps> David. Definitely just pulled out the the, oh. the stangle right now. The stangle? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Definitely upset. pulled out the stangle. Oh, uh, I gave him life for free. Honestly, if Fox is that close, oh, nice tech, but he um, yeah. you know, if he's that close, I, he could just run. I know from fair. personal experience that David really likes going for ledge, so you know, I preemptively cover it. He most seems of the time. like a kind of guy. Ooh, that was a crest. Yeah, that was a slick wave land. Oh, that if that could, tip it, could he, he have like died. dropped to a platform down air? Do you think? No. Nah. No? It wouldn't have hit? The, that I, smash was the good call. If he delayed ooh. it by like two frames, that definitely would have tippered. Yeah. And it would have killed. That was a sick shine by uh, David right now. Yeah. He like snuck it right in there. Up throw? Oh. See, at 30%, it's always good to not DI the up throw left or right because like you force them to have to tech chase you. So like you get another chance at life before you eat like 50 damage. Yeah. Oh, he fell off stage, oh. looking like me versus Slug. Did you see that, by the way? No, I didn't. I was, we were literally dash dancing, and I like was dash dancing, and I just air dodged off stage. Oh no, <laughs> that's so weird. It was so rough. You're just like doing nothing, and then you just die for no reason. Yeah, it was. It, it was probably the dumbest thing I've ever done in like, my <laughs> melee career. All right, so he was playing, trying to ooh, find an opening, but Frederick is playing like really safe right now. Like he did not commit that in like for like 20 seconds or so. Yeah, really, really yeah. great patience by him. Um, I'm noticing that Frendrick is, um, he's trying to catch Dilu with very poor DI off up throw F smash, tipper. It, that's a good option, but you really want to do it when, you know. Ooh. R2 Dilu, since he plays me, he'll, he'll, mo he mostly DIs for the combo, so he needs to, he needs to do the combo. He needs right. to combo him before he can, oh, this is bad. Oh, Counter? he goes in. Down tilt. Nice. Back air. Yes. Nice. Wow. Frederick clutches it out. Super slick game. Yeah, solid edge yarding there at the end. Uh, very pushing it out. Yeah, he was. He just adjusted, got super patient near towards the end. Saw David kind of messing around with the platform, Stadium. trying to get I like, in. I like, the, I like the choice. I'm assuming Frederick either banned Dreamland or Yoshi's. Uh, David's not really a Yoshi's Fox, but I definitely think that's the stage you want to take Marth if he leaves it open or if it's 3 out of 5. Honestly, playing against Fendrick earlier, uh, I noticed that his movement was a lot more refined wow. on the longer stages. So, yeah, because he doesn't feel like he's so like you so know, cramped. Tight. Yeah, yeah. so cramped. So. He can really move around and spread out his legs. David's doing a good job of sharking him right now. Um, ill advised shine turnaround bear gets forward aired out of it. Ooh. Wow, that was good super good dodge. spacing, actually. Um, you can kind of punish that if they don't space it really well. Like, you can fair out a shield or wave dash grab, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like a 50-50. But RTD Lu, like, perfectly spaced it with the tip of his foot. Up throw, back air. He wasn't ready for the, <laughs> the behind DI, so. Okay, up air. Wow. Um, oh, and I'm going to say that was SDI. I, I'm not entirely confident if that was, though. It was, right. it was a little, it, it was close. I couldn't really tell, to be honest. Okay, so Uses the invincibility and grabs him. Oh, okay. Wasn't able to sweet spot that one. Makes it back on stage. He's going to up air here. Nice. And he DI'd off, so, you no, know. No, he could have got that. He definitely just messed up. You think so? No, most certainly. Okay. Dash check. Nice. Oh. Oh, this is bad, though. Yep. If you go for that dash yeah. tag, that's like all. Oh, that was a sick reverse up tilt. 
You know what's really funny? We call that a sour spot up tilt, but like it's probably one of the better hitboxes of up tilt. Yeah, it's like a like, semi. -spike. The one behind you that tips is like really good for killing, but like that 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 up tilt angle, like the sour spot, really sends you in a really messed up angle. Yeah, it's like, really it, good against space animals, and it can kill. You can kill it like around Ooh. like 130. <laughs> he said, "Get back on here with that dash attack." Wow, Ooh, that was that was crisp. super slick. Uh, I wanted uh, to see you grab there. That, yeah, I was thinking that too. He's gonna go for ledge. Yeah, R2D Lou goes for ledge. Yeah, Fendrick needs to. Uh, he's trying to catch it with the down tilt, but sometimes I think ah, you just burned. need to grab the ledge. Or he just needs to be a little more confident in not getting burned and like F smash it where he was just standing. Not against the side B, but I mean when he up these, because the F smash will cover below and a little bit above him and in front. Yeah. So F smash is a pretty uh, solid tool to use when edge guarding RTD Lu when he's firefoxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you can react to whichever direction they go. Yeah. But yeah, free. Takes the takes the stock trade. Solid JB3 by RTD Lu. Frenger kind of drops a lot of things. He also didn't get like those up throw F smashes like we saw earlier in the yeah. game, which kind of. Oh, so he opts to go to Yoshi's. So he banned Dreamland last game. Hmm. Interesting. This is also one of the better stages to. At zero, you should try to go for the top platform so you don't um, get super destroyed. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think he actually read that. I think he actually made a mistake. Ooh, good tech. Nice. Yeah, still covered it though. David not happy with that with that death. Ooh. Okay, I see the shield drops. Yeah, <laughs> David's definitely the shield drop master of Philly. Besides me. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that lid. No, but he's uh he's very Ooh. good at it. So if you do something unsafe on a shield from a plat from the ground on the platform, you're gonna get messed up and yeah. great up smash. Fire TD load. This is a really close match. Ooh. Oh no! You gotta like, you gotta let those go sometimes. Yeah, just be like, all right, let's go. Next, one. next stock. Down throw. He can make up for it right here. Yes, nice wow. gimp. All right, Benjik's moving up in the sea. He's feeling it. Yeah, gotta gotta turn the nod knob up, as I say. Ooh, good air dodge by TD Lou. Nice. He could kill her. No. Oh, a little bit of flubs. Oh, oh he waited for the nair. That was nice. All right, he's going to land on Randall. He has a double jump opportunity. Yeah. Soft bear and up smash. That will kill. Yeah, r 2 Lou is making good use of those side platforms to avoid uh, Fendrick's counterattacks when he's recovering. Yeah. And it's leaving him just, like, out in the open to die. Oh, that was sick. This could be it. Randall? He's going for Randall. Saves the day. Oh! No! And the that, additional yeah. momentum from the air dodge and also Randall moving slid him off. Yeah, just like messed him up. Yeah. <laughs> that always sucks. I think that was mostly nerves as well. He was probably being a little button happy. Hmm. So, you know, in that situation, you really just want to, like, don't press anything. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's uh, it's easier just to not do anything in a situation. Yeah, off stage, just let go of the controller. Off stage. It, definitely. <laughs> You only you only need one stock to win, right? Only need one stock. <laughs> you only need one stock I to win. I try to make an eight mile. Uh. So we got <laughs> glitter versus BMC. <sighs> this is going to be a good match. Are we in top eight yet? Or oh, uh, I think we're. I think we're closing into it. I think this is the last match before top eight. There are a lot of good people here today. Top eight's definitely pretty stacked. Cause I was thinking like how many entrants? Uh, 80, 90. Over yeah, over 80 definitely. Uh, maybe have break broke 90. So that's the uh, well, never mind. I was gonna say that's the only way it could be over 80. If it's if it's over 90, <laughs> not the only way. Nah, that, no, no, because that, that, that's why. That's why. Yeah, I, um, you just take it back. It's like. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, Glitter uh, recently coming back. Two from... weeks. What's up? He's been here for two weeks. That's uh, that's what I heard. He was uh, David told me that he's only played for two weeks recently. Oh, okay, yeah. Six months hiatus. He said. Dag. Yep. Hmm. It's a long time, but he's definitely he's still. I on mean, point. yeah, he's still he's still fighting. Man. Even though we uh we had a little difficulty in doubles, 
fourth is not too bad for first return, but yeah. I'm sure he's warmed up by now. It's almost been like four or five hours since then. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh he's definitely still a force to reckon with. He goes to college in Berkeley, California. Resides in Middletown, Delaware. I think he's second on their PR behind uh, Ralph. Right. So we'll see. FD Dreamland. We're gonna start Dreamland. All right. So <laughs> have these two ever played? I don't think so. Probably not. I think this is the first time these two ever played. I mean, I can't say, but PB and J's giving us the go ahead. I'm just assuming we're about to get into this match. I've never. Seen, it's the first time I've seen it play. And Yo, Evan. Evan, is there a way you can get me water? Oh uh, yeah. Water. Who's is that? All right. Yeah. Water and pizza is definitely a bad combination. We're going to Mushroom Kingdom. All right. Is this? This is a hand warmer. <laughs> okay. They looked like they were like about to scrap, so I was like really confused. Why warm up on this stage? Because these guys think that they're jokesters. Oh yeah, let's go to Mushroom Kingdom. Let's go to Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, man. Everyone think why Sal Fane. He wants, the heck to, wants to slide up in here. Dang, man. You want to do top eight, man? Are you still in? All right. Uh, I mean, I don't mind. The corporation commentary? I don't mind. Uh, I mean, I've been. I commentated all of doubles, dude. Did you? Yeah, all of it. From beginning to start? From beginning to end. Wow. No breaks. He did all of doubles. I did all of doubles. All right, so we're going to start on Dreamland. Oh, uh, yeah. Butter versus BMC. Ooh. All right. Oh, that was a free Whoa. drill. So the thing about this matchup, uh, Fox really has to be, you know, he has to use his speed. Super on point. Make, can't uh, mess up anything. Can't mess up anything, otherwise you, you get mess crush up, you down smash. Um, I just saw him do a down air when Peach was in the air. You definitely don't want to down air people who are in the air because Shine will almost always not really link. It's not really a true link if they are if they fall down. Yeah, they the can air. like get out of it easier, you know. Just makes it unsafe. I thought, uh, I thought you... What? We're living. Did that look weird oh. to you? I, he was, like, getting down smash, but then, like, he exited somehow. Maybe he just, like, only got some kind of weak hit or something. Dude, that was, that was, the, I don't know. That was the weirdest I don't know down how smash down I've ever seen. But... Alright. Oh! Nice tech chase. Up throw. Nair. Yeah. Yes. That will end it. Even game. Let's see how BMC deals with the invincibility. Glitter <laughs> shines in place and does nothing. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> so I'm seeing Glitter's game plan. He's fine with Dreamland because he's going to use these platforms as um, as an extension to his neutral game. Yeah, Falling. Foxes, Foxes nowadays like that movement, you know? Oh. They're like, ah, oh, yeah, you can live forever, but, you know, as long as you can't touch me, it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. So. Really abusing that side platform. Yeah, he's, show drop he, back air over he, and over. He is using it. Like crazy. Trying to grab. Ooh, crazy. A little slow on the up throw up air, but gets the landing with the up smash. Yeah, uh, I can definitely see right now. Glitter's corner pressure is like immaculate. BMC needs to stay away from the. He needs to stay away from the. Oh the my corner. god! Yeah, see there was a. Good he didn't fall. He didn't fall from down smash, and he definitely crouch canceled <laughs> like two hits at yeah. least. Yeah. Crouch cancel and get out. Really? Yeah. Okay. I would imagine it's like crouch cancel when you like DI out. Uh, let's see what he does here. Nice I thought he was gonna wall jump. I would have wall jumped. Ah, that turn up. He threw that turn up like the last two side B's and they both haven't hit. I don't know if he's just a little too slow or if that side B is just like, you know, really hard to hit. Yeah. By the way, uh, BMC gets uh, gets the edge guard. Pretty solid. He's only down by a bit. I'm liking how BMC is mixing up his um. His options on flow cancel fair. Last time he did a jab. This time he uh, read for a roll or wave that shot shield with a uh, flow cancel nair um, behind Fox. Ooh, good spot dodge. Nice. That's 53 percent tech chase. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, mm, unwise people would say you know he was just spamming down smash there, but you know if you spot dodge a grab with Peach, you, it's 
You get down oh. smash. It's, oh, it's that was simple a sick as that. Nair. That was godlike Nair. BMC is running away with this oh match. Oh my god. And he, the reads. Ooh. That oh, hit him. snipe. Get him. Woo! Let's go. That was good. Let's go. BMC Billy. playing on point. I'm liking it. So, this is still out of two out of three sets. So, we're either going to Yoshi's or Stadium. Yoshi's? Yoshi's, yeah. alright. Honestly, I think this is like... I don't know, I think Peach is like pretty okay on yeah. the stage. But yeah. like, Fox is like, godlike on the stage. It's, it's a way Ooh. better stage for Fox, but it's not, it's not that bad. bad. It's not that, like... Sure, it's Super and Fox's favor <laughs> on this stage, I would say. Because of how early he kills and like... That just he can cover so much space, but like it's the same thing for Peach. She doesn't have to make such a commitment to you know combo or cover options. Plus the thing about it is that if you're playing against Runaway Fox, it's really good to take them to smaller stages like this. Yeah, keep like FOD. Close. Peach doesn't have that mobility to you know chase down Fox, so this Ooh. the stage size helps. Uh, keep um, her close. I definitely just learned this like a week ago. Up throw up air is not guaranteed on Peach if she dies left to right. Really? So no, it is not. To the right only? No, left or right. Oh, left or right. Yep. Huh. You can air dodge out. Oh, okay. You can air dodge out. Yep. Hmm. It's like how a uh, laser F smash isn't true. You can air dodge. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. <laughs> but no one does it. No one does it. Um, I don't really know about that upbeat. <laughs> You're trying to do the armada. I feel like if he was in range to actually get hit with the oh. starting part of that beat, I was fine with that, but like catching the landing with it, I don't know. <laughs> Billy's trying to fight him, fight his way out of the corner, but Glitter, Glitter's oh, corner nice. game, his corner pressure is so good. Yeah, that was good. He like waited in the center of the stage for BMC to roll, caught him with the up tilt. Got that up there. Oh, Shy Guy, I think, messed up his L cancel timing. Nice. Snipes. Yeah, Reyna won't be coming. He's coming up now, I think, though. I think we just missed him, or he's on the other side of the stage. <laughs> I wish that, like, <laughs> when Peach, like, sniped people with the turnups, oh. it would make that, you know, the Call of Duty, like, when you get the hit, it's like, oh, the, the, like, the low. <laughs> yeah, what, <laughs> that sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, that was slow. Yeah. That was definitely slow. That, that was free, I would say. Oh, nice, fair. He's gonna go high. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. yeah. Well, I think that it was. He definitely a, couldn't do anything else. Yeah. But I don't know if it was, it was the fastest really worth option it. to hit him. But I mean, I guess it still hit him off stage. So. Well, there's like no potential follow up. I, I, I would have been. I, I would have just opted to keep to wait to yeah. keep the ground and wait for him to come down. Wow. The anti air is coming out of glitter right now. No snipe. Barely snipes him. Oh, Barely nice. not snipes him, rather. Dude, that was actually super smart. Do you see what he did? Shine he shine stalled inside of the shy guys, so he couldn't get hit with. Yeah, it's like a shield. He had like he had his posse with him. They weren't gonna <laughs> they weren't gonna let him get shot. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Secret Service shy guys. <laughs> Secret well, Service like shy guys. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Good air dodge. He has his float back. How's he gonna get on stage? He's got to make a really good read. Ooh, gets a down smash. Smack Secret Service. Ooh. So get out of here. Nice. But he's like, I'm the president. <laughs> I'm the president. <laughs> I'm the president. <laughs> We're going to game three. Oh. All right. <laughs> I mean. Okay. Ah. 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 Okay. It's the Pepsi, man. Yeah. <laughs> Go on the fountain. Uh, honestly, I, I like the stage versus Peach. I mean, as Peach. I it's mean, like Yoshi's, but you got platforms that can mess you up, and ooh. you have a high ceiling. So. Yeah, the high ceiling would definitely help Peach for like 10, 20 more percent. Yeah. And also the blast zones are kind of small, so you can kill Fox pretty early on the side blast zones. Ooh. All right, I think Glitter is definitely picked up on a lot of like how BMC is playing. Oh, he backed himself into a corner though. Going for top platform, really hard for Peach to cover. She really has to just fully read it. Yeah. She can't react and punish it. 
to be honest. Yeah, double jump too slow. Uh, I don't like how B BMC's like, uh, he's doing the same floats over and over, same spacing. He's not mixing up the moves. Uh, no. That is not guaranteed <laughs> yeah, at 120. That's, yeah. yeah. You gotta, you gotta get you gotta a real. Jab up you gotta get a real kill here. Get a jab, man. Oh, oh. Missed tries that to go life. for the super secret uh, sweet spot of the dreams. Right on the fountain of dreams. Definitely put his hand in the fountain and was like trying to pick out a dream. He's he was like, like, I just do this. Let for me, me, let me win this set. Just once. <laughs> oh, got dot eye, but doesn't re catch it. Okay. Nice. Just chases BMC on his way down. They're being very talkative. Oh yeah, I saw that. Ooh, Ooh, the down smash. That could have been uh, he almost, really bad. He almost uh, got hit by three hits, so he wouldn't be able to punish it then. Oh, oh. good air dodge. Oh, I thought he was going to up tilt right there. I think we need to see Billy grab more. Like, in that situation, I want to see a grab. Because I feel like, I feel like uh, from the other matches, like he was getting some stuff going when he got grabs. But he's like trying to straight up fight with Fox, and I don't think that's where you can really win. I think you have to grab Fox and really control like what he's doing. Yeah, so and I think grabs are the answer there. BMC has like basically just been throwing out a lot of moves. He's been conditioning glitter to shield. So so he needs to take advantage of his conditioning and start grabbing more. All right, this will kill. Yep. That was actually really cool. Like you could just tell how good someone's DI is if they like Firefox up B and they end up in the same spot that they last yeah. got hit. Right. It's like nothing ever happened. Ooh, good way, back. Uh, way dash two, out baby. All right, so I'm liking the turn of pools. He's doing them in pretty safe situations. Oh. All right, so pretty much <gasps> the jab reset. Nice. This is what I want to see. I want to see grab combos. Oh, he messes up the fair. What? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Ah! BMC. I don't. Ah! You didn't see it, but like, he like retreated, like float it. That's night though. Dude, he would like retreat it, float it so close to the ground, and Glitter ran right into him, and he up aired him out of it. Oh and he gosh. started a combo off it. It was actually so sick. Dang. Oh, nice. Dash check. Oh, my God. I love like the instant area. Oh, he died. Like, he did really bad the eye there. This is super close. Yeah, this is two out of three. Oh, bad roll by Glitter. I think it was a mistake. He's starting to laser now. I don't. I don't advise that. <laughs> yeah. Just keep it together. Oh, SDI jumps down. Into down, down smash. smash. Dash tag. Ooh. Oh, good retreat. Oh. Like fade back there. Oh. You see? Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. Oh no, he needs to get on stage. No, he just Turn gave. Pull. He gave BMC space. Oh wait, barely. Oh. Oh so my close. gosh, it's so close. Wait, side B. No, he just grabs ledge. Oh, oh gets a tournament winner. Yep. Wow. That's wow, us. that was so close. Billy grabs on, <laughs> grabs his heart. He's feeling it right uh, now. Uh, close sense. Got him. Uh, uh, got him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's just falling. Uh, uh, got him. Uh, <laughs> Who won? Billy. <laughs> People are like calling our names. Am I up? Okay, so me and Pinophobia? Sick. All right, cool. Let's go. What's up, guys? So this is probably still winners' quarters. Yeah, I would think. Oh uh, yeah. So what's up guys, uh, shout out to all the viewers, uh, all you people watching, we appreciate it. Are you guys liking the tournament so far? Hopefully it's been entertaining enough. I got Smokey coming over, hold down the fort, commentate for his boy. So what do we got, Stango versus Pinophobia? Yeah. Who's uh, winner's semis? Winner's quarters, I think. Winner's quarters. Uh, have you guys played at all at Westchester? Stango wasn't there. Uh, the one neither was I. Yeah. 
We both would have bodied peanut phobia. I'm okay. just gonna flat out throw that out there. Um, okay. He's really, really good versus Yoshi. Stango? Um, somehow. Not somehow. We both hate the character so much that we learned the matchup. <laughs> oh yeah, because there's... Isn't there someone who plays Yoshi in your area? Uh, Kofi in the summer. Yeah. But, I mean, just on like... I mean, I just dislike Yoshi, so, you just, so I learned the just matchup. just hate Yoshi? So much that I learned the like, matchup. You're just like, man... Like, you're looking at the character select screen, and you're like, man, I just really hate that character. Yeah, no, I really wish he wasn't in the game. <laughs> it, I know every time I've come in here and saying that, and, like, it's probably annoying to the to viewers, but, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Sakurai, that, his one mistake, his one true flaw in this game. His one mistake is not Kirby? No. What? Kirby sucks, dude. Yeah, Kirby sucks for a good reason. Do you no. know, have you played 64? Yes, I have played 64. Do you know how dumb Kirby is? They should have just slightly nerfed him. They like complete. They like literally chopped. He everything deserved off. it. It's it's like it's like if you look at it across all the games, Kirby is still probably the best character no. of all time. Pikachu. Just because of, Pikachu's just cause of how good he is in that game. I don't I, I don't nope. believe anybody that thinks Pikachu is is that good. Pikachu's because better. with Kirby, you could literally just do smash turn up tilts. <laughs> Like, <laughs> that hitbox is dumb. <laughs> the hitbox is dumb. But it's just that we haven't reached the level where the Kirby's are doing that all the time. So in melee, you're saying that he if, deserves it. If Kirby, Kirby just pivoted up tilt all the time, then he no, no, I'm saying that just Kirby expect. deserves to be bad because of no, Smash 64. Dude. He just needed to be slightly nerfed. They like super. He's so good in like every game. In no, Brawl, he's, he's like decent. In in the uh, in Smash 4, he's like pretty good. In PM, he's I hate, I hate him. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, Pikachu. Pikachu is the best across all the games. He's top tier in every game. Mm, I don't know. Have you played a Smash 64 Kirby? If Smash 64 Pikachu is dumb. Uh, dude, not as dumb as Kirby. Pika! All right, so, <laughs> but we're not talking about either of those characters right now. We're talking about a Fox and a Yoshi. And uh, you're gonna see a lot of drills from Stango, some up airs when he's on platforms to, to beat out the shield drops, those kind of things. Uh, Yoshi has a pretty good punish on Fox. Yeah. Like, it's like pretty solid. If he uh, gets a knockdown and a jab reset, I don't wanna say it should With equal the up -airs, death. Right? Yeah. It shouldn't equal death or something, but it's uh, pretty hard to get out of. It's kinda like the. Well, it's, no, it's not Donkey Kong. But. It's Donkey Kong esque. I would say like Ness. Like. Up airs and stuff, the double jump. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard to execute, but it is definitely hard to execute. I will give Yoshi's that uh, their character is pretty technical. Yeah. <laughs> but you can power shield grab, so you should never complain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peach is down smash in the air, dude. So how do you guys deal with the armor? Uh, up air. Foxes deal with it with up air. Um, so up air beats the armor. Yeah. Okay. Like pretty much every percent. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know if like zero will work or something, but right. It's you can feel pretty confident in up air breaking it usually. Ooh. Stango's catching these hands. Good tech chase. Yeah, I think Yoshi actually has down throw reaction tech chase on Fox. Wow. So yeah. he's chic too. I, <laughs> he's literally everything I hate about like top tier characters. <laughs> he can power shield grab. You ever played Rivals of Ether? No. I think that game is broken because you can power shield grab. So you can literally just stand there, power shield, and then beat someone out if you have a good enough reaction time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's what Yoshi is. Yeah, that parry. But he can't power shield drill. Yeah, so just spam it, dude. Spam drill. Look at this. Ooh, Ooh. that was a really good read. Back air doesn't even start really breaking it into, like... <laughs> High, I mean, I don't. High. Yeah, high percent. I, I wanna, I wanna estimate it at 80 or something. But okay, it's probably maybe a little high, or maybe it's a little low. Who knows with Yoshi? He's so dumb. <laughs> I shouldn't commentate this, dude. I no, should. you should. You're the expert, dude. <laughs> you think well, I know I, anything I think, about Yoshi? I think that was a <laughs> phantom. That was a unfortunate. Ooh, wow. Surprised Phenophobia didn't get that. That's like a Yoshi bread and butter. Yeah. Yeah. All I know is that Yoshi has armor. He can parry. He can't wave dash on shield. Crouch cancel in the air. He, can, he relies on shield drops. He crouch cancels in the air. <laughs> crouch cancels in the air. And he has Falco double lasers at the edge, but like, but like he can aim it upwards. 
And he's like totally can't, invincible can't the whole time. Can you grab the ledge? Like, can't you sneak in there? Uh, probably. I just try to beat it out with up tilt and like make the Yoshi just come in. Yeah, I up tilt the eggs. I saw Leffen do it once. I don't know if it's actually good. I'm just, you know, I'm assuming since if Leffen would do it, he used to main this oh, stupid character reset. that would uh, be the right thing to do. Oh. Nice. They're covering everything there. Ooh. Imagine if Yoshi was easy to play. I, I think I think Yoshi is pretty easy to play. You think so? Like I mean, like technical wise. Dude, there's no tech skill in this game that is so hard that you, like no like nobody can do it. That's true, and that sucks. Ooh, he didn't have time to. to he usually does the Akuma, the Akuma pose, but uh. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's on purpose. It's just like every game I've seen him win, he's done the Akuma pose. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what button it is, but it's probably X. Yeah, for Me people, and who, decided for people X. who don't know, you can actually pick your uh, your ending pose if you press either Y, X, or B. Is it B? Yeah, Y, X, or B. I, I, I just, I mean, like every character I use is either Y or X. Like Peach is the the Y. Oh, did I win? Ooh, amazing. <laughs> And then uh, Fox and Falco is X, because they fold their arms. Oh yeah, that one. That one's so good. You're not even worth Fox and Falco's time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good crouch cancel. <sighs> Man, I usually just go for shine up smash on Yoshi. To be honest, you can get better follow ups than up throw. Yeah. Because you have to like you have to shark. But like I guess Stango, you know, the Marth in him. Yeah. And Shark Master. That was a good up air, and then uh, to follow it up like immediately with bear. That took like a lot of game awareness. It's like that was like such a small interaction, but uh, he knew that he'd hit him out of the super armor that Yoshi wouldn't fly through the air, and that he'd immediately be able to bear him. And uh, you know, it's just that kind of little knowledge against Yoshi that really helps. When you know a lot about Yoshi, this matchup, it's fun fighting Yoshi. I'm not uh, I, like I won't sit here and pretend like it's not fun fighting Yoshi. Yeah. But like when you don't know the matchup and you think about everything that Yoshi has. It's uh, definitely frustrating to think about yeah. in principle. I hate Yoshi in principle. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, what the heck do I do? I can't hit him. <laughs> I can't edge guard him. But that's when you say, I just got to up smash the crap out of him. <laughs> Stanko going for double lasers and messing up. You know, Phobia trying to land one of those fairs. One of Yoshi's best combo starters. Ooh! Wow. Oh my god! That would have been sick. If he uh, made any other, like, tech choice, he's getting bodied. I heard me. I gotta play Glitter now. Oh, I guess nice. that means he lost to BMC. Yeah, he did. Oh, good up tilt. Grab? Oh. oh my god, the spot dodge master. I think, I, I'd like to think those spot dodges were mistaken. He was going for shield drop, because shield drop would have bodied Stango right there. Right. Yeah, and uh, Stango's really just sharking him, kind of. Like, he's waiting for him to land, and he's punishing the land. The landing lag. Which, a lot of people, you know, don't even realize there's there's landing lag just from jumping in this game. I think it's three frames. Yeah. In, in three or four or something. Like that. Yeah. If, it, if you actually... So, uh... Big proponent of uh, punishing it, I think, from from what I've seen, is like infinite numbers. Um, if you want to see how how to punish landing lag, you should watch some of his sets. Okay. Um. Oh, it's a turnaround. I think he just crouch gets that. Oh my God! Wow, That's get bodied. And Fabio <laughs> Fabio knows he's like. Yeah. <laughs> <Dag>. <laughs> If there was one get bodied moment in this set so far, <laughs> it was that one. Yeah, that, I think that was a uh, spectacular. First thing. I mean, I would not have done that. I think actually, no, I'm no, I'm a liar. That was a bad idea. I don't know how how Pinophobia got. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't even like near the edge. He there was, was like, enough time for for like his brain to stop being uh. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how when you're playing and someone's charging something and your brain goes kind of stupid and you're like, oh man, oh, you roll into it's, it? It's the, uh, it's like, oh man, don't go into it, don't go into <laughs> it. And then you're like running straight into it. He, he had, a, he was charging for enough time that, uh, that, that should have stopped. Like, that should have gone away. Yeah. 
Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's another way to break the super armor. Um, up smash. And like I was saying, the up airs also work. Yeah. Good down smash. Oh my god. Tears. That's slow. <laughs> the fountain of tears. This is Pinophobia's tears. Look, look at it. Sango's not even smiling, dude. Yeah, all business. All business. <laughs> these up smashes, they just, they just work. I know. <laughs> Tried to up tilt that. Yeah, you can't uh, up throw up air, Yoshi, right? I don't know. I can do it to Kofi. Listen, look. I, I assume so that Sango like would go for it. Be able to yeah, it. I guess it, it just it's not actually something that works. Good spacing. Yeah, good spacing and good corner pressure in general. Like, oh. up smash, back air, up air. Okay, <laughs> what did he hit him with? I didn't. Uh, he he did up air. Okay. Yeah. Tiny little up air. Yeah. Back airs. Oh. Yeah, like it. I guess it only works on like the yeah, straight up maybe or something. I don't know why he hasn't been going for it. I, he's been opting to shark. Well, wow. <laughs> that was uh, not the best DI. He caught the shiki business just now. Yeah. He gave him the peachy, <laughs> like the peachy corporation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good ja jabber sack. Oh, I like the four tilt. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen a, a Yoshi really use four tilt for that. It's kind of like peach four tilt. Yeah, like super situation. Mm. Uh, Stango looks like he's uh, oh. he's, he's starting to clock in a little bit. But I wouldn't count Pinophobia out too much because you know, it's pretty good. And also that uh, Yoshi has has the young zero to deaths on him. Yeah. But not if he uh, does bad edge cards like that. Oh, try to get that snipe. Stango answers back with the up smash. That should be another up air? Okay. Nice up smash out of shield. And uh, that was just in general really nice stuff out of Stango. Are you gonna play glitter on stream or what? We're doing the commentary rotation right now. The rotato. So, BMC versus Bones. We're breaking into top eight. You guys just tuned in. This is a University of Delaware melee tournament. Did doubles earlier. Uh, we got a lot of good players turning up here. That's but the one thing on Yoshi is where players I got the from armor Maryland break up there in the yeah. back air. Jersey. That links. Yeah. That was a true link. Philly. So good. Yo, what's up? Yo, good stuff, dude. Thank you very much. Now my boy Eric, fighting for his life in top eight. Right? Yup. I believe the kid can do it. Finally breaking into top eight. Got I think this is the last match before top eight. I think this is... Oh. Winner, winner gets... To get into top eight. Right? Yeah, I think uh, winner gets top eight. Um, I have to find my phone. Oh. Is that it over there? I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. So loser, loser, loser gets ninth. Fox Dittos. Smokey, resident of Philadelphia, versus uh, Glitter, resident of Delaware slash Berkeley, California. Alright, so I'm assuming this is a warm up? Yeah. All right, cool. One of these players is going home. Going home. But who will it be? Find out next time. Later on. Our Super Smoky. Smash Brothers. Melee. Melee. It's a melee. <laughs> All right, so, I don't know. 
R2D Lu has consistently beaten Smokey recently in the Fox Ditto, so I have no clue if uh, Glitter is going. Good shit, dude. Wait, you did? Oh, we got we got brotherly love. Brotherly love. I may hate the Wiener Brothers, but I definitely am enjoying them right now. The Wiener Brothers. Yeah, chum and slug, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 Who did you beat? <laughs> Who did you beat? He beat Ultima Scout. Oh. You know, I my theory is whoever be, when you get your first Ultima Scout win, that's like when you know you're actually improving. Yeah. He's a gatekeeper, definitely. Yeah. All right, so we're starting uh Glitter Smoky Fox Dittos. Um I think Smokey's super good at the Fox though, you know. I'm I'm sure he's learned some things from RTD Lu. They they've played a Ooh. lot of sets. In the in the beginning of this quarter of the PR and also last quarter. Okay. So this is going to be an interesting set to watch. Oh, good text from Smokey. Wow. No, that's actually Glitter. Uh. Oh really? Yo, Evan, switch the names. Switch. Yeah, switch the names. Yeah, I'm 100 percent positive. It's Nancy. That's his girlfriend. <laughs> Unless glitter with the mind games. <laughs> glitter with the mind games. But glitter always. You plays can't the light, beat me sure. if I'm your girlfriend, <laughs> the one you love. The one you love. So uh, okay. He takes the first stock pretty convincingly. Nice. That was a really good shine nair, especially the nair drifting like away from shield grab range. He has one chance. Good to come DI. Back. If he gets hit again, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Yeah, in that situation, you know, you just gotta kind of hope. Just hope <laughs> that they mess up. Yeah. Or you just super trick them. Eric's oh. um, nares are looking a little slow, but I'm sure he's going to speed up later on in the set. This is a 2 out of 3, I think. Uh, yeah. I think winner of this gets top 8, is guaranteed into the top 8 loser side, and the yeah. other one gets uh, ninth. Oh, that's a wave dash. Honestly, I think Ooh, he good. kept running. All right, so he tries to cover the landing option off of B. Is the side B by Glitter? <gasps> oh. That was actually almost super bad for Smokey. Yeah. <laughs> Smokey's just holding center. He gets shined towards the corner. Up throw. Nice. Back air. Nice. Nice grab opportunity. Doesn't go for ledge. I thought he was going to grab for a ledge, too. Now nah, you know, Glitter doesn't really, um, he's not like a ledge guy. He's not like R2D <laughs> No, he, he. I mean, he goes for the ledge all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. But that definitely did look oh, like a ledge. Oh, punish that! No. A throw, up air, back air. Okay, he covered it. Go. So this is even. Smokey just needs a nice. Wow, that was the turn. fastest grab. It was so he like grabbed him out of the air as he was falling through the platform. That was nice. Up tilt. Ooh, nice. Nice. There. Ledge. Smokey's looking all point. He tried to shine the crap out of that up e. Wow. Eric's playing really on point. This whole stock nice. is just like... But this is Glitter's chance. Good jab reset. Up tilt. He tried to all to cancel the back air so he'd be able to grab uh, tech away. Yeah, full hop back air is auto cancel, right? Yeah, if you do it fast enough, you can auto cancel on the battlefield platforms. Good short. Oh. Straight? Oh, he rolls. I think that was meant to be oh, wave dash up smash. All right. So if Smoking can kill the stock with his invincibility with taking like no damage, this is an even game. Oh. He read the roll too. Just did it a little oh. too early. <laughs> no. Uh, this is super scary. He's okay. overextended now. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, I think Glitter. Yep. Glitter's. He's getting him. Oh. Up there. Oh. Back air. I think. He All right. He needs one back air here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He has 60% though. I don't know. Uh, you could clutch it out. If yeah, he plays definitely. It right. This is like really scary, though. Ooh, ooh, the pressure. <laughs> All right, nice nair. Up throw, back air, really bad di. Oh, get the <laughs> glitter was moving across the stage, That's it. and yeah, cleans it out. <laughs> Snacks, it make was sure to point long. out that the uh. Match was four minutes long. Hey man, they're trying to play safe. Yeah, this is for top hey, eight. Hey, this this is top level play. Man. This is supposed to be for top eight. The, you know, I'm going on Reddit, man. The TO is harassing the players while they're playing on stream. I'm going on Reddit. Reddit. Reporting this. Reddit. Reddit. <laughs> uh.
All right, so <laughs> going to Yoshi's. Um, I would imagine that Smokey likes. Yeah, stage. he it's his favorite stage yeah. for Fox. He just seems like that kind of guy. He's definitely Yoshi's Fox. It's like Yoshi, Yoshi Fox players, you yeah. know. Aggressive. Funny thing, he hates Yoshi. <laughs> 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 That's all he's talking I about. I heard while I was playing, yeah. he was like, I shouldn't commentate Yoshi sets, but I <laughs> want to tell people how much I hate him. I was like, dude, I need you. <laughs> I don't know anything. But, uh, okay, Glitter. Close Eric sits up in his seat. He's getting a little more serious. Yeah. Powering up. Oh, and by yeah. powering up, I mean just, like, run crouching into his and, arms. Yeah, crouching and not doing a shine. You know, at first I thought it was PBJ making a mistake, but I'm pretty sure he's just. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's just it. advertising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the people don't see it though. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. Oh. Okay. Can Smokey get the side guard? Oh, oh he shot up smash. Really good angle. Uh, he's at high, such high percentage. He's dead. Yep. He's dead. Oh, grab that ledge! No. Oh, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> okay, glitter, you got me. Oh come on, Eric. <laughs> Oh man, he's missing these edge guards. He needs to get a kill right here. If he go, if he drops down another stock, this is super bad. Ooh, he's taking so much damage. Oh, that's a sick there. <laughs> Good up tilt. Oh. Wow. And I think I don't know. Glitter just looks like he's really comfortable right now. Okay, finally gets that. Let's go, Eric. The up throw up air. You gotta play real careful now, though. Yeah, dude. He, nice. Ooh. That was super good shine. Nice. Another one? Oh, puts himself in the corner. Ooh. Oh my gosh. These back airs. So scary. Kills a shy guy. He's playing really patient now. I like it. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Let's go, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh, you missed air. the up smash. Oh, get him. Will I get the okie doke? The okie doke. Okie doke. He's okie doking. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Smokey. All right. Glitter Got it. Answers back with the back air and his last stop. Pull up my seat. Let's see. Uh, game three. Game three. Game three, baby. Oh, oh. Glitter doesn't want to let that happen. Yeah, he doesn't. He's about to okie doke him. I can feel it. He wants oh. the. He wants the back throw. Oh man. Oh. Oh, oh nice. that was smooth. Ooh. Smooth criminal. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Okay. Ooh. Good pressure. The shine there. Oh. oh, he almost had it. It's so close. Oh, oh no! no. Super reads from Glitter. Yeah. Oh, Glitter's got the reads. He's messing up though. He's messing up though. Yeah. He's he's nervous. Oh, good up smash out shield. Can't get that up there. Oh, so, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh so close. no. Doesn't get the outside. No. Glitter gives him the life for free. Come on. But it might not matter. Misses the back air. Gets the up air. Oh. And the miss tech on the platform. And they shake hands. Yeah. Glitter clutching it out. And I think that is our uh, top eight. So. Six set. We have. Uh, if I can open, <laughs> open up the. Is, is that the top eight? Do we have top eight now? No? What are we missing? What are we missing? One set? No, I'm not saying we're starting top eight. I'm talking about, are we in top eight? What the heck? And that's top eight. So we have two more sets until top eight. So do we? Are we just? We don't have any sets or? to put on. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, we could do winners first. Okay. We could do winners. Let losers catch up. Hopefully. So do you have the bracket on your phone so we could? Yeah, okay. I pulled it up on my phone and it didn't exactly Dang, come up. Dang, man. Dang. What's up? Oh, really? Oh. What the heck? What happened? In the middle of the set? What the heck? Come here, come here, dude. Oh, rip. Rip Smokey's controller. Dang. That sucks. His control stick, like, broke in the middle of the set. Oh. I didn't tell you to say anything. I was just letting the people know, man. Uh, and what I'm saying is, Smokey would have won. <laughs> Smokey would have came back. All right. All right, so.
Yeah, we're doing winners. Did you want to hop on some here? Eric, you want to come on? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. So, Smokey's going to come on. Uh, we got Bones versus BMC. Um, these two have a set history, right? Huh? These two have a small set history. Not much. Bones and BMC? Yeah. Oh, uh, I think BMC like won the last time they played. No. Really? Is no. this bad for Billy? I know it's bad I don't know for how, Weedle. I don't know how bad it is for Billy in general, but the last time they played, it was it was bad. It was rough. It was real rough. Really? Yeah, he, he put on a, a spectacle. So this was at the Fight Pit Westchester you're talking about? The, this, the, yes. Okay, so the last Westchester, yeah, where the Bones last... won, he gave it to Billy. He hard. really gave it to Billy. Really? Yeah. Wow. What about Weedle? Did Weedle come? Uh, I think Weedle lost to, like, Tim somebody i don't know okay i don't know if it was a well i know just from personal experience that bones is definitely like a floaty killer he's very good against peach with falco and it, it wasn't always like this right like no kinda, i think weedle used to like beat him pretty yeah convincingly sometimes it used to be, it used to be super sick because uh the way seating would work out <laughs> bones would have to play weedle he'd have to play weedle first and i'd always ooh, <laughs> <laughs> weedle would take him out both times <laughs> Yeah, so right now, Billy is, uh, you know, I don't really know how well he was playing on Westchester. I, I don't think but he's I, playing but well. I, but I know today, he's really on point. You think? Yeah, I think he's really on point. He's definitely up and up his clutch, clutchness. And, like, his combo game was just so sick versus Glitter. It was actually insane, so. Yeah, no, like, when I first peered into that set, it looked like Glitter had it. And, uh. Billy brought it back. Glitter, Billy brought it back. That's, what, guess, that's yeah. what I thought as well when I was commentating. So. I, was, I was getting prepped to beat Billy. Because I would have beat Billy. Hard. My Fox, my Fox Peach game? Ooh. 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 Four there. <laughs> Alright. Um. Bones is uh, really good in this matchup, by the way, if anyone doesn't know. Like, he's... You know, he knows how to abuse uh, Falco, Falco's full hop, his down air, his laser game. He doesn't really get, like, beaten easily by the, you know, the simple float, float above the laser height. He really knows how to combat against it. Let me let me say right now, this is off tangent. I definitely stepped up my Marth Fox game, just just from watching Chum versus you. Yeah, yeah, dude. dude I was playing so bad. <laughs> it doesn't matter, dude. They gave me everything I needed to. <laughs> I played his brother right, ooh, right afterwards. <laughs> I just, had to go for that puff counter pick the game. <laughs> ooh. All right. Uh, this is real close. Uh, practically tied. Yeah, pretty much. Dash stack. Turnips. There, yeah. there. Well, goes to the other side. I feel like Bones. If you don't kill Bones off stage, like he's the master of getting reverse hitted back to the other side of the stage. It's so annoying. He's so good at getting back to the stage. It's so dumb. Like <laughs> it's so annoying. Like I have to do the dumbest ways to kill him just so he won't get like sent yeah, back I to the exactly stage. I know exactly what you mean, dude. It's so annoying. I'm doing something really dumb to kill him. Like something that would work on no other Falco. Like if I tried doing the kind of, but he he. He recovers in such a niche way. Yeah, definitely. Um, he really knows how to abuse, like, Falco side B and, like, he's just, he's just good at recovering, man. And that's definitely a, an asset that you really want to have when you're a Falco player. 25%? Not really anything, like, marginal. It's not too marginal. bad, but uh, you know what they say, Falco spawns a death percent. Yep, that is true. But it actually is very true, it's especially so in this matchup. Ooh. Especially in like every matchup, dude. Oh, that hit! Oh. You see that flow cancel up here? It was so sick. Oh, the turnip drop! I don't know if that was an accident. I saw so he's been doing that a lot today, and he's dead. I don't, I don't know if it's on purpose. Now he's actually dead. No, he's not. Yeah, he's oh, dead. Well, Billy, he's dead. Billy held that dude. <laughs> but uh, but I think Billy might use the Z button. Except for aerials. I think he does. I use the Z button when I'm playing Peach to flow cancel aerial. I don't use any other thing. Really? Yes. Every aerial I do Z. Right. So we're gonna go to Yoshi's. Dude, I just can't wait to get Chinese food now. I'm, I'm sad I lost and now I just wanna eat. God like spacing. Ooh, dash great attack. dash attack. Okay. There? So one thing that Bones definitely does a lot, like he, he likes to side B on stage immediately. That's like one of the things that makes it really hard to edge guard him if you're first playing him. And Billy is like hard reading that with the like immediate flow cancel fares. So just from people who don't know about like Bones, like it's definitely a good thing that Billy's doing that because he's 
if on the offhand chance that Bones does do that side B, he's gonna die immediately. Billy's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, Billy's playing really good today. Um, I mean, this isn't a crazy leader, nothing yet, but. Down smash, dash attack. But he's Ooh. widening it. Ooh, he's, he nice. is widening it. Oh, man. Super unfortunate. I'm really surprised that turnip didn't hit. Yeah, it got, it got hit by the uh, the hitbox of the side B. Dude, I really messed up my finger with these headsets. What'd you do? When I was taking it off, you know how it clamps? It clamped on my finger right before. Really? Yeah, Let me see. Like right here. It's like, it's oh, like I see. bruised and like, there's also a slight paper cut. <laughs> you got paper cut by a headset? What a wiener. Plastic cut, I guess. Nah, that's a paper cut. Great, great. Uh, paper cut is just the the general speaking of a really thin cut that cuts really deep but doesn't like bleed. You know why paper cuts hurt so much? Because they cut so deep. Nah, it's because uh, it's like getting cut by a rusty sword. It's not like a clean cut. Yeah, it's like jagged. Yeah. And I also think it has to do with the chem like the chemicals on the paper. Yeah, it probably has a lot to do with the chemicals on the paper. Like stains. Mm -hmm. And now you know, you know, stream. Why paper cuts hurt? <laughs> <laughs> the corporation, <laughs> corporation's infomercial. Our P, our PSA on why. That that laser L smash was fantastic. Yeah, that was definitely like. But well, back to paper shiz. <laughs> that was definitely like a shiz L smash. Match five, match four. I mean. Yeah. Oh, that would that would have been the, the sick nasty follow up if he got that. That was gonna lead him down or up till and on a combo. Oh, great tech. So last, that's another thing that Bones does. It makes it, he's so hard to get off stage because he just freaking ops attacks everything, dude. I hate Bones. Don't you hate Bones? I, I hate Bones, dude. dude. I hate playing Bones, Bones so much. Look, look at him sitting in his little hoodie. He's always he thinks wearing. He's, he's, he's West Balls, dude. He thinks he's like. A Sith. Well, look at this guy. He thinks he's West Balls, dog. He, he thinks he's like some Sith Lord or something, dude. <laughs> You think he's blue West Balls? 14%. Yeah, definitely caught him jumping out of shield. In a really bad spot. Ooh, yo. He could've, he could've. Bones' laser game is actually really good. Like, yeah. That, that laser into the dash dance, like, he, wow, he could've dude. reacted to anything, but, like, Billy DI'd the laser in a way where, like, if he tried to attack, he would get, like, super messed up. Mm. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh, <laughs> I guess kicks. How do you how, you think Bones was prepped to do that? I think it was a reaction, and I think it was the right choice to be honest. Because if he air dodged, he probably would like only grab the ledge or hardly make it where Bones could cover land on stage with like shiner up to it. Dude, Billy's hair is usually so fresh. I don't know why he's covering it up. I think he's uh, he's copying me. <laughs> well, that's just because I have a crappy haircut. <laughs> Your haircut Shit. is awful, dude. Dude. You look ugly. I know, dude. I, I actually completely agree with you. I look so much better with long hair, right? Yeah, I mean, and like, the sides are especially messed up. Yeah, she, Wow, wow, dude, wow. I, I'm pretty sure that she must have been like a student or something. She, she was literally the worst person I've ever had with my haircut. But oh, alright, two or three weeks, I'll, I'm back in there. I'm looking sexy as AF. <laughs> wow, he's a... <laughs> he really kept them in the corner and just like... Bones is corner pressure, also. Super good. Yeah. Bones just has like all the tools to beat like floatier characters. I don't think he's like a, a, a Falco Ditto Master or like a versus Fox Master, but I definitely think that he is most certainly... I think certainly... he's really good versus aggro foxes. Yeah, because he plays so lame. So this is a big difference from uh, the last Westchester. Billy actually hitting these. He definitely missed like every single oh, one of them. Before. He did it a little too late, but he's still dead anyway. No, he's not. See, isn't Bones so st he's so annoying? Look at that. Okay, thank God he dies. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> I hate it when he lives. <laughs> it's always dumb. And then he combos you off of it. Ugh. Oh, he he always combos you off of it. <laughs> it's like all he has. So you're annoying. beating him up, and then he he kills you when when he's supposed to be the one dead. <laughs> But anyway, that was super solid combo. Yeah. By, by Bones. The forward air, the eye mix up. Nice dash attack. There's the. Ooh! Bones did that last time on Yoshi's. Ooh, get body. Alright, so like on Yoshi's, uh, Billy pulled the same turn up and he tried to throw the turn up and the side B ate it. So this time he covered the side B with an air and then threw the turn up. Yeah. 
great adaptation. Billy using his brain. I love it when pe when brain melee is on. When you're using your brain in melee. I never. I'm never using my brain, dude. Yes, you are. Shut up. That's all I am. Shut up, dude. I'm all heart. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I can't fight Marth. If I was smarter, I could fight Marth. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, that jab should have super been punished, but I guess yeah. he was buffering his spot dodge. Sometimes you get away with jab just because, like, the other person's not really expecting it. Dude, don't even don't even mess around and try and jab me. Don't even think about jabbing me. Dude, that's like 80% of my kills on you. What? Yeah. Dude, I... I get, I I get the young jab up smash. I destroyed... Well, I'm talking about, like, a jab, like, if you're pressuring. Oh, yeah, no, I would never do that, dude. You know, body me? <laughs> like, I'll, I'll purposely do I'll it. Throw up here. I'll, I'll purposely do, like, the worst, uh, <laughs> the worst, uh, shield grab ever. Get purposely jabbed and then while holding down and shield and grab you out of it. I think up throw up air on Peach is guaranteed with Doggo. I think so too, but it's, like, super dependent on DI and also how many lasers hit. I yeah. think if all the lasers hit, it's guaranteed. Well, I think, like, you can always hit it. It's just harder depending on what happens. Mm, I don't know. Cause I don't know. I want to see Billy get another chain grab. Well, first get the stock. Shark. Ooh, nice DI mix up. <laughs> Sniped him. I think Bones was trying to grab. The you think actually. so? Yeah, I've seen him do it before. In that yeah. in that very same sense. Nice. Ooh, that's a lot he of. He wants to cover to jump take. here so he can get grab. <sighs> no, don't show grab that. Nope. Oh, <laughs> I was choking. Make a mistake, lose your life. Those are the rules, dude. This is rules I would buy. Grab. No. Oh! What? what? Damn. I guess you did, Peach. <laughs> I did not see that coming, dude. Yeah, well, you know, I I thought the I, match was going to last maybe I'm like 30. I'm that punish, dude. I thought the match was going to last maybe like 30, 20 more seconds. But, you know, if you wanted to just close it out. <laughs> you got somewhere to be? You're in a rush or something? All right, so we're going... Didn't we start on Battlefield? Maybe. I know this is like Bones' favorite stage. Hmm. I think we might have started on Dreamland. No, we haven't been to Dreamland. Where did we start? Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Yo, Bones is using that gun, dude. He's shot like probably over 20 lasers already and he only did 12 damage. Wow, he was SDIing down and he freaking didn't get popped up on that up air at all. Shine Nair. That's when it's serious. <laughs> That's when it's really serious. <laughs> he's, he's trying out here. Ooh. That was that wave dash. Dude, you can't grab Peach like like that. You have to like know you're going to get the grab because if she spot dodges, you eat a down smash. Spot dodge down smash is so dumb. It's, why does she get a, why doesn't Marth get a spot dodge attack move? <laughs> Mark doesn't deserve anything! He's so good! <laughs> what are you talking about? He's like mid tier at best. The only characters that beat Marth are Fox and Peach. Peach does not beat Marth, shut up! Peach beats everyone, dude! <laughs> dude, that was actually Except the most for... godlike full cancel there. Yeah, that was so, that was good. So, that was so good. good. So good. Dude, the only matchups Peach loses is uh, Fox and Ganondorf on, on, every, on, on every stage. I, oh, wait. Yeah. Wow, Bones got robbed. On every stage, but Did you see that? You got like the, the weird hitbox and the down smash. Is that getting robbed or he should know his hitboxes? <laughs> Alright, dude. <laughs> you wanna go wall in sorrow after losing or something? <laughs> I, I think it's I think we had enough of you on here. Dude, I don't I don't I'm not sad at all. <laughs> nah, you shouldn't be. I got I get to commentate all of top eight. I'm actually pretty happy. Sick. Oh, dash deck. Dash deck, right? That's what I was thinking. Up tilt? Oh, oh, yeah! I'm gonna, I'm gonna start my quest for the stiffest controller of all time, and then I'm. Just I, never I gonna like stiff controllers again. recently. I think Billy, he needs to like somehow, somehow, some way, make Bones shield and then read his jump. Because I feel like Bones' reaction right now, in in terms of his current playstyle wow. in this specific match, I think Bones is looking to jump like a lot. Yeah, I mean he's been using the full jumps to get away a lot, so. I mean that's that's like Billy's specialty too. Like yeah, he's reason. really good at like covering jump, jump out of shield. Nice turn that up. Should be it. Oh, slaps. Pulls the turn up. Then he's gonna. So while turn ups aren't that good versus Fox, I think they're pretty good versus Falco. Ooh. It's because laser is so slow. 
It's mostly because Falco tries to stay back, I think. Yeah, that's actually true as well. Because Falco came right. Ooh! Oh, if he fell through, that that would have that turn would have fell. That would have got him so good. Ooh! Hope so. Bones is just waiting for his spot. He's not really trying to kill Billy. He's actually just trying to outplay him. That's really what like a lot of play a lot of players really struggle with when they first start out. Like when they're when they're first starting out and like they're starting to get really good. And let's say you play like someone like you know top 100, super good. Like you may like take a game or like do something really cool like last stop, but like it starts to get in your head like oh I want to win right now like so you so you stop you st you like forego your game plan and you just want to kill them instead of just strictly outplaying them. That's how you get the kill. Wow. Wow. Great. Wow. That's the first time we did the whole set. And you know that's not a legit uh, setup. You could definitely jump out of that or di correctly. Right, but uh, he hasn't been abusing it as much as Blake in the set. He's usually a di mix up kind of. Like Falco with grab in terms of grabs, but he's been um, opting Ooh. for up throw a lot. He went for one down throw earlier on in in the set, and then he like down, down tilted. tilted, yeah, which is pretty good. I mean, hey, if they don't see it coming, like you can definitely get like. That's why di di mix up combos are really good, is because um, you know you can get kills earlier than you would normally get them. Wow, did you oh, see that? Really what? He like threw the turn up and it got cancelled out by the platform. Yeah, if you throw it at certain heights on Battlefield, it just disappears. Wow, that's... that's yeah, it not... sucks. It sucks. Dude. It really, it really sucks. Because that, probably that angle is the most godlike angle that the turn up flies. Dude, I lost... You remember when I lost to that Marth when I was playing Peach? Uh, Adam? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what happened. Really? Yeah. You got killed off of it? I got killed off of it. I was so mad. Alright. Will this be game five or will Billy come back? He's... That's dead. Okay. Bones... Pounds, Game five pounds his leg a little bit. So what do you think, Dreamland? FOD? Have they played FOD? What freaking stage did they start on? Do it was it? definitely Battlefield. I am a hundred percent convinced. Well, Bones usually ask, Kevin, do you want to go back to Battlefield? <laughs> I always say yes. <laughs> it's the wrong choice. It's, it's the, the wrong, wrong choice, choice every time. But I am willing to play a Battlefield Yoshi set with him every set. Ooh, Billy looking a little. I don't know. Is that distressed? I don't know what that is. I think that's think. Yeah, that's thinky thinking. face. You know, like on iPhones, like. <laughs> oh, the Tim. Nah, it's the that. Man? I definitely call it like parentheses thinky face. No spaces. <laughs> that, if it was a Twitch emote, that's what my Twitch emote would be. Thinky face. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going on fountain. I kind of. Good power well. shield. <laughs> oh. He's pulling him out. He. <laughs> He's like, this is how you win game five, dog. <laughs> you start power shielding in the last game. <laughs> That's the real strat. Oh, wow. That was the most unique setup I've ever seen. I always wait till game five to punish Peach on a very specific kind of thing. Like the air dodge, I only punish that game five. I let the Peach think she can do it all set. Ooh. They've been conditioning each other a lot, actually, this set. Yeah. Like I do. Speaking of. Like, I, I want to see grads. But, you know, he's making it work. Dot eyes. Dot eyes OP. That sent him so far. If that was a normal turn up, he probably would Read the crap out of his joke. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we were staring at each other. We know, I know you guys can't see that, but we were just like looking at each other like, well. Oh, that was a guy like, oh, <gasps> that's it. That's it. Nice. That was super good. And really low percentage too. That's what this match is really about. Like a battle of attrition. Like. If Peach kills Falco at a low percentage, Falco's in a world of hurt for the next, like... I'm surprised he didn't go for a down air. He went for it there, but Billy's uh, SDI just really on point. Wow, this is, like, super close. They're both playing, like, really on point. This is, like, a really, really fun set to watch. I didn't like that down air. It felt like it should have been an air. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Trade. That's a good trade. Yeah. I like that trade. <laughs> I take that every day of the week. Oh. Oh. Man, my body you, reacted you, to both what do you, of them. What do you think about, like, some wave dash back at, uh, down tilt? Um, which character? Peach. Peach? I think That's that would work good. pretty well with how Buns is approaching right now. He's doing yeah. a lot of, like, overshoot aerials. The way I like to approach Peach is I like to wait for her to float, and then I like to shine her out of the, the float in the air. Oh, he's, he's going on down our town. If you ever played against Bones, you know what Down Air Town is. He definitely goes goes to Down Air Town sometimes. Watch my feet. 
Oh, uh, the platform, I think he wanted to fall through and, like, attack, but he, like, inputted the attack right when he's he He's using the top left, though. More than he was before. He needs to- Billy needs to pull turn -ups. Oh, that's it. That should be- Billy needs to pull turnips to deal with um, Bones shooting so much lasers. He needs to he needs to get a projectile out on the field. Yeah, fifty two percent isn't awful though. Like he can definitely. No, it's not. Nice, wow. very patient. A good side beat from Ooh. Bones though. Bones testing his reactions. Okay, I like that. He 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 really had. That's that's a hard thing to react to. Nice. Um, see, he's testing his. He he he's finding. Okay, this is close. Billy needs like one down smash, and I think he can win. Everyone's watching. Yeah, man. literally, my, every, my... Every, everyone who who is in melee right now is literally watching. The tos are watching. Everyone has paused their games. My heart is pumping right now. This this is this is a pretty wow. I'm surprised. Ten set last talk. Ooh. Bones is staying off the ground. He does not want to get down smashed. He knows that's going to be the turning point in the game if he does. Bones is playing the War of Attrition, and then uh, I think Billy's just like looking for that one opening. He's trying to he's trying to really bruise him up if he gets him. Good roll. Great roll. Great roll. Yeah, dude. Oh, this is so close. Oh, he crouch canceled by accident. He wanted to fall through and attack him. I think he should wait here. This is a bad bad time to approach. He has he doesn't have any additional platforms to help him. Just keeping him in the corner. Oh! Well, let's go, Billy! Let's go, Billy. Nice and easy. Okay. What Great F throw, I think. <gasps> nope. He read it! He read it! He read it! Oh my god, god like double lasers from ledge. Billy did so much with that oh. one opening. He did this is so close. <gasps> oh wow! Really, really great punish. You know, if you're facing, if you're on the very edge of a platform and you get knocked off and you're facing off of it, you can actually counterattack them. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly what he what he did there. I think Sfat is the one who who really wow. started showing us that we should be using that like all the time. Dude, People so were good. doing it before, but Sfat. So it's me and RT Dealer now. All right, is that semis? Yes. Okay. Um. I'll be doing this by myself, I guess, for now, maybe. R2, really good at the Marth matchup, always giving me the young pointers. I should probably start taking them, but uh, I'm stubborn. Stango, really good versus Fox. I used to body him, now I don't. <laughs> Sweet, Snacks is coming through. He's going to help out the kid on this young Fox versus Moth commentary. Every match we commentate together is Fox Marth. <laughs> Has it been? Yeah. Chum and Chum and Stango and what else? Slogan Stango. That was it so far. Yeah. Only did one match. But we're back. Let's we'll see if Archie Dilu can do what Slug did, but even better. I think he's lost like the last seven sets to Stango. I'm pretty sure. He was pretty close. One of them, like the one at uh the lab tournament, and then felt like Stango just bodied him out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, I think with Dave, since he plays like that kind of textbook style. That he only goes like one level deep, and then Launcher knows what to do to beat that, right? Or Stango. I think he wants his tag to be, but Evan's stubborn. <laughs> um, I kind of agree. Um, I think, I think if R two and I were to fuse, we'd be a, a very complete player. Be pretty good. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think he he thinks really heavily. He kind of just knows what works already. And uh, he goes for that. Yeah, he's definitely like looking at melee as a puzzle, like a flowchart. I think that's what makes uh, neutral games so difficult for him. Yeah, probably. Well, he knows like all the things that are like frame good versus characters, but maybe he doesn't know like how to figure out what they're doing. Right. You know. Man, I. I you guys want to make a Chinese run leader? Um, sure. All right. Good. I don't know where we're going. The Chinese food pot here. Alright, chain grabs. <laughs> grabs already. Okay, R2D, uh, D Lu keeping control. Wow. Without room to dash in the corner, uh, Marth can be pretty weak. So, glad to see that he's taking advantage. And stock. Yep, that's what you gotta do.
Down air, technically, like, it, it's, like, good on shield and stuff, but, like, you usually get shield grabbed if you do it. Yeah, you have to hit, like, the last hit of your down air really close to the bottom, like, when you land. Or else you get grabbed or a beat out of shield or something. Wow, great walk-up grab. And then... Edge guards. That's gotta be it. Done. That was so quick. Just like uh, how he, he did the edge guard itself. Clean and simple as possible. Alright, so uh, Archie has got him in a corner again. This time, Stango fights back. That's it for that stock. Oh, he's back. Okay. Tox is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> we play a dumb character, dude. I don't know. I think he has his weaknesses. Make up for it. Right? Yeah. That's what I tell people. I think it's true. I actually believe it. <laughs> wow. Alright, definitely thought that was going to be a forward smash, but... I also thought that, but, uh... Stango, him, yeah. Stango likes to feel himself a little. Ooh, I like crash that crash cancel. cancel. Yeah. And now... He was going for reverse nair, but we'll take it anyway. Works out in the end. He's, uh, he's been trailing by 25%. Like Both stocks, right? Yeah. Wow, I didn't think he'd even be able to get that grab, but Mart's grab range is uh, slightly ridiculous. Yeah, definitely. Up A little early on the up air. Alright, Archidilu hasn't touched center stage for like 45 seconds. And, and that's uh, the stock. Yeah, European Ken combo. Which, in a lot of ways, way better than the regular Ken combo, because, like, it's not going to hit them into the stage. Yep. Down throw. And you can hit it from higher up. Usually, uh, Marth players say, if they're, wow, that was amazing. That was. Let's go down and get them. So, in terms of, like, edge guarding Stango, there has been absolutely no hesitation. He's kind of just, you're off the stage and he's, he's running in and he's just like, bang. Yeah, if you're below the ledge, you're done when you're playing Stango. Yeah. Let's go down there and hit you. I guess was what you should do. I'll give him a chance. He goes for the read. R2 doesn't fall for it. And in terms of, like, the punish, R2 is, you know, he's putting in work he's on Stango. Right. If he gets a grab, it's, like, a lot. One thing I noticed, though, like, for that grab, he did get 70%, but when he was done, he was on a platform and Stango was in the center of the stage. Yeah, it's because he goes for a little too much. He doesn't try to, like, bait out anything. He tries to maximize the punish rather than uh, reset it. And, or, like, not even reset, but, like, Try to beat something out. That was interesting. <laughs> I feel like that Nair was uh, not a reaction. Yeah, no, I think he knew. Read. He wanted to fall off with the bear. Wouldn't have connected anyway. But he probably been, would have been able to like react and punish afterwards. Oh, I thought that was another fair. Yeah, is that it? Yep, even on Dreamland. Uh, Fox is up smash. Alright, maybe you're right, Fox is too good. And I'm surprised he went for a neutral. Actually, you know, that neutral beat made a lot of sense. R2 has been... He's, well, he's known for shortening and like... His recovery is in general really good. So I think Stango went for a hard read on a short in there yeah. with the neutral B. Well, and, and if he did do the uh, Firefox instead, he would be able to like let go and then get a regular edge guard. Wow, wow. that stock just vanished. That's like the, the Pew Pew you can combo where you only get one pair. Yep. Back there, yep. Just get that Marth off the stage. Okay, RTD was usually the clean master, but he's looking kind of sloppy at the moment. Compared to usual. Is that okay? Yes, it yep. was. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. No, don't worry. That's that's good. Uh, just runs in and grabs him. Another edge guard. Oh, wow. I think he's going to make it, though. An interesting idea from Stango. It usually usually works out. Oh, 
on his head. Yeah, because what Fox is expecting that? I think I think the actual move should be a uh, side B and then up B, because um, even if they tech it, you're grabbing the edge. Um, Come hit him again if you want to. Yeah. But I think Stango just wanted to be like, bang, get out of my face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I think like the side B down air isn't that a thing? Yeah, pretty sure it is. Or uh, side B, side B, side B. Yes, down. like we saw from Mewtwo King, right? Yeah. This uh, side B spike. It's a meteor, I think, right? Oh yeah. There, there are only so few spikes in this game. One of which being Falcon's nipples. <laughs> a fact everyone needs to know. <laughs> Look out for the nips. Bart's down air, Falco's down air. Roy's up B, up smash my bad. Is his side B uh, a meteor? No. His like upward hit one? No? It's a, it's a meteor. It is a meteor? Okay. But Roy's up smash is definitely a spike. Yeah, and uh, Ganon, Ganon's down B. It's a weird game we play. <laughs> oh. Just go down there. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I, I was going to say, he hasn't been like jumping towards the stage ever. So if you're a Marth player, you can just like read jump back or jump up, go after him, and then. Uh, Forward air on reaction. I feel like he really should have just gone down there and taken that. Yeah, I think so. Because at that point, like you're at such a high percent, it's low risk anyway. Yeah. Oh, pretty strong punish coming in from R2D Lu. Yeah, really, uh, mostly evened up the, the game. I mean, Marth has a hard time killing at high percents. Yes, for sure. I think that's one of the reasons, like, controlling the stage is so important to him. Because they're not near the edge, they're not going anywhere. That's I feel like that side beat was awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's been doing it and it hasn't been working. Gotta think of something else. Ooh, maximum range! A good up smash. Yep. A lot of room in there. Yeah, Dreamlight's platforms can be so hard for Marth sometimes. VDI just right. I think what Arch I think what Arch Lu did is he um, he only did like slight DI on the first couple up throws to get in the perfect position where he could like do hard DI all the way to the platform to make it the most difficult. I, think uh, I knew we, I knew that down like I, I thought it was gonna be up there. Nah. I like the down air because uh, we would have been able to follow it up on the platform afterwards. Yeah. Archie Lu, really solid player who's really struggling. But he gets a grab. He's got the stage. This is all he could ask for right now. Oh, no. He's having some troubles uh, edge guarding Stango. Yeah, we're even just keeping him in the corner. Right, I don't think that's going to do it yet. Nah. Yeah, and he just like ends up in a bad spot again. I think he might have smashed the guy that nair downwards. It's pretty cool. First hit. Wow, that jab was <laughs> so far. I think it might have been Castango grab. Yeah, I think so. Oop, that might be it. Oh, oh yeah, it's awkward to uh, punish off of. He gets the weird reverse back air. Oh, he makes it back again. This is not okay. All right, that's it. Finally, that's ninety-seven percent. Yeah, this will be quite a comeback, and that's that's going to be it. The three-zero. Stango. Well, damn. Which puts Stango in winners finals, I believe. Against Bones, right? R two is in losers quarters. Is that what happens when you lose in semis? Uh, I don't know, it's quarters. Yeah, I think it's quarters. And now we have BMC versus Fendrick Lamar. Fendrick definitely took me out today. Me too, actually. <sighs> Smart, dude. He's so dumb. I blame myself. He's not dumb. Yeah. He played okay, and it was my fault for losing. But You're right. I don't know how your set went. That's what happened to me. Martha's is, Martha is just on. You want to come on?
rough life for me. What? Nothing. The sides of your head look ugly, dude. Huh? The side of your head looks ugly. <laughs> it's gonna get it as long as it looks that awful, dude. Huh? <laughs> so this is gonna be Marth Peach. I used to play this matchup like all the time. I love this matchup. It's both interesting. Ends. The thing is, like, it's super hard for both of them. I think so. Uh, this this matchup's a thirty thirty. I don't know if you you guys know Brog and stuff. I know you do. Yeah. Uh, we think this is the most melee matchup in the game. Uh, yeah, it could be. Wow. There's a lot of mix-ups, a lot of like conditioning, spacing. You, you like. You have a certain range you want to keep Peach in. Peach has a certain range she wants to keep you in. Yeah, I guess that's true. And then it's like the wall versus the movement, right? Yeah. I guess there is a little bit of everything in this matchup. Wow, Fenwick Lamar showing his... Uh, Guns blazing. Yeah, versus Peach prowess. Up till this is uh, BMC's least favorite matchup by a long shot. Really? Yes. Okay, slaps. Great turn up. Wow. That was a lot of good stuff. But he gets back on the stage anyway, and BMC's at 83% again. This is one of the rare matchups that, like, very often strikes to FD. I, for me, it usually strikes to Fountain. Um, I don't like that stage as Marth. So I don't know. That's my least favorite in this matchup, actually. I think it's Peach's best stage in this matchup, but like Marth's I think it's Peach's, yeah. They always end up striking there. Oh, as Peach, right? Yeah. Oh no, I will no, I will strike Fountain against you. Forgot about PP. <laughs> Alright, we need a hefty punish to come in from BMC in order to tie this up. But like that's a, that's another thing about this match, right? Like it might be a war of attrition for uh for Marth, but it's definitely not a war of attrition for Peach in in the sense that like she's getting small hits. Uh, she, Peach hits Marth hard. Yeah. Um, you know, she ha if she has a turn up, I think she's winning. <laughs> like while while Peach is holding a turn up in her hand, she has the advantage over Marth, and while she doesn't, uh, Marth definitely has the advantage over her. Unless you're real close with the turn up, then that's the worst case scenario. Yeah. You can't do anything quick. No dash attacks. <laughs> Rundrick just gave it to him. Yeah, well, Peach is so bad from the ledge, it's not really a bad idea. Air dodge? No? Okay. He hasn't air dodge like at all yet. I'm kind of surprised. Rundrick is uh, using... Oh, is Cactuar dash is the term? Or, uh, I think it's the run cancel dash, right? I mean, there's like three Cactuar dashes. I know what you're talking about, where you crouch, right? He's, yeah, he's definitely... It looks like he's utilizing that pretty well. Yeah, I think it's important in this match turn. Yeah, I think it's pretty important in this matchup just for the fact that um, as Marth, your main advantage over Peach is your mobility and your range, right? Right. And using them both together is really important. So if you can take a bunch of the stage all at once using a mechanism like that, it's pretty good for you. Great F tilt. Oh, he gets the ledge. Yeah, and that's the first time he went for it. Usually he just gave BMC the, the ledge, so. Yeah, but I want to see good conditioning. I don't know. You know. That was that. I mean, he's been BMC went for it the last however many times in a row. Then I think downer would have worked better. There. Okay, great ass smash. Yeah, this matchup is looking very hard for Peach right now. Ooh, that recovery. BMC has been rolling in every time. It'd be nice if he at least uh, <laughs> did something just else. Got up. <laughs> yeah. What was Leffen talking about? Leffen was like, "Oh, I found some revolutionary stuff." Peach on the ledge. I have no clue. True. Uh, he said he found out a way for Peach to get up on the stage invincibly, which I feel like would be a super game changer. Probably something double jump cancel related or something. Yeah. Well, I think a, a big issue is that uh, Peaches use their their float um, to get back on, right? Yeah. If if you just grab the edge without using your float, you still have it while you're on the edge. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, Frenchy closed that out. Pretty solid two stock. In this matchup, even if you're at like 80%, you two stock somebody, that's still a solid two stock. Yeah, because this is this is a matchup where it goes blow for blow usually. Yeah. So. 
Dreamland. Definitely the Peach counter pick. She's gonna live a lot longer. I mean, I don't know who Fendrick uh, Lamar's been playing, but he is a super solid Peach matchup, it looks like. Wow, great turn up there. Do you know if Billy uses Z to, to do aerials? No, I don't think he does. I think he uses mostly the... Um, C-Stick? Pretty sure. I'm trying to look at his hands right now. He also uses the C-Stick to throw turnips, fun fact. That's how you throw him the hardest. Yeah. I double jump canceled and throw my turnips out of shield. I don't know how good that actually is. He uses A for his uh, aerial, it looks like. Most of them. I feel like I'm the only person who uses the C stick for almost all of the aerials. So many people use the A button. Hendrick super wasted his jump while he was out there. Yeah. Like, ultra wasted it. Like, threw it in the trash bin. And then there was this. no mix up. BMC had like one thing to cover, and he did. So this is where the matchup gets hard for Marth. If you can't take out Peach before Peach gets a bunch of damage, you're at a huge disadvantage. Yeah, and that just tends to happen on the stage, right? Like, like Peach is just going to be at high percent a lot more often than she won't be. Yeah, it's just the way it goes. But I mean, Fendral Kamar did a pretty good job of damage control that that stock at least. So. Right, he only took like 30%, you know, when he took that stock. Great roll away. You know, BMC's been rolling towards the middle of the stage a lot. A lot more than I'm used to. Wow. wow. Yeah, I think uh, Fendrick Lamar noticed or heard me, one or the other. And that's that stock, yep. That's, uh, that's, not, <laughs> that's not good for BMC, I'll tell you that. Great for Fendrick. Yeah, BMC is getting frustrated. Just a little. While that dare was bad, I like the idea. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> if it know? hit, he would be great. Yeah. I mean. he, that's a low percent kill on Peach. So, like, right around this percent? Wow. So, right around what would have been that percent? Uh, when, <laughs> when, uh, Peach... <laughs> <laughs> he super left it when he heard me say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, when Peach is at like 80 and you F throw uh, Marth, you kind of actually have a semi-guaranteed uh, tipper F smash if you do the the pivot. The pivot, yeah. But it, it doesn't look like Fendrick is doing it too much. I, I think I might have seen one. I saw him do a couple smash turns earlier, so I'm, I'm gonna assume. He at least knows the mechanics of it, and uh... Yeah, he might just not be like fully comfortable with it yet. Yeah, I mean, do what you're comfortable with, because that's what one you said sometimes. Yeah, for sure. But sometimes, you know, you, lose him, you gotta you gotta try out something. Especially when you've constantly been like a stock up going into the last one. Right. Just do what you've been doing. The ball's in your that's opponent's a good dash court. Yeah. Pretty good spot dodge. You read when you actually come in with that grab. Frederick Shield has definitely been holding out for him. I'm gonna say like, <laughs> like when I play Marth versus Peach, I know I hate it. My shield gets. <laughs> it's my least favorite part. Wow. I get reverse forward air all over the place. That's a stupid shield poke. I don't know what BMC can do different. This is looking bad, to be honest. Probably just hold off with more turnips, like you know, play lamer, right? Yeah. BMC's too cool for his own good right now. See, that's what <laughs> that's what happens to me. <laughs> Finally, about time. <laughs> yeah, I guess you said it. Yeah, no. Oh. There they come. And look, it's working out perfectly for him. And now he's got a bomb. That's how our model is this matchup. Yeah, it is. Turnips all over the place. And he, you know, he punishes F smash too. Yeah, so fun fact for you guys who don't know, uh, if you down throw with Peach, they have to DI backwards, and they can go backwards. If they DI any other way, they're going straight up. Yeah. So you only have to worry about two things when you down throw with Peach. Um, actually a pretty decent tech chase option. Um, I've, I've actually gone into the frame data of it, like, pretty, pretty intensively. Mm -hmm. I actually have a folder on my, my laptop that has every single punish Peach can do off of down throw on, like, almost every character. Every character that matters, at least. 
I definitely oh, think it's Peach's enough. most underrated throw. Yeah, because like... What? What? Yo, he's blowing my mind right now. <laughs> Wait, can BMC bring this whole set back? Alright, don't speak too soon. <laughs> yeah, he gotcha. does turnip drops like that, dude. He actually uses turnip drops a lot to like, kind of just hold space sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like right there, right? Like he uh, he dropped it right at the edge of the platform, and and uh, even though uh, Frederick was able to get through, usually like you know you would get hit by the turnip and give him a chance to get another one. Wow, tears. <laughs> yeah. He really slapped that out of him. Ah! <laughs> out of here. Get that stitch face out of here. But uh. Yeah, Billy's looking real good now. Like he, he's, but he's still like visibly frustrated for some reason. Like he's shaking his head. He's probably rolling his eyes. I know he likes to be the cool guy, but this is like I feel the same way. But this is like that matchup. This is that matchup. Yeah. Where you, where you gotta play like this. Where you you gotta you gotta have no soul, no soul, no heart. Like Peach has a rough time with Martha if she doesn't play this way. I really like how. Um, a lot of the times when he's in that sort of spot before, BMC was going back to pull turnips, but I think he noted that Fendrick Lamar was jumping up to that platform a lot, so he just, recognizing that Marth is weak coming down, punishes him and gets the stock. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say right now, that was a really good read on the air dodge. Yes. Uh, if I'm going to say Billy has, like, one true, true flaw that, like, you know, I get to punish a lot, that, like, I see get punished a lot, he air dodges on to stay a lot. He, uh, I mean, like... Granted, you know, Peach doesn't, doesn't have, have that much stuff, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but he, like, you know, definitely something he needs to mix up a little more. Yeah, I mean, when he's playing me, at least, he uh, goes to the falling aerial a little bit more often. I don't know what it is. His uh, turnip drops are fantastic. Yeah, he knows exactly where to put them. Wow. Pendrick Lamar with the damage output right now, pretty raw. Billy still has a full stock, and even, you know, 79% is pretty good, especially in this matchup. Like, yeah. he might as well have a full stock lead right now. Like. Yeah, you can make yourself a, a tank as Peach. Yeah. I want to say, uh, like, when you're, when you're taking into consideration how the matchup is going, uh, if P Marth needs to do, like, 1.5 times more damage than Peach does, or something yeah. like that. Like something to that effect like Marth has to do way more damage than Peach and the uh, the benefit of playing Marth is this situation we see right here uh, he's doing a lot of damage but BMC hasn't touched the ground until right now for the past like 40 seconds you can just keep them out the whole time that was a great great fair uh, Billy finally getting on the board yeah 2-1 uh, and more than that like he looked frustrated I think that's a win to be proud of um, he started playing the matchup way differently. He adjusted mid-set. It's going to be interesting if Fendrick Lamar can adjust back and win one of these next two games. Uh, do you know Cairo? Yes, I do. Okay, so one of the first things he said to me when I started maining Peach or like playing Peach a lot more is uh, don't crouch. No, is <laughs> is uh, this is a free win for Mori. <laughs> Yoshi's Peach. He used to say like it's hard. Yeah, it's dude. You can really just swing your sword around and win sometimes. I mean, it's not that simple, but it's that simple. Yeah. Look, forward smash. Melee definitely has those kind of things where it's like, it's not that simple. The, the that ultimate simple. scout stuff. <laughs> Let's him back. I think that was a pretty good, even even though he gave him a lot of stage, like, he was wow. able to safely keep himself a nice distance. Uh, this is the turnip drop clinic. 72%. Alright, the fight for center has been real these last two games. Whoever's in the middle just doesn't let the other person back. That was a great grab. Yeah. Mm. Gets his air dodge again. Yeah, he really, really... He needs to catch on just to the idea that, that it's happening. Like, stop, stop himself. Maybe he could, like, air dodge down or something, at least. I don't know. Like, Billy will have, like, he does have, like, other bad habits and stuff, but, like, usually if he gets punished for them, he's like, alright, well, I'm just not gonna do that. But it seems like the air dodge is, like, that one thing that the sticks. Do, yeah. Ooh, I like that crouch cancels the fair, and since his arm was sticking out, he got sucked into the down smash. I guess the one benefit of this stage is you kill Marth so much earlier. Yeah, and I think for BMC, like, he was having a hard time keeping Marth contained, but Marth is, like, always contained on this stage. 
Because he wants to play this matchup like a little more aggressively than most Peaches would want to. I definitely I understand that. Yeah. Ooh, what for the down air grab? Yeah, and that's that stock. And it's like every stock is like just a punish on the air down. Like you really He's gotta, gotta do something. Something that's not that. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, like I totally just I like I do understand though. There's the same punish we saw uh, that I mentioned last game, where um, Fendrick doesn't want to deal with the turnips and goes up onto the platform. So BMC reads that and just hits his, uh, him as he goes up. Yeah, it's definitely one of uh, Billy's greatest assets as a player. Um, and me and Stango talked about this a bunch during the commentaries. Just his uh, how quickly he gets a read on movement and punishes jumps. Yes, yes. And you know. A lot of people don't think about it, but that's like a super peach stable staple. Um, yeah, that's the Armada Special. Right. Like, one of the first things I needed to learn, I was like, man, how do I fight lame foxes, you know? Like, when fox plays lame, what, what do I do? You got to know where they're going next, and yeah. then hit that spot. Right. Not where they are currently. Just watch some Zero versus Armada at MLG. Yes. All he does is read, read where he's going to go and up air him. I don't think he meant to charge the F smash, but once he started, he just figured he might as well go all the way. Have you ever uh, seen that Gatsu post where he talks about like the good stuff from Billy? Game five. Ooh, this is the second game five of uh, top eight. Yeah. Um. Actually, I think the third. Uh, Yuan and Glitter played off stage and went to game uh, off stream and went to game five. No, me and Glitter played on stage and it was a clean 2-0. I meant after that. Huh? It was after that. Me and Glitter? No. Um. Yuan and Glitter. Oh, they played. Yeah, they played off stream. But um, he talks about like when you charge a move, uh, like do you do you just keep charging it, like even if you realize like or do you let it rip and then you let it rip and then yeah. try doing something else. And what does that tell you about your playstyle as a, like as a player? Like just to think about that that one simple thing, huh. and, like what it tells you about you as a person and a player. I definitely hold it. I do too. I'm a I'm a hoper. Well, it's because once you've already once you're already going to get punished, you might as well maximize your reward, right? If they mess up. That's the way I see it. Yeah. We have a super close game one, uh, game five. I yeah. feel like he should have re-grabbed that turnip and uh, made it again. Ooh, that was nifty. I don't know Ooh. if it was on purpose, but it was nifty. There was, I feel like there was a bunch of times Billy could have like punished and killed there and he just didn't. Wow, he's all over him! Great double jump cancel, Bear. Fares him off stage? Is that it for this stock, too? I'm gonna say Frunger got really lucky there. That random was there. Yeah. Really, really, really. If, if he loses this set, it's literally gonna be because of that. Uh, the air dodges. So we have those matchups where uh, one stock is not a lead. In this matchup, like... 40% is a lead. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah no, I mean, facts. Facts. this is a lead. <laughs> no. Oh, but if you're off stage, you can get spiked, you can get tippered. Wow, Frederick really, really <laughs> he just went out for it. Yeah, I don't think there's much Peach can do against that, right? No, not really. If she can air dodge, if she gets air dodge, if she air dodges back on the stage, it's like good for her. That's what we were talking about. Marth's shield is bad. <laughs> what we saw there? Yeah, no, Marth's shield sucks versus Peach. Like, you can angle your shield. Um, Light shield a little bit or something. Light shield. Nah, I don't even know if light shield works really. But you can definitely angle your shield. It's hard to know where to angle it to. I'm. Wow. Was that a pivot? I think it was. A pivot. I think it was. Yeah. I think that was one of the the two or three pivots we've seen from him so far. Yep. Good job diing away. You do not want to di in against Mars forward throw as a floaty. And that is what we in the industry call a bad idea. Uh, I, was, I was real worried about those fly guys in the turnips there. I thought they might intercept them. Oh, wow. Down air reverse fair? I don't know if that's a thing, but I like it. Okay. Instead of going for another turnip, he reads the uh, get up. That should be a stock. This defender still got a good shot. He needs to take this stock ASAP before taking too much more damage. And that's a good way to start it. Oh, another down smash. Damage Upper. is way more brutal for Mart than it is for Peach. I fully agree. So he he really he needs to cut this out real quick. 
Maybe not as much on Yoshi's, but... Oh, that was definitely an up tilt. I agree. That This could be it if he gets I the edge guard. Oh, oh wow. turn of drops. Uh, inter finally. It doesn't work out for him. Good nair. Risky nair. Comes Randall. Oh, good nair. All right, big lead for BMC. He's got to stay away from getting... Oh, that might be it. He's wasting his jumps out there. He really is. Like, it's, yeah. That's why he lost. Yeah, well, also it's, it's one big reason, yeah. All right, so BMC makes a 3-0 comeback. Uh, I didn't believe after game two. It looked like he was going to get bodied. Yeah, it really three. looked like Fendrick wow. knew what he was doing. He was uh, he's throwing on a clinic a little bit. That is a set that you want to watch if you want to learn how to adapt after a game. Uh, BMC was flustered, and he still pulled it off. I, I don't even know if I'd say it was an adaptation. More than I'd say... He stopped being stubborn. I think yes. I think Billy was being really stubborn the first two games. Yeah. Um, he, maybe he like didn't respect Frederick Lamar all the way. Like I don't know if he's ever played him before. He's like pretty all right. I don't know what it is. I I don't think Billy's the kind of person to to not respect another player. Not like me. I'm a monster. No, I don't no. I don't care about your no, feelings. All that kind of no, stuff. No, he's a guy who's like, oh, don't worry. I I definitely forced stalked him last time. He's is just, he, he's is not he? good. He is. He actually Ooh. is. And <laughs> on the and on the low, he's actually a rager. He actually gets so mad. That's wonderful. You want to you commentate? I All right, I Stango's going to hop in for me next. So now we got R2 and Glitter. I don't know. These, I, are these guys like homies or something? I feel like they um, were or something. So when Glitter... Glitter's only played recently in like the last two weeks, right? And uh, him and David have been playing a lot. David told me he wins about 70-80% of the friendlies. I gave David some blocks there to warm up. So, I'm pretty confident David will win this. Nice but if, stop, if Glitter like super powers up, it could it could be a bad situation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you guys out? I really want to get Chinese food. Like I'm starving. This is the struggle of a commentator, dude. <laughs> the real life struggles, dude. All right. Hey, Evan. Evan. Oh, speaking of red velvet, you know what I got at my house? What? Uh, you know GoPuff, right? Yeah. They make these uh, cake balls. Oh. And I got the red velvet cake. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> so you have good. no idea, dude. They are life. They are life changing cake balls. Yo, Evan, get rid of this bottom bar. Evan, get rid of this bottom bar. We see a uh, bar. R2 is really. We're seeing the Windows taskbar. Ooh, we take those. Um, yeah. It's, uh, this way, on the right. Just click it, I guess. Yeah? Okay, we're good. Alright, well... I'm definitely rooting for David here. Yeah. Because, uh... Gotta keep it in the region, dude. Well, not even just that. The first time I ever played Glitter, there's so many bad things. Uh, we, we played, like... At Super Nebs 3 in pools, and he tried lying, saying he beat me 2 1. A complete lie. I definitely Swift 2 0 this kid. Well, you know. Sarko. Anyway. And I also took him to Dreamland because I thought he was a cool player. I thought he was from California. Definitely the now lamest, lamest set of my life. Huge wiener. Super ran away the whole time. And he's clocking in on David. I mean, I've been liking his movement. He's been playing real cool. Like, the, like now. Um, so. I think David I is playing a little. Un I think he's underperforming just a tiny bit. Think so? He was underperforming against me, and I feel like, um, from what I'm seeing from David right now, I feel like he could be he he could be juicing up a little more. Maybe he's a little juiced out. I don't know if he had like any inte intense sets. I know me and him. He didn't really feel the intensity because he he was just getting frustrated, not doing the correct things, and like I was just you know kind of. I, I know you versus me definitely would have been closer. <laughs> Game five, dude. Game five. The legends. But I suck. I can't even make it to you anymore. It's all right, dude. Wow, that was great. Up tilt, up air. It's all right, Rocky. Stone Cold will be waiting for you, dude. Dude, I'm <laughs> I'm a sad boy, dude. You're gonna be like Brian. I mean, I need to just get a super real controller. Super godlike controller. 
Ooh. Yo, his shield stops are really good. Yeah, Glitter is really good at controlling his move. It's so abrupt and like unnatural. It's so yeah, that's a, that's a word for it. Yeah, it's definitely it feels unnatural. But it's like really it's really precise at the same time. Right. It's kind of like Ice's movement. Yeah, exactly. Very ambiguous. Like you, you see people who like dash dance or like do any kind of movement, and they're like, oh wow, that's like really tricky. But like Glitter, he's a hard kid to to track down, man. He. You call him up in one place, you're like, all right, I'm I'm standing in front of I'm standing in front of the mall, and he's not there. He's like in the tree somewhere, <laughs> just spying on you or something. <laughs> he's just like gone. All right, up throw, king grabs. That's for the up smash. I think he wanted to read an up air on the roll. Ooh, this is uh, pretty evenish. Yeah. David's making some reads. I don't really like that. I feel like David's strengths are definitely reaction based or just you know. He's a very he's a very guaranteed. reaction. Like he's oh. he's kind of like we said this earlier. He's like a bit of a more one dimensional. Yeah. As a player, but like like being one dimensional is fine. If you nice. If you him. get those situations often. Yeah. That up tilt may have just cost him this match. Oh wow! What a Buster Roni. He never would have missed that versus me. I'll tell you that. Dude. Oh, this is so wow. Why is he sucking so bad right now? I told you, dude. He's underperforming. Alright, he's dead. <laughs> That was close. All right, glitter. Um, I think last time, I think when you played Yoshi's, right? Yeah. No, he picked Battlefield again. Yeah, no. he's a he's a Battlefield kind of guy. Yeah, definitely not an FD Fox. He does not chain grab. He definitely opts for up throw up smash. So if David loses this match, I can definitely see this going to FD. Wow, great. Oh, great spacing. David actually thought he was going to just fly right into his arms and try to shield grab it. Back I really air. liked the, the reverse back air from David. I thought he'd up air, and I was like, eh. Nice. That was perfect stock. Yeah. Alright. He's starting to get he's starting to get moving. Um he's getting a little too antsy with these shield grabs. He's gotta be a little more careful. I I would like yeah, I like to see him use more shine out of shield. He's really good at it actually. Nice. Good drill. See? Yeah. He, he's abusing the shield. That's what you gotta do in Fox Photos. Because a lot, uh, a lot David of shield is... pressure sh strings are not really, like, guaranteed. You can shine on the shield most of them. Yeah. David is, uh, like, the, the reverse bear king. I'll say, I'll give him that much. He, uh, he's really good at using reverse bear to just continue combos. Yeah. Reverse bear and, like, is the really hard good. Hit of it too. Ooh, bad DI. I think he wanted to try to tech that. But I feel like he should have just opted for the easier um, live DI. No double jump? Oh no, yeah. That's what I didn't think he had one. This is a good lead. I mean, if he can expand it, grab back throw. He okey doked wow. him. Wow, what a. What a uh, Glitter is super sucked for that. Dude. I don't know. Yeah, that was, that was really bad. That was really suspect. Alright. David's in the process of making a four stock here. Wow, I can't believe he did that the happened. same jump twice. David was looking a lot like me. That's it. He kind of just did all the things I usually do to him. What was that? Michael Jordan lost before. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think Glitter can do this, dude. I think he can too, but David's definitely on right now. I would say. Yeah, David's David's turning it up. He needs to figure out a way to simmer him down. And, and I think a, I think like putting David in the corner is really where it's at because Yo, like David glitter sucks in the corner. Yeah, dude. he David's really bad in the corner, and also I think Glitter's corner pressure is like really really good. It's very systematic. Oh uh, yeah, he's like a oh god like angle stangle TM trademark. He actually keeps you in the corner very much in the same way that Mango does. Yeah. It's very similar. Um, Almost tried to pull it. Well, you know, Stangles can't beat everything. <laughs> they can't. Dude, Stangles don't work against R2. Okay. <laughs> R2. They, they really don't. It's so annoying. He's so good at just... You know, you know why? Because he, he, he refuses to call them Stangles. <laughs> everyone else calls them because they, they know they're good and everyone thinks it's funny. But they... David, David refuses to become a believer. That was a good nair. It's all right. I'll just have to invent ten more, ang ten new angles. Shine, turn around, wave dash, grab the ledge. That's Sick. super scary, dude. What? I never do that. Oh, I only do that. Really? Yeah. What? Are you kidding me? That's like the only way to grab the ledge. 
I just shine up B, dude. Definitely mutes King Fox. Oh, oh. They're holding down and trying to shine each other so badly right now. Ledge, yep. Nice. Hold the ledge. Alright. Dude, Fox Hunters are hard, especially when it comes to the edge guarding part, I would say. 25%. If you, like, super commit to one option or, like, one angle, like, you just you just can't do anything if they just choose the, the thing that beats it. So, you have to find a duality of, like, grabbing the ledge and staying on stage without being obvious about it. And that's actually a really difficult thing to do. Because Fox doesn't have, like, a great answer to, um, downwards angle on stage. Best... I can't wow, 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 believe wow, wow, that hit. Wow. I'm just calling that out right now. That's a Stango Nair. I <laughs> definitely do that Nair all the time against side Bs. I think that's that's a Smokey, dude. That's a Smokey Smash. Get out of here. No, Smokey Smash is forward air. What? In a, in a combo. I mean, yeah. Don't say what. Cause you that's, know, that's true. That's your thing, dude. I also love doing down throw at the edge. <laughs> I have so few things. <laughs> You gotta get Actually, you know, where he does that nair, I usually jab. That's what I do. Oh. Forward throw? Okay. Ups. Alright. Whatever. Feel yourself. Wow, he's. Are what all it? of our two sets gonna be 3 0s? <laughs> ledge? No, not ledge. What? Wow. That was nutty. That was real nutty. Huh? Me and Moans. Alright. Is this uh, winner's finals? Yep. Yo, real quick. Marth this time. There's always a Marth involved. Yeah, I'm back. More <laughs> Marth. Let's go. Uh, Bones was looking pretty good versus Billy. Didn't he beat Stango recently at a Westchester? I feel like it was... Oh, you know, you know what it was I was thinking of? Bones was, like, typically the winner, and then Stango's won the last couple, right? The last two, yeah, I think? Yeah, Stango's had a, a pretty pretty strong dominance over... Yeah, he's got a handle on it, for sure. Philly scene. Um, he's only lost recently to three players. It's, uh... Is one of them Bones? No, it's, uh... Zoo? Okay. Brog well, and Smoky Blunts. Get it. <laughs> Get it. I don't really understand the last two, but you know, what you gonna do? Dude, Brog, Brog whipped out the ice climbers on him after not playing ice climbers for like three months. <laughs> it was it was crazy. And then Brog tried whipping out those whack ice climbers versus quick four stock. Before the thing said go, I actually killed him. <laughs> That matchup's actually so bad for ICs. Dude, I am the Ice Climber's king. Last time, last time uh, we had this tournament here, I played Nintendo, and it was game five. Evan, this jerk over here, hasn't hasn't uh, posted the sets. I I played out of my mind versus not his job versus Nintendo with a broken controller. It's actually Archangel's fault. I forgive you, Archangel. If it was Evan, I wouldn't forgive. <laughs> but uh. And uh, I was doing it with a broken controller. Ooh. What do you think about grabbing that matchup versus ICs? Grab is super good. I think it is too. Yeah, I think it's super underrated. Some people tell me not to grab, and I'm like, you know how good, gra like, sh especially shine grab. Yeah, shine grab is real good. And like, almost all your throws all are All your throws like are good. good, yeah. Kobold does the down throw. I like up throw sometimes. Down Forward throw has throw. some invincibility, if I remember correctly. I think so. Forward throw is real good if you grab a uh, Popo. But we're not talking about Icy's Fox yeah, right now. Yeah, we're definitely not talking about that right now. Right now, we got Falco Marth. On Yoshi's. Good power shield. These characters mess each other up. Wow. That was a shine there. Great shine stole out. <laughs> I really don't like when I see uh, people doing a tech chase and they just have their shield up. Like, I don't think there's any reason for that. Wow. Yeah. I was not expecting a tipper there. Tips. If you wanted to as Marth, uh, it's not always the best thing to do. You can just go into the middle of the platform and press the C stick the direction they roll. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. On Yoshi's. On Yoshi's, yes.
Oh, wow. The down air was cool. Ooh, up though? There's the bear. Okay, I could have sworn he was going to up air. I, you know, I also thought up air. It must be something to it if we're both thinking it. Okay, that's side B I've so, never seen before. <laughs> we, me and Stingo talked about this in the commentary earlier. We're like, man, it's so dumb when Bones lives and you should have killed him. And then he zero to yes! death you. <laughs> yes! You, like, you're, you're supposed to edge guard him and he zero to death you, dude. It was, <laughs> that's literally what just happened. There's so many sets to him that way. Tell me about it. You're preaching to the choir right now. It's always on FD for me. I never take him to FD. I just don't strike it against him. I strike fountain, then he takes me there. I, I think I'd beat him on fountain. No, I'm, I'm actually secret secret goat on fountain. Oh wow. So Bones uh pretty much doing what we were just talking about. He has the lead. And Bones is super good with the lead. Yes. Because that's that's the game Bones plays. He plays he plays the I'm holding the lead game. Ooh. I feel like that was a mess up from Stango. Yeah, something and didn't go right. He kind of just uh, he rolled with it. I'm not sure what he messed up either. I so. think he might have wanted to do a forward smash rather than the backer. Wow. And uh, at high percent, you can like actually STI out of uh, Marth's Nair, like the first hit, pretty easily. Especially down, right? Yeah. Sort of like Falcons. And that's got to be it for that stock. Oh no, no Stango! No, don't get to death. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, 49%. Eh, I mean. Not a lead in this matchup. Nah, <laughs> definitely a lead. I like the Peach matchup, though. <laughs> yeah, it's not like the Peach matchup, but it's definitely a lead. And yeah, this, this I feel like that was a waste of a jump. This could be it. Oh, what are they? They're sharing the ledge. This is not teams. Yep, he baits. Falco's, like, always come down with aerials. Oh, he misses it. That's Oh, he didn't get the backer. They're both, uh. Not finishing things off. Stango super read him doing that wall jump. Stuff the bones closing that out though. Yeah. He took the lead and he just kept it. You know. Uh, I don't. I can't remember if he was in the lead from the beginning, but it, it, I don't think he was. He wasn't and he, no. And when he took it, he kind of just expanded it and expanded it and kept it going. Um. And Stango, like, uncharacteristically, had a few opportunities where it could have been the stock, and it just wasn't. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think Bones is doing some tricky things to get back on, because his recovery is, like, actually really tricky. Yeah. Um, I think Bones also has a way of throwing you off tempo um, more than, like, any other player. I mean, it, it's especially um, easy for Falcos to do that because of, you know, their walling mechanics and their lasers. But uh, Bones definitely has a special way to him. I feel like another down air would have been... Supreme. I mean, we shouldn't fail to mention that this is, uh, almost everyone says unanimously, Bone's best matchup. Really good against Mars. You think so? I didn't know that. Hey, he did almost beat Mewtwo King once. Who hasn't almost beat Mewtwo King? I've never almost beaten Mewtwo King. Come on, dude. I did it with Ice Climbers once. I, al I, took, game three. I took one friendly from him once, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> yeah, Mewtwo King sucks, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I, I don't, don't agree. I don't get how someone can be so bad versus Ice Climbers. <laughs> <laughs> he's like so good, but he's just so bad versus Ice Climbers. This seems like the type of matchup he'd be like amazing at. Yeah, no, he'd, <laughs> he'd destroy whatever this is, but Ice Climbers? Gotta be worried. He almost lost to Andrew EJT, dude. Oh, he doesn't get that up tilt. That was kind of like really important for turning this game around. And instead he lost his stock. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. If you can't zero to death uh, space animals with Marth, I don't know what you're doing, man. You gotta get him. Good in air. Jab? Oh man. I felt like he should have stood there and jab. I like the forward air. Oh, I really like the falling up air there to ensure that he could get the uh, neutral. Neutral air. 31%? No. I say like 40% in general is just like that percent that you want. You can't really crouch cancel, right? That's a big part of it. Yeah, I mean. Plus other things. Yeah, there's other it's things. Juicy combo percent, right? Yeah. Uh, I think I think Bone's tech pattern has been pretty good. He's been pretty good about not missing techs, which Stango kind of eats up sometimes. His his playstyle kind of uh lends to mixing up 
Just like your techs. I don't know how to how to put that in a better way. Like he gets you on the ground with like down tilts and stuff a lot, and then yeah. he's like really good at taking advantage usually. Like while well, like let's say like most marts would do something like oh like up air, Stango will downer you into the ground, and then you're like oh man what I wasn't expecting that, and then uh, he kind of throws you into the ground again when you after you miss that tech. And you know how you, you, if you miss a tech you just keep missing techs. Yes. Because of the seven frame thing. Yeah, the tech buffer or whatever. Yeah. Oh no! That could be it. Bones really has control of this match right now. He's, he has Stango in the corner. He's. I've noticed like he really loves doing down airs on low FOD platforms. Like he just does them over and over. There is a thing you can do where I think it, I don't know if it's like an aerial interrupt type mechanic. You can continuously down air someone who's in their shield, and if they don't shield the eye, it just it's like an infinite. Fun facts. On fountain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like the happy feet. Yes. Uh, that's gotta be it, right? No! Oh wow, this could be it for Bones. Forward wow. smash? I thought he was gonna uh, go for a combo. Okay, now this is anyone's game. Oh, he up smashes! Oh, that's gotta hurt. I feel like that was yeah. a wasted jump as well. Um, I feel like that up smash really changed the. That up smash changed everything. Yeah. Looking rough, but it won't. It wouldn't be the first 3 0 comeback we've seen. There's been oh. lots. Yeah, there's been lots. And, but Bones is really good. Like, <laughs> like, you're keeping leads. <laughs> yeah. Even, even when it's game count. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's hard to beat him three times in a row for sure. Yeah. What do you think about Launch Air uh, continuously picking Fountain of Dreams? Which I think is one of Falco's best stages. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This is where he took Zoo. He was beating Zoo here. I mean, I guess that's his thing. I don't think Marth's bad here or anything, but... I think, I think this is probably like one of Marth's worst stages. I think this might be Marth's worst stage. Just because like how tippers work on yeah, the platforms. It's hard. Like platforms can really mess up Marth here. He can also like do lots of up tilts in a row though wow. sometimes. It's hard to say. Wow. Bones is so good. Wow. In that stock we saw a good bit of control from Stango, finally. Packer. Yep. Wow. Yeah, this combo. <laughs> just jab him a few times. <laughs> just run away. <laughs> Whoa. Stango is, uh, yeah. He Ooh, taunts. He earned that taunt. I, you know, I, I'll say he also, I, I think he deserved that taunt. That was him finally reading Bones, always shine stalling there. That side B was masterful. What a recovery. But Bones takes the stock anyway, and we have uh, just a one-stock lead. Oh no, don't get in the corner. That's not where you want to be. So, Stango is also already keeping leads, but not in the same sense that Bone is. Bones is. Like, Bones, Bones kind of does it, uh, kind of does it in this War of Attrition kind of way, where, like, he yeah, you know, he's keeps shooting you lasers. He's chipping away. Right. Stango kind of just runs away with it. Like, he, he like, gets a lead, and he's like, all right. Uh, he, just, <laughs> he keeps F-smashing you or, like, hitting you with hard combos. It's uh, very, very different than what Bones does. Yeah, his edge guards have been a lot cleaner this game so far, and I think that's making uh, a huge difference. I I think uh, he's just reading bones a little bit more on on edge guards. Oh wow, that's gonna be it. I feel like that was pretty lucky. <laughs> yeah, that at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like you know, it, it wasn't lucky because he knew what to do in the situation and stuff. But like, it was pretty lucky that, that, that the situation, situation shouldn't have happened at all. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to Dreamland. Um, I think Stango's more comfortable here than most Marths are. Some Marths hate this stage. Well, yeah, he he kind of plays like the old school Marth style, but like he know, really does some, with some updates. And what's crazy is he knows all the new school stuff, but like the actual style itself. Does, he's, a, like, he's a big fat nerd, dude. I, I, yeah, he really is. He's a super nerd. He knows all this stuff. I do things to him, and he he gets out in niche ways. <laughs> he does like. When I cross him up a lot, because when I cross other people up, they get messed up. He does pivot shield grab. Like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> Who thinks of that? F smash. Yeah. 
Yeah. Just hold the edge here. Okay. Well, he knows better than me. He's at winner. He's in winners finals. I got ninth. Yeah. If they're like uh, if Fox or Falco are at the edge of their up B's, you can charge Shield Breaker and then uh, release it on reaction. I actually think Sango's pretty bad at the chain grab. He doesn't yeah. even like do the up tilt at the fifty percent half the time. I guess that's why he didn't go to FD. That's weird because he seems like the person who would just practice that for like hours. Right. That's not. He's practicing better things. Yeah. I mean, let's face it, until you get to the top eight, you're not even going to get to play on FD anyway. Usually. Oh, wow. He had to fade back on that upper in order to get the forward smash. And this is like kind of a commanding lead from Stango on supposedly Marth's worst stage. Dude, I don't think this is Marth's worst stage at all. I don't either, but... I think Marth is so good here. The I just think, I think Mewtwo can kind of ruin the stage for Marth's. Because this, the playstyle they had to have to play on this stage like Mewtwo King. Like you need you need a more uh like PP kind of or yes. like Pew Pew style for this stage and then like I well, don't know. They, well they kinda like they do it in a different way, right? So like PP does like dash dancing and he's like he's sort of like a sumo wrestler. He's just gonna slowly push you off the stage until you fall off. And Pew Pew I think like uses a sort of zoning method. Right. With forward airs and things. Pivots, shield stops. Stango might be a mixture of both. I think he's a he's a pretty big mixture of both, actually. Yeah. Makes for a really exciting playstyle. Ooh, I thought that was a grab, but okay. Ooh, that wave dash. Ooh, that wave dash down there. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Marthitis right now. Just cannot get rid of this stock. The bones is slowly bringing it back. That neutral beam was god awful. Just a, oh my gosh, he's gonna get to over 200%. And that's it. Can Bones bring this back? He has to avoid getting hit at all. I think a forward air kills him here. He's all over him. Could he get the edge guard? Oh my goodness, that might be it. Oh, I thought that was a down air. Oh, that. Come on, this should be an easy edge card. No, he doesn't get it! Oh my goodness. I think Stango might be choking it away a little bit. I think bit. Stango is definitely choking it right now. He just needs one hit. Okay, wow. we get in there. <laughs> a little bomb <laughs> off of the gas. <laughs> yes, I, I did it! <laughs> I got the nair. It's a good thing he was playing so well at the beginning. Cause yeah, no. <laughs> Bones definitely was, like, not having it towards the end. He was like, alright, well, I don't want to lose. Uh, clock in. We Back might, to Dreamland? Yeah, we might be on the verge of another 3-0 comeback. Uh, Stango, I think, should have taken a pause between these games to recollect himself. Because that was not pretty at the end. <laughs> it was not okay. Ooh. That was really uh, nice from Bones, smash the down and then getting the down smash. I mean, that was just like a nice interaction in general. Like, yeah. Everything that went on there from both of them. Yeah, the forward air was pretty high level, right? Yeah. The side B was alright. Alright, alright. Wow. That was some really good reaction time. Stango realizing uh, we got a spot dodge on the top platform. That was for the down smash. Nice sweet spot. That was vital. How's he gonna get down? He I wasn't expecting a side B out of shield from Stango. I don't know. Not a side B, uh, counter. A counter out of shield? Yeah. That could have been something. It might have worked. I think Counter Out of Shield is definitely underrated if you have the read, if they keep pressuring you. Bones has been real good about teching when he can. You know, Counter Out of Shield against Falco, like, Falco doesn't have that strong options at a grab, right? Yeah. Like, not like some other characters, so it's probably a little bit safer. He can definitely trick you up with a grab. You can get a kill off it sometimes, but, like, it's nothing. Like, it, like usually that's not going to happen. So, I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, Bones will not stop side being to the center of the stage. Yeah, no. It's something we've noted actually in He did it against before. BMC too. Yeah. I think it was you and me that, that said it. Or, no. I wasn't against BMC. Uh, I think it was me and Stango that talked about it yeah, actually. I think so, so Stango's aware of it. <laughs> I mean, it looks like he knows what to do. Like, it seems like he's baiting it by going close to the ledge and they're trying to wave dash out of shield punish it. But it's not working out so far. Like, not really. 
Should have used the Tim option in the side B. <laughs> Easy tech. Tim yeah. did that versus uh, Peanut Phobia. It was pretty nuts. Yeah, I did see that. Because I'd never seen a Marth. Yeah, yeah usually B it's back air, right? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like side B was better. <laughs> yeah, in a strange way, I think it might be. I guess it doesn't, like, reach as far. Jab, jab. All right, let's go. Okay, thank you for doing something. I thought that was a forward smash, but... Well, it worked out. <laughs> I think up was the right choice. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Hey, this is, this is a multiple choice, and there are more than, more than one right answer, right? Yeah. That's the game we play. Sometimes you can do more than one thing, and it's correct. Power shift re grab. Yep. Because for the new Marth players out there, you cannot chain grab Falco under 7%. It doesn't actually work. So, uh. Good awareness from Stango doing the forward throws. Oh, Rough life. yeah, that's not good. I feel like Wispy had a hand in that. Wispy Woods, my least favorite stage. <laughs> <browser>. <laughs> Bones is running away. <laughs> like, like Stango runs away with the lead, and Bones runs away yeah. with the lead. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it's working out for him so far. That was a forward smash. I thought he knew he was going to get up. Uh, those wave dashes back really told me that he was trying to beat out a, a roll or something. A roll. I know, he just forward smashed me in that situation so many times. <laughs> oh, this damage hurts so bad right now for Stango. He got him at the tip of his head on the shield stab. Oh, that looking like it might be... Wow. wow. Yeah, excellent get-up attack from Bones, and he takes the set. This is the first time we've seen Stango in Loser's Finals in a while. Is it? I think so. So... That's something, good stuff to Bones. Definitely guaranteeing himself at least second. And uh, it's... He's showing, he's showing some, uh, some, I don't know, like growth, I guess? I don't know, he's looking real good. It's like, better consistency than yeah. I used to. And like, he's always been kind of consistent, but he's just not messing stuff up. I mean, the big part of it good, being good at melee. Right. Um, I assume Loser Semis is coming up. Can you pass yes. my hoodie, actually? It's like right next to you. This? Yeah, that kind of nippy in here. Oh, uh, loser semis uh, should be R two. R two versus Billy BMC. BMC? BMC. Yep. So this is um, neck after Marth. Uh, R two D Lou is BMC's least favorite matchup. <laughs> he. What's up? Uh, bones. Bones. So uh, the reason being, uh, R two is a little lame. -o. Yes, and BMC has had trouble approaching before, uh, like just in general. Um, so we're working on it, but I've played I've played R two a lot with my Peach. I never lose. Now what do you do? I just body him. Tell us. I just keep running in and attacking him, and he's like, "What?" what? Yeah, because he's just gonna like he's gonna slowly do the double laser where he goes back slowly. What do you do? Dash attack him or something? I just, like, I, just I don't know. I just keep attacking. That's, all, that's <laughs> like my thought process. And he's like, "You're so much more aggro than like every Peach. Like it's so dumb." I'm just like. Well, it's working. You should have just told Billy that. I mean, I feel like I should have. I mean, they haven't started yet. It's not officially coaching yet. <laughs> uh, but R2 comes to my house. We watched Batman together. That's a bond. Which Batman? Uh, we watched a bunch of them. Like, the animated, uh, like, uh... I love the animated series. Not the animated series. Not like the, the animated the, series. The movies, like the, um... Did you watch Batman vs. Dracula? That's one of my favorites. Yeah, that's what, like, the Batman... That's that uh -huh. one, right? Yeah, no, we uh, we watched, like, the more recent ones that came out, like, uh, Son of Batman, mm -hmm. uh, the Justice League, like... Like Young Justice? Justice? Yeah, ju no, Justice League versus Justice. Teen Titans. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we watched Flashpoint Paradox. Pretty solid. Yeah. He came into my house, he was bodying me the whole time, but I was watching, I was watching Batman. <laughs> I, I want to say he was also pretty focused on Batman, so it evens itself out, but, uh... I'm gonna throw out my Johns. I'm gonna say I was more focused on Batman than he was. I can see that. Ugh. Oh, no, my money's falling out. Alright, looks like we're getting into the first match. And, uh, R2D was doing kind of what we expected. He just, like, waited in the center and up tilted a bunch of times, and then BMC ran into it. Yeah. You got, like, a. Here come the lasers. Man, a solid, this is a solid lead so far. In yeah, he terms just of just starting, he attacks on the damage so fast. <laughs> you know, he gives me so much slack for what for running into down smash. But look what happens. I mean, he usually doesn't like that, but. Oh uh, yeah. 
The thing about BMC, uh, I don't know if you guys have already noted it, is his punishes are insane. Yeah. So, actually, when he fell through that platform, if he did a double jump land to throw the turnip, it would have hit. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I know he knows how to do that. So, you, you, you like, do, like, the same input you would for double jumping, and then you just throw the turnip real quick, and it, like, hard throws it to the, to the left in this case. That's what, that's what I do in that situation. One thing I like about uh, BMC's playstyle is like Peach has never made so much noise before. <laughs> a lot, he's got he has like a lot of double jump lands. Uh, the way he throws out aerials, he, like, those are not really, really, really quick. Um, yeah, we like to say he has a high BPM, high speedies per minute in the uh, tri state area. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was gonna up smash there. Yep. Uh, not a very good float height. Yeah. Like, you can get Nared out of that, up smashed, whatever. What a good air dodge. I feel like it was an accident, like, where he even put it and stuff, but... It was a good one, nonetheless. <laughs> it was a good one, nonetheless. You don't have to mean to do it for it to be good. Yeah. Just use your mistakes for the future. Yeah, do the same thing again next time. With more intent. Was that a stitch face? Uh, I don't think so. I think it was a winky. Might have seen it wrong. This feels kind of even, but it's like not. No, that's just the way Archidilu plays this matchup. Is like he's constantly getting damage against uh, Peach. He's actually not playing that lame right now, though. Not as much as usual, huh? Not as much as usual for yeah. sure. Wow, that was a p easy edge guard that he dropped. And now he has a like a two stock lead. It's a solid two stock lead, and. Uh, well, no, it's a shaky two stock lead and a solid one stock lead. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's how I put that. Um, one and three quarter stocks. Yeah. But R2 is going to keep macking on percent. Yeah, it's so easy to abuse a lead in this matchup. I'm actually surprised he's not just even running away and shooting lasers, but he's fighting him straight up. I guess, like, this is a problem. <laughs> that was amazing. I think, he has, I think he has a stitch. I'm pretty sure that's a stitch face. R2 has been known to reflect them. Yeah, it definitely was. I do know for a fact uh, Archidilu studies like Leffen more than anyone else, and I guess he might be. Do you say he's the best in the world at this matchup? Who Leffen? Leffen, one of them, right? I think it's Smokey, dude. I think I'm. The best uh, present dude. company excluded. I mean. Uh. He's definitely one of them. Uh, yeah. So I mean, he's familiar with the play style that beats that. That's really good at this matchup. I mean, he forced Armada off of Peach for like Armada was prepared to never play Peach again. So yeah, I, I, that says something. We're gonna fountain. Yep. <laughs> I think this is Peach's best stage. I fully agree. And yeah, this punish is gonna hurt for sure. Uh, Tis but a flesh wound. Could have been worse. Yeah, it definitely could But have he been still worse. has control. Yeah, he maintains control. Damage later, we'll take it. Alright, I think BMC's gotta do something about going to the ledge, because Arctidilu's literally just been going to the ledge. But you can throw out the back air and it hits uh hits it, right? What? You back air the ledge? Like right over top? To cover what? Uh, like fox fire foxing towards it. Yeah, it covers it. I mean, I just think that uh, at this point, probably should have noticed that he just keeps going for the ledge. That's what I notice about R2. That's how I usually just body him. Just grab it, right? Yeah, just grab it. I even hold it sometimes. Just like I don't even bother to like do the back air that covers the ledge. I just I just roll up. We saw Glitter do that in a previous set for like two of his stocks, I think. He just did the ramen noodle. The other thing is, uh. R2 actually kind of like goes to the ledge perfectly. I, I know most foxes don't think about this like, oh man, I'm going to the ledge, I'll be safe. But like, you can get hit by Peach's fair and stuff like that, or like, you can get like, you know how Peach does like a runoff nair? Yes. Uh, you can even do that with like Fox, with like runoff shine. If, if the fox doesn't uh, go to the ledge in this like kind of frame perfect kind of way. They have to be like aiming just below it, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, but R2 always aims just below it. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few funny mechanics uh, when it comes to Fox's fire stall. One of them is that if you're using if you're using uh, the Firefox 
and you're coming from above the ledge, he snaps to it immediately. So Arto uses that knowledge, along with like good knowledge of where his ECB is, like his ledge grab box. That's how he gets it so uh, quickly. Ooh, that was a cool I think little two-piece. Yeah, it was. Man, he's a... Uh... His stock hurts. I feel like R2D was barely hit him, but he's at 100%. And gone. R2's starting to play a lot like me. It's kind of weird. You think so? I think so. I don't see it, man. That always happens to me on this stage. I think like the camera is angled a little bit. So it makes a little it really differently than normal. Yeah, it makes it really weird. It happens to me more on this stage than anywhere else. Yep. One thing R2D was really good at is when he gets a combo and can't extend it any farther, he just backs off a little and shoots some lasers. Yeah. So uh, this has been the top eight of three O comebacks. Yeah, so. no, it definitely has been. <laughs> Billy can definitely. Uh, if anything, BMC has the advantage right now. <laughs> what have, well, time and time again we've seen. Um, actually, no. So we've we've seen a few three Os. So if Billy wins this game, then it's he over. has the advantage. Yes. yes. And that it even happened in doubles, right? <laughs> like you and I both did it to uh, Stanger team. Stanger's team, both of our teams Stango's did. Stanger's team caught it, dude. I was so happy. Okay. Well, this stock hurts already, though. Up air. Okay. Billy's actually really good at placing the the downers. He doesn't normally do them, but he, it, like, like so you think you can come in with the up air, but. You, you, know, can't. No, you can't. You can't. You have to like run behind him, which is uh, usually not enough time to do. <sighs> he threw that turn up earlier. Fall off there. Oh, yeah. Fell off Nair. He would have got it. Yep. He wanted to go for something a little more guaranteed, but like the way I think about it, what I'm edge guarding, right? Is I'm like, all right, well. If you get the KO and you're alive, it's the best edge guard, right? No. <laughs> uh, so. Like you can do something like like let's say Fox is bear right like at the edge when you're edge guarding Fox you know sure. you just keep bearing you keep bearing let's say that that, that has like an eighty percent chance of failing every time you do it but if you keep doing it that's like more times you like you have this eighty percent chance of failing yeah as yeah. opposed to like doing the armada shine after the first bear say it has like a seventy five percent chance of success so it's less successful but you only have to get it right once yeah just one time and uh, I agree BMC kind of went for like you know the keep doing the down air thing. When he could have just thrown the turnip or gone out there with a falling nair yeah. and uh, gotten the stock. BMC's been doing uh, the thing where you do the down airs and then you pull a turnip, do another set of down airs and throw it at them. Yeah. Uh, it seems to be like a pretty good idea. It's, it's generally speaking, a really, really good idea. I just think in that one instance, uh, he could have he could have fall off nair. A little trick. would have traded. little trick our um, local peach main uh, Squillium does is he'll do a couple iterations of down air and then he'll float and when you come up he'll immediately fast fall down smash. Which it doesn't really work, but the novelty is nice. It doesn't really work, but it really works. It, but it, it works. I feel like he should have fell off with another bear. I, I like to hope that that bear was an accident, but knowing Billy, he's 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 kind of like the fall off bear king. Yeah. I feel like a second bear would have worked better. It's got. He just wants aerials everywhere. He's also really good at getting reverse bears. Remember when he was a. Uh there's a point in time where I was like way behind him. I was like, Billy, what what do you do that works? Why are you so good? He's like, I just throw out a lot of hitboxes. And that's actually all he knows about his own playstyle up until recently. He just okay. knows he likes to put hitboxes everywhere. Like I tell people, Peach, one of the more technical characters in the game. I know nobody likes to believe that. But uh BFC's <laughs> definitely like he's a living, breathing example of how technical Peach can be. Yeah, for sure. And you might not be able to see it, but it's there. Yeah. And I'm saying BMC. I'm, I'm gonna, you know, yeah, all right, I believe. I'm a believer. I mean, he has to win two games probably on Stadium, I'm going to guess. Yeah. Oh, particularly knowing R2D Lou. All right, I'm going to take off this headset real quick. Yep. Oh, no, they're already playing. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, I can get the start of this one. And lasers, yeah. R2D Lou literally runs backwards off the platform and shoots some lasers at him. Oh! 
So BMC immediately noticed. I think that could be an up tilt right there. I usually try to do an up tilt, or you do the uh, like drill wave shines. Or did you look for the more throw? guaranteed thing? I th I think down throw would have been better there. I like down throw there too, but uh, Billy insists that that back air is the thing he likes to do. I mean, down throw, down throw, my bad. It's an air. Right? Like, when he uh, yeah, no, back throw there. Yeah. yeah, because like we were talking about, you can't DI forwards. You can only go backwards or straight up. Right, so you're either getting the nair or you're getting off stage. And, like, you're, you're always going to be off stage no matter what in that situation. Yeah, I've seen BMC do it before where he'll do the down throw and then he'll, like, run off nair. Yeah, uh, what also works is uh, if you catch the person slipping, like, down throw, down smash. Yes. Although that's, yes. like, you know, not technically something you should do. It's something. You so can do like it's a mix up. Yeah, so if they're not expecting it, it's a huge reward. Yeah. I know David is prepped for it though, because I he he gets away from it when I do like the down throw down smash. So I, I like to do down throw and then float bear. It's like I do actually like that Archie is kind of like going to play the transformation because a lot of foxes pitch pick this stage and you're like, okay, why'd you pick stadium? Because the transformations are so good for Fox, and then they just stand on the other side and don't play the transformations. So I'm glad that he's doing something with it. I don't know why I pick Pokemon. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what my thought <laughs> process is. I mean, you have a lot of room to run around on. Good kill power. I'm just like this stage is cool. No. Oh, okay. You get it. Ninety-nine percent. That's a get hit by any upward move that Fox has that kill percent. Okay. Or that one. Or that. Or that one. Anything Fox has really. <laughs> um. So it's, uh, it's just 3%. Uh, RTD Lou's been lasering the wrong way. I'm not sure he even knows. He's just so content camping on the side <laughs> of the stage. He's just so happy camping. He, he, doesn't, even <laughs> care. he doesn't even care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I want to see BMC do is um, he'll do this thing where he, like, he tries to mix up whether he's going to come in or not, but he's so far away. I think he needs to get really up close and personal with RTD Lou and then pull back just like that because so often he's just been, like, going in with the first F air. And then as soon as uh, he crosses a certain range, R2D lose ready with a nair to stuff him. Oh, slapped. Yeah, we all knew, right? I thought he was gonna fall off the stage for some reason. Okay. Oh, he does the double jump land, but R2D lose ready for it. And uh, this could be the last stock of the tournament for BMC. Winner gets paid. Uh, or wait, I actually think they both do, right? Does the top five get paid? I don't know. I'm not sure. Depends on how many entrants there were. He hasn't taken too much percent, actually. Oh, I like that Nair. What? That was in crazy. And he gets hit off the, fer uh, the windmill. windmill. The Ferris wheel? The Ferris wheel, you know. You think they have that thing in Brawl in the custom stages? That's what I'm thinking of. Do they? Yeah, they do. They have a, they have a Ferris wheel. It sounds so dumb. It is. I hate, I hate Brawl, dude. Actually, no. I love Brawl, because I love playing Ice Climbers. <laughs> I'm a liar, dude. I love Ice Climbers so much. Right, this is a uh, super tense. <laughs> Power shield. <laughs> oh, we get the knockdown. Oh, no! He's been overextending with that dash attack. Uh, it's happened twice already this game. Yep, and... <laughs> Artadilu just tacking on whatever little bit of percents he can. I think these. I'm starting to think these power shields are on purpose because that's two of them so far. Oh, oh nice wow, little fair. That's it. That's it. Grab yeah, that's ledge. it. I didn't even like the fact that he pulled that turnip. He should have just known. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he should have just <laughs> scrambled for the ledge. Let me get that ledge real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the last game. Uh, it's super hard to win two matches in a row on Stadium against Fox. It uh, takes a lot of your energy. And one who's playing like R2D Lu, like I said, the textbook way to play the matchup, right? I mean, he, he gives up a little more stage than I would like as a Fox player. I don't know, dude. I like straight up fighting Peach. I do too. I think it's amazing. Dash Dance is super good against her, right? Uh, That's how I feel. Wow. So he, you have to listen out for the sound when you play Peach. Um, the float like, sound, right? Or well, the double, the double jump, jump sound. sound it's like yeah. 
Yeah. If you do, if you do that, then you're you're pretty much dead. Yeah, that's yeah. Actually, doing that kind of screwed him. Like he's so far behind now. Yeah, and it's kind of it's, it's it feels like it's already thrown him off like a lot. Yeah, I mean, if you looked at the player cam, uh, his reaction was not good. He's dropped two edge guards. There's two times two stocks behind. Yeah, no. Like he put down his controller, put his hands on his face. It's not a good look. This is rough stuff. Yeah, this is a. Uh, but my boy David's gonna win some. He's about to break the curse, maybe. Let's see. Let's see how. I think Billy can still. You know, if he if he gets some I, lucky it, openers. It's not look, if, not looking good right now. Yeah, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's not looking good at all. I I want to believe, dude. I feel like. Uh, wow, that was so good. What's a shame is I feel like this match. Uh, really, it's BMC dropped two conversions yeah, no, that were is, crucial, and then this he's this far behind. Yeah, I think he's like outplaying R2. Right now, it feels like he is, but it's just not working out. All right, a grab. Grab has a lot of damage coming from BMC up air. The frying pan follows him up on the. Wow, could are you not kidding have me? With Holy that moly! Pan. He could not have gotten luckier. EMG, are you watching? <laughs> yeah, that was insane. Definitely a play of the week. I mean, it, it'll it will be if he wins this set. <laughs> I think it could be either way. They don't know what happened afterwards. Oh, he gets the jab reset. BMC means business. He is not here to lose in loser semis. It looks like. Cause that was a great nair. Somehow it's tied, but I feel like R2D Lu has not been able to play his game thus far. And this is last stock. It could go either way. Wow, I can't believe Billy brought this back that kind of way. Like, he really just super destroyed R2. That that shield should have it should he should have gotten hit by that down smash. Just like how he was shielding yeah. where Fox's shield is normally weak. He was DIing inwards. There's like so much of that 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 I don't know. That was definitely the little shield that could. All right, right now we're in that situation where anything Fox has could be the end. Yeah, Billy's. Oh no! Wow. Uh, Pretty much three SDs. Yeah, that what was. What happened? That's it. Uh, wow, BMC. I feel like played so well that last game. Well, he also played so bad. Like. It's, yeah, it's yeah. He played so well and so bad. He he really should have had the edge guard as soon as that turnip hit. Both times, really. The uh, first stock should have been gone twice. Yeah. yeah. I, I kind of consider that a peach bread and butter. When you get get the turn up on the, the side B, and you, you fare the Firefox. You yeah. know, that's... Drop down fair. Uh, BMC would normally hit that, uh, I want to say, like, 8 out of 10 times. I think more. Yeah, probably. I, I You know, I, I was lowballing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna I, mean, I mean, after this set, I can't argue because he missed two in a row. Yeah. That's, that's why I said 8 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to throw the 8 out there. Well, he missed it twice, so, yeah. Um, yeah, normally he gets that. I'm, I I can't really recover. That's my boy. This is hard. It's going to be hard stuff for me to get through, but... I'm, can, I'm sorry, dude. You can do it. You played good, Billy. Yeah. Yeah, I am what too. we're talking about. It's... it's yeah. Uh, did these guys play in winners before? They did? Brutal. Yeah. I think we commentated it. Yes, we did. It's usually brutal, right? We were... It usually starts off really good for R2. It's so it's so funny to me. It's like, <laughs> and then R2's he, looking real good. I'm like, oh man, R2, R2. Well, it's like he's giving me this look, like because he knows he plays so solid at the beginning, and then he does the Brett Davis, and, and he just chokes all over the place. Stingo, Stingo's like, all right, I figured you all out. Like, I figured everything <laughs> out you're doing. But that's like a Stingo smash. He's a he's definitely a learner. Yes. We even saw it in the bone set. I think he might have lost, but he definitely adapted a lot. Yeah, he did for sure. It's like really hot on my head. Oh, forward smash pushes him off stage. Yep, nice edge guard. That could be it. That's yeah, it. I guess he already learned him for the day. He doesn't need to do it twice. Yeah, you only have to learn everyone once per day. <laughs> oh, R2D was learning a few things too, it looks like. I think that uh, get up attack actually would have pushed him back off the stage from the ledge. I'm going to start doing get up attack. Just there. Yeah, because because that's what, that's what one bones this at, if you remember. Yeah, that was the slow get up attack too. He was over 100. Down smashed him. I like it. It was bad, but I like it. Up there? Oh, down air? Yes. Ah, beautiful. I thought he'd reverse up the dolphin slash. It was a bait? <laughs> That's what we'll say. <laughs> Get beaten. Get beaten, kid. Jab. Oh. That's up smash. Yep. Ah! I really like the uh, screen KO. I love screen KOs. Especially against Jigglypuff. Sheik? No, Sheik is my favorite. Blech! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, um... 
Ez is running away from David a little. And why? Why is that? What's happening to him? A lot of stuff. Get clocked on. He's just not as good as me versus Dango. He might be better than me versus Mart. But versus Dango, he doesn't know the matchup. Well, look what we talked about before. Stango doesn't just play like your he basic. Play like a he's, Marth he's, he's not your basic Marth guy. He doesn't play like Marth at all, to be honest. But I think the like, and we're even seeing it like when David actually gets a grab, he's he's punishing pretty hard. Like yeah, like he he knows how to he gets, how to beat up Marth. He does indeed get sixty percent off the up airs like you're supposed to, right? It's yeah. just the one thing Stango does have on lock is his Marth combos are uh, pretty good. Wow, I'm really surprised he went for back air though. Like the jump off back air? Yeah, but it worked, so. It, no, it definitely worked. Like, I just. I'm I didn't really, see it coming either. I didn't see it coming, yeah. Another up air? Yeah, that's not it. Nice ledge grab. Yeah. It's so scary like to said, do. The punish, is, the punish is there. Like, the punish is there. It's it's kind of just playing Stango in and of itself um, that he seems to have the issue with. Get bodied. Looking like BMC out there. <laughs> All right, uh, Archer's looking fine a little good. Yeah, I want to see what we noticed, I think, in the uh, last time they played is that when R2 had control of the corner or when he had Marth like up on the platforms, he wasn't able to convert very well off of it. Yeah, that's edge guarding problem. is also pretty weak, but uh, Stango's recovery is like. It's tricky. it's tricky, yeah. I think the only person that's actually shown proficiency at edge guarding Stango, like at all, really, has been uh, Chump. Or was it Slug? It was Slug, yeah. Yeah, Slug knew what to do. Because it is a, it's a flowchart. It's sort of almost like playing against Sheik, almost. Dude, I learned so much from watching Slug play that set. I learned so much. I I played Chum right afterwards, his brother. Ooh, his brother got body. <laughs> Oh, down that's air. down air. Yep. And he suddenly, suddenly a tie game. Give him the Tim Spech. One thing I feel like I'm not seeing uh, Archer Dilu do is he doesn't like. He's dash dancing and he's playing neutral, but he's not. I feel like he's not playing with Marth's range all that well. He's so good. Yeah. He painted out the shield drop. What? What a king, dude. Next level. That's the that's the new meta stuff. <laughs> he baited it out by baiting out the shield in, in and of itself. Like, it was, oh man, a lot of that was so good. Bait the shield, make him shield drop. A baitception. Bait uh -oh. power. Yeah, that should, see, that should have been it for RTD right there. Like, he should have finished that stock off. Mm, and that should be it. But you drop one little punish opportunity, and that's what happens to you. So, this is his chance. I think if he takes this next game. He's going to win three. He's, he's going to win, win set. all I three. Think, yeah. I think if he takes, if R2 can take this next game, he's going to win the set. No questions asked. Um, and what is it with going back to Battlefield over and over? That's just how some people are. I, I do this when I know I'm going to lose the set. And I kind of just... That's a great mentality to have. So, my whole plan of action when I do this, that is, uh, I'm like, alright, well, I have to play this person pretty often. Yeah. I'm going to lose this set so I can win all the future sets. I'm going to learn everything I need to learn on Battlefield, and then I'll, I'll mess them up later. Why not learn it on a different stage that you think you have a better shot on? Because I get to learn their habits more, I want to say. You know what I mean? Like you, like you get to straight up fight them in neutral. So you're learning, like you're not trying out jank stuff. Like I know a lot of jank stuff from other stages. So like that's usually my playstyle when I'm doing the battlefield only kind of thing. I'm trying to learn so much. Like I'm just I'm just open to learning what I, I should be learning. Um, I don't know if Archie's like that. He probably Deep. just thinks battlefield or bust. I think this is Fox's worst stage. Against Marth or just in general? Just in general. You know, I've thought that before, and I think the if that's true, the reason would be because he takes advantage of everything so well, and there's the least amount of things to take advantage of here. Plus the whole uh, edge guarding thing, where yeah. he can't ride the wall. It's the only stage that uh, that nerfs him in some way. Yeah. I guess Yoshi nerfs his shine a, I mean, a little bit. I mean, he does have the thing where he can like wave him out on the platform from the edge, so I guess that's one little buff thing that he only has on Yoshi's. It's not invincible or anything, but... What? Not no, it's invincible. Not, not, not at the end, right? You can invincibly get a shield out. On this stage? On on Yoshi's. I meant on this stage. Oh, on this stage. I was trying to think of like more benefits for Fox on this stage. No, I mean, he also has the top platform, which in some matchups is super big. I guess if you're a lane lord, 
Fox yeah. doesn't need that platform, do you? <laughs> he doesn't need it, but he can use it. I guess. Oh man, is R2 gonna win this set? It's all, it's all right now right here. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I oh, no. believe. But see, he keeps like, he gets Sango in the corner and he just like, is so quick to jump all the way to the edge. Oh, I thought that was it. Try that follow up. That's it for D. He needs to stop DIing away the forward air. Like once it once it reaches that that point, you have to just accept that you're catching another forward air. Like there's nothing you can really do about it. You'll, you'll die otherwise. Make him work a little harder. That's it for that stock. A one stock lead for to D. Lou. Some crucial percent would be great right now. Actually, I don't even want him to lose the stock. Let's go. Let's go, Dave. Up there. Okay. Surprised he didn't bear. Yeah, I was thinking like Shine Bear. I think it's Shine Bear. I think Dave is pretty good at Shine Bear, but yeah, that's why I was thinking it. I know he practices. Anything to get Marth off the stage, because that's where you finish him off. I mean, I guess at this at this point, he just wants the percent because he knows he'll be able to finish him off next stock if he's at high percent. Upbeat. Ooh, I really like that neutral. Uh, there edge was guard. a lot going on there. <laughs> yeah, that was just some masterful edge guarding from Stango. That should be it. Yes. All right, R2 is going to win the set. Let's go. <laughs> That's in. just how it's been. Yeah. I mean, I know we're in for a game five no matter what. For sure. We also know Stango's going to Fountain, right? Not FD. Uh, he goes FD against Fox usually. Yeah? Huh. I mean, there's more tricks to the Falco chain grab than the Art of the Fox one. I also think that uh, R2, Fox did a... The Fox Ditto Master. He is actually really good at Fox. No, oh, he's not okay. good. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, 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 wow. Get super body, dude. <laughs> what? Dude. Wow. That was such a good... <laughs> what? <laughs> he did everything perfect. Down there? Yep. You know, I'm used to seeing him do like the uh, down throw, turn around, down tilt mechanical coverage. Must have a really good feel of what's going on. Oh no. Forward air is a good idea, but he was too. Uh, he just did it too early. Yeah, he did it too early. Oh wow. I, I you know, I would have gone for a forward air. Me and too. That shows what I would know. Man, looks like R2 is going to be the one to break the curse. <laughs> He's really, he's really catching these hands right now. I mean, I do know he really likes the stage against Marth. Like, he's counterpicked the stage against Marth before, but usually at a lower level than Stango. I mean, I, I, I should start counterpicking this stage against Stango, I think. Yeah? Yeah, usually I, I just beat him here. So I'm real surprised to see him bodying David, whom I think would be better than me here. You know? Well, you said you're better at the Stango matchup, right? Yeah, I guess. I think Archie's hella good. Yeah. Alright, well, we're seeing some moves from R2. Uh, proving us wrong a little. Yeah. Basically took two stocks in 36%. Mm -hmm. That's a forward smash? Okay, he is going for the extended combo this time. Alright. Now this is when, as Fox, you feel really strong. Oh! Oh, what's going on? I would attack both. <laughs> you know who would attack it? Bones. Picked it like every time. Yeah. He's just. Archie Dealer seems pretty scared right now. Playing a bit shook. No. Down air? Oh, he gets a back air. Yeah, that's a pretty good showing. Yeah. Good showing from Archie Dealer, and it looks like we're gonna have the Bone Stango run back. Which I'm pretty excited about because it was an amazing set last time. I, I can't wait for this Chinese food. I want some steamed dumplings, dude. And some crab cheese wontons? Rangoons? Ooh, yep. Those are so good. <laughs> I might get all of those things each. You should come with me. Oh, we should all go get Chinese food. Yeah, screw, like, we went to Applebee's last time, but... Dude, that's such a mistake. It was, Actually, it, I remember. It, you guys were trying to convince me to go to Applebee's. No, I mean, it was pretty fun. I mean, it's yeah, it's like, gonna be fun. It's just you like, guys are the homies, but if Applebee's... I mean, Applebee's is good. 
It's just kind of pricey a little bit. No, it's because it's not Applebee's. It's TGI Fridays. Because back back last time, they had like half of all appetizers on Saturdays. On TGI, at TGI Fridays? No, at Applebee's. Uh, so I thought it was an Applebee's, but it wasn't. It was a Friday's. I think we ate at TGI Fridays every day at a... Uh, at some tournament. It might have been Big House. At SmashCon, there was like fast food places and Hooters, and that was it. Big House only had the TGI Fridays, I believe. And like one day, some guy came in with a gun and he broke the door. It was awful. <laughs> That's everybody crazy. was terrified. But no, everybody was like, oh man, we've been sitting here for mad long. And I was like, what are you guys talking about? Let's get out of here. And I was like <laughs> hiding in the bathroom. I'm like, this guy has a, he has a gun. What, what's wrong with you people? Let's get out of here. I was like, I'm sitting by, by a window with a chair. I'm like, if I hear a gunshot, I'm breaking this window. <laughs> We're getting out of here. here. All right, so what's up with this hate tag? It's all love here, no hate. Nah, uh, dude, this is this is Black Stango Marth. This that's that's his hate-filled Marth. Oh my goodness! And he's coming out with all the hate. Jab. Holy moly! That's the same kind of stock we saw first game against uh, Dilu last yeah, time. Definitely that was. <laughs> wow, he just read that he wanted to come in and forward smashed him. Taking the page out of Ultimate Scout's book. Should be a oh. I think uh, Bones kind of messed up there. <laughs> and then Bones does it right back to him. Just forward smashes. Yeah, I actually really like that down air against Marth. Yeah, I think that down air was great. Okay, didn't get the edge guard he wanted, but... Oh man, that, that dash attack was awful. Should have been a grab. Yes, yes. Don't bother with the forward air. Go right for the down air. That's what I like to see. No. Can't do that, says Bones. Yeah, call them out. Please get off my ledge. Bones is a pretty big proponent of shine stalling, and uh, Stango started calling him out on it towards the end of the set last time. Yeah. So maybe he's forgotten. Um, hopefully he just like catches on quicker. Quicker this, this time. time, yeah. Is this something he's noticed before? And then I want to see what like Bones starts doing to, to like. I want to see someone punish Bones for these side Bs onto the stage. Wait. The only person that was doing it was Billy. Yeah. He would uh. Which is harder to do with Peach, right? Yeah, it's I think hard. it is. I feel like as Marth, you can just wave dash out a uh, forward smash. Yeah, with Marth, it's like more reaction based. With with Peach, it's like a hard read, but it's like easier. I want to say with Peach. Okay. Like like you're reading it, but it's easier to do. It's easier to. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Okay. To execute. Uh. Great stock. Yeah, good word. Yeah, Stango kind of gave him the business on that last stock where Smokey was looking for that word. Uh. <laughs> Give him the business. The corporation, if you will. Yeah. Definitely the, with the corporation on him. Corporation Incorporated. Alright, it's so like what we were talking about last time. This is not a weak stage for Stango. He won a game here uh, last set, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. If he can win one game here, that's a huge boon for him. I'll tell you, Grand Finals, lo like, from coming from Loser Stango is probably the best Stango there is. Like, you know, he's good in stuff, you know, in Losers, I guess, and then he's also good in, uh, in Grands on Winter Side, but when he's in Loser's Grands, that's when he's at his peak. We're seeing Prime Stango. Bones is also playing a little less hot than he was last yes, time. Yes, definitely. We're not seeing the big juicy combos. We're seeing a. Uh, it's not even just that. Like he's getting hit more. Yeah. Like he's just playing a little bit stiffer, and Stango's able to get more solid hits on him. I wanted to say these combos are more well done, but like that that defeats the purpose. As no, opposed I know, to I know medium rare. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is like kind of juicy but still healthy. <laughs> like, but like saying they're well done. Yeah. Connotes that he's doing a good job. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe like a little overcooked. Yeah. His combos are overcooked. With that hockey puck stick. Too well done. Okay. Wow, that that was There's super th awful. See? I don't know <laughs> what Stango was doing there. I would try to list the things that he should have done instead, but I think we should just go on to the next stock because we don't have time for that. We'll say they're innumerable. <laughs> innumerable. <laughs> Definitely an infinite amount of things he could have done better. Okay. Yeah, this damage is big for Stango. This is that forty mark you were talking about before? 
body score through the play. What was I doing? Yeah, I think it's because uh, he can only go so far onto the stage and he does have lag, so. Down air. Yes. He converted that 40% into a full stock lead. Amazing. Yep. Counter. You can't counter a lot, but when you get a good one. Oh, it feels so good. Wow. Waits out the down smash. I thought Jump he was, dare. I thought he was gonna crouch cancel like get attack. Nice, nice. Like, yeah, he's uh, he's already caught on and started going down there. I just wanna see how Bones adapts to it. What's, yeah. he, what's he gonna do differently? Yeah, Stango is playing with fire and Bones is kinda like smoldering a little bit. So we need to uh, get some logs on that. Good mash out. Oh my. Here it comes. See, this is what we were seeing from Bones before. Might have went a little too deep that time. His movement isn't as good. So, like, his movement is usually so good that he's yeah. able to edge guard out of it and do all this stuff, but uh, right now he's kind of just. He's like. He's moving like a good Valgo. Like, he has. He's not moving like Bones. He has, like, some gum on his shoes or something. Yeah. Like he's just stuck a little bit. But it could be, you know. One thing Cactuar used to tell me is, like, you know. You gotta make your opponent make mistakes, so it could be Stango just playing so well that it's it's throwing him off, and that's just kudos to Stango, right? Like that's not. Yeah, it's definitely a thing when your opponent's playing well, you're playing worse, just because like you're out of your flow. You're sometimes you're not like fully ready to punish when you get a punish opportunity. Right. You're just it's trying to get out of it. Hard for both players to play well. Too. Yeah. That's down air from Stango was uh, something else. Ooh, I do like that back air. Yeah. Down smash? Okay, maybe not. I think down smash covers everything. Ooh, I love that. I love like shine, land on the platform, grab. Falco is so lucky his up he doesn't have a hitbox when he's a uh, really shine stalling. You know you can do it with Fox without making the uh You shine and then up B. You can just like drop, go up real yeah. quick too. And it's still fully invincible. I tried it today against Frederick for the first time. It didn't work, so I'm never trying it again. No, I um, I had to practice it like at home first. You know what I mean? Okay, so uh, lawn chair, Stango up two games. What? Uh, we've we've seen one. I mean, I don't want to talk about three O comebacks anymore because the last two didn't work out. So right now, this is just looking uh, real hard for Bones. No, Bones will do the five O comeback, the sickest one. <laughs> We're 6 right? Huh? Win the next six? Just win the tournament? No. Dude. Oh no, he only needs three, doesn't he? Yeah. You're right. So, so Stanko 3 0s him right now, and then it <laughs> like brings it back from the 5 0. Chain grab? Wow, this punish is uh, really strong. Oh, I really like that. See, he, I feel like he was just. He like had a checklist of the recovery options he had to cover, and he was just checking them off one at a time until Bones was gone. He's definitely giving him the the the, the, um, the Ken. Yeah, he's he's catching this Ken right now. <laughs> he really is. Bones, From Bones MLG. needs to, to learn the hot cold, buddy. <laughs> yeah, learn the hot the cold. Hot cold game up. You guys watch the Smash Talk? <laughs> Okay, he's feeling himself too hard. Calm down a little bit, Stango. Yes, nice little combo for Bounce. Back throw. I think it was uh, their first set. Bones' last stock, he lived to like over 200. One of those games. Uppy was so good. Yeah. I would have never done that in a million. Actually, no, I would have done that because I'm a nutter butter. I, I just like hitting people. I didn't think of it though, but I definitely, I definitely would have done it. I feel like in that moment, I also would have thrown out a million. But not because I'm good. <laughs> Stango, Stango did it because he knew. I, I would have done it because your heart said so. <laughs> okay, finally some good lasers out of bones. Actually, I want to see the yeah. surprising lack of lasers from bones. Yeah, he's usually like a laser master. He loves taking space, and then he punishes you so hard when you eventually uh, get hit by him. Yeah, despite the fact that he's down, uh, that stock that Bones, I, I assume, is going to take with this edge guard was just a lot... Okay, maybe not. Real tricky. I think he's definitely uh, yeah. starting to heat up. That side B was actually, like, perfect height. Yes, yes. Oh, back 
Okay. I feel like back throw looks better. Maybe get the forward smash. Yeah. If not, I like back throw back air. I don't know, down throw is kind of like when you're first learning Marth, they tell you never to back throw. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, that's that's the up oh well, you know, where it oh. worked again. I'm just you know, maybe I'm maybe I am a good one. <laughs> okay, try to do the same mechanical coverage again. It's hard to react to that. Yeah, Bones needs to take this stock ASAP if he's what trying to win the first set. Cold game, he needs to step his hot cold game up. Yeah, it seems like when he comes in, he's never backing off. He just goes right in when he starts. Like when he reaches a certain distance, he's been fully committed, and that's not going to work on a player of Stango's caliber. Ooh, that was okay. kind of that All was right. kind of nice. That was a cute combo. I would take that combo on a date. Yeah, dude, that definitely. That's what I was thinking. Like, man, it's pretty cute. Put a black dress on that. Let's go. <laughs> we'll get some Chinese. You <laughs> <laughs> would go get some. Chinese. That's definitely what I'd take her out to a date on right now. Uh. Okay, niggers. This should be it. Oh no! Wow, but Stango sucked. Okay, Stango. What? Su Stango's amazing. Stango's what? amazing. I I'm wrong. I what am I talking so about? What do I know? I know nothing! I know nothing <laughs> about Marth, clearly! Power shield, laser, grab... Was it up throw down air? Up throw down air. <sighs> Wipe Every off his hands. Everything right in a row. I actually love the, uh, the bring the towel to a tournament. Wipe off your hands on it. I really like that. I'm gonna start doing that. Of course that towel's gonna get real grimy if you have, like, sweaty hands or whatever. Hey man, if you wash it... Alright, so this is a brand new set. It'll be interesting to see. Maybe Bones was like saving his energy for this set once he was down 2-0. I know what that's like. Yeah, we've all done it before, right? Yeah. You're like, all right, this set's over. I might as well just like try to learn something, get on to the next set. I still try to win. But I don't know. I mean, like I try to win. I'm not trying to lose. You know what I mean? Like you're conserving some power. Yeah. Definitely not going as ham as you could. Yeah, like it's not the time to go Kaioken. You just, just chill for a little bit. You've been watching uh, DB Super. See that. Uh, Super I'm not, Saiyan I'm not, God, I'm not Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> but that's... See, I don't want to talk about it too much. But basically, wasn't the Super Saiyan, like, uh, um, originally an extension of the Kaioken technique? No. No? No. Are you sure? If that was true, then how could Vegeta go Super Saiyan? I know it was first, but it's like a very... It's a similar way you focus your energy, right? I'm happy about it. I'm glad they brought back the classic Kaioken. Like Vegeta, on top of Vegeta Saiyan. was so tight, dude. It's got Kakarot every time. Every time I put in all the work. And that's, I mean, it looks like that's what Bones is feeling like right now. Because, like, I'm pretty sure that uh, everyone agrees Falco is the proverbial Vegeta of Melee. Yeah. Right? I mean, usually we call Fox Goku, not uh, Marth, but. What DBZ character is Marth? Trunks. Yeah, definitely. He's got the sword and everything. Good call. Shield breaker. Yeah, we all know. We all know. Trunks was stronger than Vegeta towards the end. Yes. He figured out how to go Super Two. Yeah, Super Saiyan Two, whatever that means. Or, okay, no, is this like, a four stock? Wow. It is. No, you remember like how they had that that thing where they get super swole? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that's just called Super. It's not called Super Saiyan. It's just called Super. And he figured out like Super Two, where he gets Super Duper Ultra Swole. <laughs> Weird stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. My, my Dragon Ball game's not all the way on point because I've just been watching the original Dragon Ball recently. Oh, man, that's like... Because it's my favorite, I'll be honest. That's what me and my girlfriend watch. She loves Dragon Ball. Yeah. Dragon Ball's better than DBZ. But... Oh, PB&J is talking about how much he loves Dragon Ball Super. It is it is good. Yeah, I think DB Super is like really... It. Especially after episode 30. Yeah. Yeah, dude. People slept on it, but if you start watching after episode 30, it's amazing. They hit their stride, and I mean, it looks like Stango's hit the stri his stride yeah. in this tournament so far. <laughs> nice transition. <laughs> I didn't know how we were going to get out of this train of thought. I was trying real we, hard to get back in. We were in the vortex, man. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know how I feel about him continually taking him back to Dreamland. Like, I do think it's a pretty strong stage for him, but maybe try something else. I guess he knows that Stango really likes Fountain of Dreams. Didn't he win on phone? I mean, where else would you go as Bones? Because he lost on Battlefield already. He beat him on phone last time. You know what I actually really like for Falco against Marth right now? What? Stadium. Yeah, probably. I mean, I a lot of people don't think that. I just, I really like it. 
for Falco against Marth. PBJ thinks so too. See? I think it's a great stage against Marth. It's long, like the chain grabs aren't as I don't know. I mean, but Stango did show his proficiency on FD. He kinda clocked in on him there too. So it's like it's Did they play on FD? I thought that was against Dilo. Was it against Oh yeah, you're right. So like I don't so know. We don't know, we don't know. I don't know about against Falco. Yeah. It is it is a bit different. Double dips! Alright, it took him to two hundred percent, but he finally took that stock. Yeah, I, I have this uh, this combo that I do as Marth. I call it uh, the Daredevil. I do six dares in a row, and I kill you. It's amazing. I've gotten it twice so far. Twice ever? Yeah. Once, once the impressive. first time I did it was in Racket, though. Is, so this, is this sort of like what uh, Falcos do against Peach and Sheik and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly like that. Yeah. And you can reach so far, and you're so fast. I can see it working. Our right, boats had a clear advantage, but... Oh, it looks like he wants that advantage back. Like, like we've said before, Bones is really good at uh, holding his lead. Um, this is it. Wow! Oh, okay, I would have just grabbed the ledge. I mean, I guess hindsight's twenty twenty, but I really think that's what I would have done. <laughs> I mean, I, I just didn't think Falco would make it back, and I, I assume Sango might have believed the same. Yeah, probably camera tricks. Definitely camera tricks. The Dreamland camera tricks. Not as common as the FOD ones. Yes, those are super real. Sometimes spaces can side be back on when they're in like the magnifying glass. Just any Kirby stage? Clearly it's dumb. Just, this is the Kirby stages. Worst character, best stages. <laughs> Okay, so I think what I see right now is Stango's having a hard time moving out of lasers, which isn't a big problem because Bones isn't like lasering him that much. Usually what you want to see from Mars is like dashing out of lasers, uh, dash attacking under them, you can shield, wave dash them. A lot of things you can do to him, but he just got stuck the last few times. Okay, let's see what he can do off of this. Oh, I feel like he should have ult tilted. Smash. Long legs. Oh, monstrous tipper and uh. I heard an almost unanimous oh my god from around the, <laughs> around the room. I don't know if anybody. If you heard that, it was, I heard like three oh my god. It was it was like it was like under their breath. It was like oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Is this gonna be a six zero grand finals for Stanko? Or like I said. Yep. I mean, you. It would be a crazy prediction if you got it right. Back to Dreamland again. He's going Ice Climbers. All right, uh, I've seen Bones' Ice Climbers before. Um, you know, my mom said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So uh, let's go, Bones. I will say that uh, Stango's like, most recent loss was to Brog, was right? to Brog. And Brog hadn't played Ice Climbers in like two months. But I mean, he used to main them and stuff. Uh, I will also say though that uh, Stango had a nice long talk with uh, Disc Kid Bugs. Oh yeah, and uh, you know he told me he came back with the new Marth tricks. He's so prepared to deal with. Uh, he said he's more prepared to deal with D Sinks than he ever was before. I mean, Disc Kid Boogie's like he plays Icy's the classic way, right? Like, he's not just a wobble master, but like in neutral and everything. Yeah, I know. And I think we've seen a lot of improvement from him lately, like really good stuff. Yeah. And, uh, Bones is doing the disc good right now. Yeah, I was about to say, i actually never seen him finish a wobble. I just start mashing down on the C stick, it almost always works for me. Not even a, like... Let's get that down smash out there. But he still gets the stock, so what you gonna do? Uh, so I guess we can talk about the matchup a little bit. Like, Mars down tilt super good. Grabbing's <laughs> good. Uh, Mars down tilt and fair beats ice climbers. Yes. It just it just does. There are things. Uh, there are tricks Icy's have. Yeah, like forward air on down tilt. It's like playing rock paper scissors, but like ice climbers throw out whatever they're gonna throw out first, and, and Mars gets to look. react. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the, it's like the trick the professionals do. They look at your wrist to see which way it's turning. What? Do they what? Yeah, you can do that like rock, scissors, paper, right? That's how most people do it. That's Yo. that's that's why that's why good players do it like this. I know you guys can't see on stream, but Yo. that's the meta. I'm 
so ready to never lose rock paper <laughs> now. Yeah, and I know the secret. I know my now, now I'm gonna start baiting people. Yeah, that's actually so. Don't do that. That's crazy. <laughs> this is You're gonna make the world explode. Like, twist your hand a little bit, go back to rock. Rock, paper. <laughs> 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 the underhand scissors. You guys can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> a lot of motions right now. Yeah, it's okay. They, they don't need to know. You need to keep this to yourself so they don't know how to beat it. Uh, we actually have a pretty decently close game. Yeah. I so I've seen uh, Nintendo. I've commentated Nintendo versus the moon like a bunch of times in Xanadu. And Nintendo plays like as lame as you can imagine Ice Climbers playing and it works pretty well. So maybe that's what uh, Bones has got to do. But usually there's just ice blocks flying everywhere and like Nana's flying around doing blizzards and stuff. Just SDs. Uh, I think Bones has uh, been mentally guard crushed. Okay. Uh, maybe it was an accident. Uh, yeah. I mean, can't you just hold left? Like, oh my God, no. I don't know. It's hard, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's not. No, he's not feeling it. You wanna? Do you wanna do the winner's uh, interview or? Uh, or I could do it I'm, if you don't I'm want super to. Super bad at interviews. All right, I don't even know if he wants one. But congratulations to Stango. I can't uh, wait for us to get these Chinese food. Wish I had the microphone. That's all I care about. I want you guys to know, I, like, all this stuff. All I care about is the Chinese food right now. <laughs> Weedle. Yeah, Stango, uh, Yo. losing the bones in the God, winners, I say but... Good, goodbye to Vele, dude. They're rough, dude. Yeah, he's going to Norway, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's why uh, I wasn't going to team with him. I usually team with BMC, but I was like, you know what, man? Last I, chance. I told you I would before you left, so... Let Snacks do it? All right, that's great. You want to interview? All right, we're going to get um, the champion of the University of Delaware Spring 2016 tournament on the microphone right after this. He's just cleaning up. Here he is. Are you still going by lawn chair? No. It is Stango. It is Stango, Evan, right? Evan is I've just, been calling you Stango. He's just being annoying, and he won't accept my name change. Well, uh, congratulations, Stango. Thank you very Winning, much. Winning. Uh, I mean, I just want to talk about the obvious thing first. Uh, you lost to Bones and Winners. Mm -hmm. And then... Stango underscore NWO. New World Order? Is that what it stands for? Yep. Okay. Um, I just, just guessing. Super wrestling fanboy. Yeah. So wait, what happened? You lost to him. Uh -huh. It did. It didn't look great. It looked like you were missing a lot of things. You weren't very clean. And then you come back in grand finals, and it was destruction. To be honest, what happened? What was different? Um, you know, me and Bones haven't played in like a super long time. Uh, our sets usually go like game five. But like during the time where I was like starting to win more and more, I was like winning pretty dominantly, like three stock, two stocks most of the games. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, he plays a very certain style, and I have to like change everything about me. Like, I have to like almost go into like a doubles mindset where like I'm I'm just focusing on getting him off stage because like he mitigates combos really well in a sense where like if. I can kill him off of a combo, but he's really good at like the SDI down, the DI down. He just makes it really difficult. Edge and slips I too. and I can yeah. yeah, the edge slips as well. I can kill him with like a zero to death combo, but the risk reward for it is like super skewed in his favor because he's so good at mitigating damage. So I really changed my whole game plan about like when I play against Bones, it's really just about like getting him off stage and rather than like the long extended combos. But then when he starts to expect like the off stage play that's where I can really get my damage. Right. Okay. So, like, for example, uh, against, like, me or some other, like, spaces, a lot of the times you end up on the top platform, we've taken 3,000 damage, and you forward smash us. But against Bones, you're saying your initial combo decision is stage position, not percentage. Yes. And then once you notice he starts to DI in, that's when you really uh, yeah, get your damage Yeah, that, that's when I get my damage out. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Stuff. And what do you think, uh, because he didn't, it didn't seem like, you guard crushed him after the first set in Grand Finals. His mental game was done. He yeah, was ready. I could tell by like his ex the way he was like moving about and his expression that he was really like starting to feel like he was losing. Yeah, I it was like verging on depression. It was kind of I, sad. I, I I knew I knew when I um I knew when I got into look at that money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
I knew when I got into when I when he first eliminated me, I knew I was gonna win the tournament. Yeah. I was a hundred percent certain I would win. I had no doubt in my mind. Wow. At all. And what made you so certain? Just who was ahead of you? Because I it finally clicked like afterwards, like how I'm supposed to play against him again. Because like I said, we haven't played in like a really long time. It's probably been like I want to say almost two months. I remember you playing at the our... lab, and that was your first win, right? That was my first win over Bones. Yes. Yeah, and then I don't know what happened after that. But... Um, I've won ever since. He beat me. He beat me at the one Westchester Zoo went to. But that was I was burnt out. Yeah. Playing zoo. I know that feeling. Yeah, I was super burnt out. Um, yeah, but I've learned at Fight Pit, I teamed with uh, Mafia, and I learned a that's lot all. about like pacing yourself, and like that's why I felt like I want. That's why I won so dominantly in Grands is because like I I could still probably play for two more hours at like my top my top like trying. I didn't really try that much against David, and he. Yeah, was... wait, can we talk about that? For... Why do you body him so hard? Because he's actually really good. What happens? So, the reason why is because, like, in my opinion, the Fox Marth matchup, it's really about variance. And, like, David is really good in the situations where it's down to the science. Yes. But I add variance to it. So he loses the variance. I actually. He, need, he needs to take more risk and, like, just try to etch, etch out a lead. He tries to play it, like, too basic when I'm way more complex. And, like, if you watch our games, like,. I move around him like all the time. Like yeah. it's like he's fighting my you, shadow. You run through him sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, but when we were theorizing uh Smokey and I that since he's like such a textbook player, sometimes he only goes like one level deep and it seems like you know the next thing to do that can beat that and that's your default action a lot of the times. I'm really I'm really good at micro game. If any like anyone who ever plays me, they'll know that like if they're in a tight quarter with me, where it's like it's down to the ASDI down, crouch canceling, the dashing inside, I'm, I'm literally the best. Yep. Like no one, no one can mess with me in the micro. Which game is at all. Which is rare for Marths, right? Yeah. Because Marths usually they play the spacing game with you. You're like a, I want to say the S2J of Marths. <laughs> That's fair, right? Um, it's really more of like a Mutant King Cactuar style. They, okay, they're, yeah, they're really, right. they're really like good, and also like a little bit of PP. I've been. Definitely been inspired by like PP's Marth, but that's also an extension of Cactus Marth because they're both one and set. Yeah, me too. It's Marth at Summit. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about it? Yeah. One thing we were talking about uh, when it came to your your Marth stylistically is it seems like so you have like uh, the two far ends of the spectrum. You have like the super ground game Marth, say like your PPMDs, yeah. and then you have your Aerial un Marth unorthodox. PPU. PPU Marth. You seem to be split almost down the middle. Like, more t a little more towards the grounded side, I think. Yeah. But... I used to be a little more aerial, but I realized that, I f in my opinion, I think Marth is stronger in most situations playing grounded. He has a lot more options that he can go with. Yeah. And a lot of the times, the risk reward's better for you. And down tilt's so good. Abusing down tilt is, like, literally the best thing. Bones was doing a good job of, like, lasering in a height where I couldn't really down tilt. Yeah. I would have to, like, super hard read it, but, like, F-tilt, like Evan told me after the set, it's definitely a better substitution, I would say, in that situation. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do against um, Falco. We noticed, Smokey said that he, he wasn't, uh, Bones wasn't playing the hot cold game, like PC Chris said, because you're definitely yeah. doing the Ken with the counters so, on So, pretty much, like, Bone, Bones, like, he, he's a really strong player, but, like, when you really get into him... He crumbles, he, cr he crumbles like yeah. he literally drops everything and i knew that the counters were like actually like not making him rage but it was it was gonna do it it was making him yeah. mad so that's why i started like instead of like you know running up and grabbing i started like f smashing more on his like techs yeah and we noticed there were a few times at the beginning of the second set of grand finals i think it was he would just aerial at you and you would just just forward smash him right out of his aerial like you're just like i know you're gonna come in right now yeah there was a there was a certain point where he would run past it and he would always fully commit and it seemed like you caught on to that really well you know what i mean yeah like like once he ran just inside um like your tipper range your down tilt range he would always fully commit it for a dash attack or uh, an aerial or grab or something yeah uh, what else, like, what other hard sets did you have today? Because those were probably two of the bigger challenges, right? Um, to be honest, David wasn't playing that good against me. I In winners, so. he, I would say, he played better. David play, kind of had, like, a, he didn't really care attitude in losers, in our loser set. Like, he was getting, like, really good punishes, but 
he wasn't there. Yeah. I could we tell that he was super that. burnt out because as soon as I sat down, he's like, I don't want to play anymore. Yeah. Well, and once you tell yourself that, it's already over. Yeah. Right? Like, like, and it's not even like a bad mindset thing. It's like literally he just used too much. Mm -hmm. And that was my issue. Like, I just used too much. Thanks. Yep. So what? What? tell me about your journey. We know that you um, you avoided getting burnt out. What, um, like what? So there's a difference in like, if I were to get to grand finals in this tournament, I would be burnt out well before I got there. What do you do against like, I don't, I don't want to call mid-level players because we're all mid-level players. Yeah, right? the mid-level of like our like, tier. Like the Spood Beast, the Ultima Scout. What do you do against them differently that lets you get the W? So pretty much like if I'm, I realize that what I really burn all of my mental energy for is like mix-ups. So like like I said, like my micro game is like amazing. You pride yourself on it. Yeah. I pride myself on it. And I abuse it a lot versus the lower tier players because it destroys them. Like I literally like win neutral probably I wanna say like ninety five percent of the time. That's a lot in case you don't you know you're not good at math. That's a lot of the time. That's so, nineteen out of twenty times. So when it comes to like the the players where I don't need that because they don't really they're not at that stage where they think that far ahead. It's really just about like they're very one dimensional mm -hmm. in the way they play. So it's really just about doing basic dash dancing right. and having a solid punish game. And that's totally like non strenuous. Like I could I could you know chain grab fox on FD for like nine hours and I'll be fine. Yeah. But Something Yuan told me uh, that he likes to do, because he had a similar burning out problem, is uh, when he's playing players he knows aren't that good or he's never heard of them or whatever, he'll do one thing, and if it works, he keeps doing it until it stops. And there's no other mental game that goes into yeah, it. Yeah, that's, 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 that's also something. Yeah, I mean, maybe... And, and also, I, I just... I, I stopped doing my super long, like, godlike combos. I just throw them off stage and down tilt and just hope they jump into it and kill them. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I guess that's easier, right? Yeah. Ooh. I hate, you. I hate to see a CRT fall on the ground. Oh, dude. Oh. That's rough. Oh, oh no. Uh, so, is there anything else you want to talk about? Tell the people where they can uh, find you next? Or Oh, uh, there's your Twitter, my Twitter right there. Yep. This is my Twitter right there. So, uh, follow the legend. The legend. At Stango underscore NWO, New World Order. Yep. Uh, what tournaments are you going to in the near future? Um, I want to go to CEO. Yeah, I've heard that that's uh, a lot of people's favorite tournaments. Uh, yeah, CEO, CEO is going to be pretty dope if I can go. I just got to I gotta start winning tournaments again and save up money. Yeah. Alright, well, right, well, we're getting kicked out. Evan's a Jimmy. We were, we were about done anyway, so... I don't even. I can't even hear Evan. You know how like we always talk about you shouldn't try to talk to the commentators while they're doing their thing. So uh, all right, this is this is baloney. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you have disrespecting the champion. Congratulations again. Uh, thank you for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you later. Let me get this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. You don't gotta go. You got a dip. Oh, uh, yeah. Can we move this up here or what? Move this that way and uh, let's slide it. Slide, slide to, to the right. right. Slide. Reverse, reverse, slide it. <laughs> so we're going to slide that to the right. We need we need the other extender, man. We just need yeah. to stop. Oh, uh, yeah. Just more money uh, on cables. Can we talk about this or? Talk about what, man? Show me. Can we talk about that? It's in my way, man. Substream. All right, all 30,000 of you. I guess you guys can, uh, <laughs> I don't even know, man, just, uh, you already know what to do, so. Oops, go, go type free laughing in the chat, all right? Go there and put free laughing. So this is probably the first and last time I ever linked last tournament stream in my stream. <laughs> what a record. Ever in my life. Type free left. Left. Free laughs. It's the first and last time I'll do it. So, you might as well get used to it. Of course, it's under 1,000 views, man. I have like 50,000 views or something. I'm like, maybe I won't do it, but uh. And then I'll have to pass some followers back there. Well, anyway. All right. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Uh.